yeah, 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 oh, uh. good morning everybody, yeah, come on, all right, turn that off, yeah, what's going on people, good morning, rise and shine, another beautiful day in the ghetto, huh? Cold outside. I'm about to give you a weather report. It's currently 26 degrees in New York, mostly cloudy. It's going to be a high of 39 today, low of 26. Partly cloudy, mostly cloudy, partly cloudy. Anyway, tomorrow it's going to rain. You got a problem with that? It's going to be 53 degrees. Anything in the 50s in the wintertime ain't bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Beck Brooklyn, thank you so much for that cash app, bro, uh, Beck. You're the man, Beck. Yeah, Beck Brooklyn, y'all. Yeah, the real gangsters. And look at Jane Creek. Dude, thank you so much, Jane. $10. Dude, what a way to start the show, people. Yeah. We survive in the ghetto somehow. Thank you so much, Jane. I appreciate that. Yeah, the real gangsters. I'm going to do the weather more often. I do the weather report every show. Yeah, anyway. What the hell's going down, man? Redhead stepchild, you think I need this shit? What's up, stepchild? I got common sense in the house. What's up, common sense? Don't you ever sleep? Hey, Chris Capello, thank you for the cash app, brother. $10. Thank you very much, brother. That's beautiful. And Jane Creek just became a member. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you very much. Yeah, now you have access to privated shows and stuff that I made members only. Interesting stuff, you know? Good stuff. Entertaining stuff. I don't know if it's good stuff, but it's entertaining. It's privated. And now uh, you have access to it. So thank you, Jane. Wow, look at this. Jersey girl. 1999. Good morning, Gunsmoke. Happy to catch you. Happy to catch a live with you. I'm glad you're here, too. I think that rhymed. But uh, thank you so much, Jersey. That's beautiful. I hope you're doing all right. You had a good night's uh, sleep, and uh, I don't know. You're ready to conquer the day. Thank you so much, Jersey. Happy holidays to all of yous. All of yous out there. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, you motherfuckers. I don't know. Was it more than five minutes in? Yeah, okay. Six minutes. All right. I said the F word. You got a problem? Can't do nothing normal. Can't even wish people happy holidays just in a normal way. I got issues. <sighs> Jesus, I wish the Lord would take me now. Anyway, Jersey Girl, you're amazing. Thank you so much. All of you. Beck, Jane, Chris Capello. M. Soretti, thank you so much for the cash app. $10. Beautiful. Good morning to you, sir. It actually is the morning right now, you ball breaker. This guy, no matter what time of day, he'll tell me uh, good morning. Fucking ball breaker. We'll be all love M. Soretti over here, don't we? That's right. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah. So, uh, listen, guys. It's a new day. <clears throat> it's a new day. It's December 21st. But, however... Lee Cole stole a fat bag of shit. Big fat bag of shit. Some things never change, you know. So, just so you know, you know. Anyway, let's see. Let's see here. If push comes to shove, we'll read the news together. You son of a bitch. Yeah, I just dropped the link. Kidnapping coal. Getting coal for Christmas. What do you call him? The Texas kidnapper? No, kidnap. I forgot what he called him. But yeah, something to that effect. Kidnapping coal. 
the meanest son of a bitch in the West. <clears throat> oh, let me say hello to people. I'm so fucking rude. Hold on. Let me scroll all the way up here. Look, I got Charles Holland in the house. What's up? Good morning, brother. It's the jacket. Look at this. I would have missed all this. It's the jacket. I got Al C in the house. Al C, what's up, Al C? Yeah. Chris Capello, thank you again. Let's see. Oh, I got Minnie in the house. What's up, Minnie? Minnie. Yeah, the real gangsters, yo. I got common sense. Hold on, hold on. All right, we're back. We're back. Ah, common sense to save the day. Good morning, Good morning. my man. What's Good going morning. on? Finally caught one of your shows. Yeah. I got to be up and eat, like a fucking asshole just to fucking watch you on here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to sleep? Uh, For like two, three hours, something oh, like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 The winter, the, I, I don't know what it is, the winter time. I'm like a fucking, I, I don't know. I only sleep like a few hours a night. Like maybe yeah. four, maybe four, maybe. It's because the sun sets so damn early, it just throws people off. I guess I don't know. Me too. I'm the same way. I I hate it, man. It's it's you know it's 18 degrees out right now where I'm at. Yeah, it's freezing, man. It's about 20 something over here. It's cold. Fuck, I take 25 right now. I'll be happy. Fucking 18. <laughs> you know what kind of shit happens at 18 degrees? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fucking your miserable balls, right now. <laughs> your balls start shriveling up yeah, into your stomach. <laughs> well, at least Lee, anyway. That's why he moved to Texas. Oh, my God. Dude, my scrotum, dude. It's too cold out here. Yeah. Oh, uh, JR Boston, I know, man. I, f I feel bad for uh, for Lucio, man. I think he's dealing with some mental health stuff or something, man. I, I don't oh, know. God. I'm afraid to ask. No, nah, it's some shit. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, he's all right. That's all I got to say. Hopefully, he's doing all right. Yeah. Fergie in love. I don't know who that is, but they said what's up, so what's up? What's up? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Top of the morning to you. Oh, top of the morning. Um, yeah, I, I saw... Did you see that uh, That Becky O chick popped up on my fucking... Uh, <laughs> on my recommended videos, like an uh -huh. hour ago? <laughs> uh -huh. I heard she was cursing out Lee today. Was it Lee? <laughs> she was going after everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. She had enough of them, huh? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. She went... Uh, she said it's been uh, months in the making. Yeah. Supposedly. Yeah. I don't know exactly what that, <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened, but <laughs> something went down. She has daily she has yeah, she has daily uh seances with John Gotti Senior and shit. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, her, her Does fucking, Angel get upset. <laughs> no, she she used to love it. Now she fucking yeah. hates her, I think, because you know she's crazy the lady's crazy, obviously. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's got a fucking dog named fucking Gotti. She's got a fish named Gotti. I think her TV's name is Gotti or something. Like the oh, that's real? I thought I thought you guys were just joking. That's no, no, oh, no, no, no. That's that's a real thing, bro. That's oh, a I always real thought thing. that was a joke. Wow. No, 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 no. There's nothing to joke about. Wow. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is going on? Her it's goldfish like is named after my father. Yeah. I swear to God, it's like a... Uh... Whatchamacallit. If they let like the fucking loony bin out and gave them all free iPads and internet access, yeah. this is what happens. <laughs> it's really what it is, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's really yeah. what it is. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. That's not funny, Glee. <laughs> I I still didn't get to watch the whole uh show from yesterday. But yeah. uh it seemed like uh it seemed like Nasabeek was throwing a bunch of shots at uh kidnapping Cole yesterday and he wasn't too happy about it. Yeah. Yeah, I caught, I caught like uh, maybe like 10, 15 minutes of that show yesterday, <clears throat> and it was I think that was the part where he said something. He made a joke about her, and she was in the chat, and she couldn't resist the call in and make up that fucking you know that bullshit about the email, or whatever. The lingerie. His, yeah, to break his balls. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know she wouldn't pass up the opportunity, and he wasn't happy about it. You can see. No, nah, he was pissed. But yeah. did you catch? Did you catch the shit like 15, 20 minutes later? No, no, after that, I, I tuned out. Oh, she started cracking jokes about him being a kidnapper. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she goes, she goes, who the fuck kidnapped somebody with a hunting shirt on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what he got arrested in, right? Yeah. <laughs> She's oh. like, I got, I got the picture saved. I'll post them right now. Try me. <laughs> wow. Was he smiling then? Hell no. No. <laughs> Hell no. Okay. She's like, he was like, uh, I spent. I then he said, uh, I spent nine years with my kidnapping victim, and she goes, she goes, yeah, you kidnapped him for fucking nine years. <laughs> it took her to get COVID to get out of your house. Yeah. <laughs> she damn near died. <laughs> <laughs> you just feed uh, the gyros every night. Oh my god, could you imagine, dude? What Shut up, in there, dude. You're not getting out, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that lady's crazy for sure. I thought it was pretty. I thought it was pretty funny watching her yeah. take shots at him, though. He was not happy for sure. Oh. I didn't get to watch yeah. too much of it, but it was it was funny. Yeah. A couple of minutes, I caught him. But anyways, I just like when Lee gets a sh- you know people, his own people talking shit to him. They were roasting him in the chat, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't see too many people really giving it to him like he he deserves. Maybe later on they did after I left. I don't know. Well, they were probably a lot of weirdos in there. They were probably blocking people left and right, cracking jokes and shit, you know? Because we're, re- we're watching the replay, so you're not going to see all the jokes in the live chat, you know? Yeah. They're going to be, you know, Lee's on there like a fucking hawk, deleting every comment, you know? Yeah. He's good for that. You know what I mean? Bastard. That, that motherfucker. A- yeah, but he's that- pissing her off. He made that, you know, that joke about the, you know, the uh, no plea deals. <laughs> Yeah, actually, and I saw that. Yeah, I'm sure that's not his only strike with her. You know, she keeps a mental note. I'm sure of all the times he's pissed her off, and she'll get fed up soon enough, just oh, like she p- did with the maggot. He pissed her off today. He pissed her off tonight or last night too on yeah. that same show. I turned it off after because I was, I was watching uh, Narcos on fucking Netflix. So it's way better than that fucking show. Um, yeah, I can only take so much of it, you know. Yeah, but she said he said something about um. Oh, what the fuck was it? They were talking about, oh, she was talking about how the title of her show, how, oh, as, as soon as everybody doesn't like Angel, they all of a sudden hate uh, every member of the Gotti family or some weird shit like that. <laughs> and and Lee, Lee made a crack like, well, Angel, it's just natural. You know, didn't you used to say stuff about me when you didn't like me? And she was like, huh? I never said stuff about your family. Mm-hmm. Like he threw a shot at her like that, like saying that, oh, you know, you you did the same thing to them, to to yeah. me that they're doing to you, but you're complaining about it right now. She did not like that shit. <clears throat> so he says shit like that all the time, you know. Yeah, he he well, can't help himself. He's got to get his digs in. Oh yeah, for sure. Sly remarks. Yeah, for sure. That stupid fucking video he did the other day was equally as stupid. Which one was this? Refresh that- my memory. It was, uh, I think it was the one from yesterday that Mikey Scar, how Mikey Scars is a, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, a, a real one, and the, everybody else is just a fucking liar and lies yeah. about some from some stupid shit like that. The guys, he's just mad that he just wants everybody to act like Mikey Scar so he can talk shit and nobody says nothing about him. That's what he wants. Yeah. You know, that was the real uh, topic at hand. In my opinion, he always picks know? his gangsters of the week. You know, like these are the real gangsters. Dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fucking goofball. Oh yeah, Chris, you uh, you watched the narco shit? I just found out too they're not doing any more of them. That that uh, you watched the Gunsmoke? No, nah, no. Nah. You never watched Narcos on Netflix? Nah, nah. Oh my god, what the fuck? You have Netflix? <laughs> nah, motherfucker. I used to, but nah. I know they started charging an arm and a leg for that shit too. You know, yeah. and they get like twenty bucks a month now or something shit. like that. Yeah, I, I remember when it was like four dollars a month, five dollars a month. That was yeah. Yeah, eight, eight bucks or something like that. Yeah. Or like seven bucks, yeah, whatever the fuck. It started going up. Every, but, you know, I'll, I'll give them something. They started producing a lot of their own, um, you know, their own shows and shit like that. So, yeah. obviously, you need to fucking, you know, have a lot of capital in order to put, um, you know, their own uh, mini fucking series together and stuff with the shit they've been doing lately because it's been really good, you know? Yeah. Like, they did that Dahmer series and the fucking Narco shit and all that stuff. I, I like those shows. You got to watch mm-hmm. Narcos ASAP, though, bro. That's fire, dude. They did like five seasons, two in, I think it's two in Colombia and then three in uh, Mexico. Yeah, the first one was with uh, Pablo Escobar, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I lied. They did two. They did two with Pablo. Then they did two or three with the Cali Cartel. And then they did three with uh, Mexico. Or maybe, I don't know, something like that. Either yeah. way. But yeah, they're uh, they're really, really good, man. 
But I'll tell everybody I'll tell everybody something to watch. If you guys like Narcos, uh the Pablo Escobar one, yeah. there's another series. It's an original. It used to be like a telenovela down in uh it's a, it's in it's in Colombian, but you can watch the subtitles. Or if you speak Spanish, you're good. So um it's called uh El Patron del Mal, the father of evil. And uh, it's like a seventy two episode uh series they did. It, it it goes throughout his whole life. So it's like Every little thing that happened, like, you know, throughout the course of his life that, you know, what turned him into the guy that he was and up until the, uh, the day that he died. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, oh, it's phenomenal, man. One of the best series I ever watched. It's like fucking 60, 70 hours long. It's insane, man. But if yeah. you want to, if you want to binge watch something, you could probably find it on another platform or streaming service. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the advertisements for it or whatever. Yeah. But the, the El Patron Del Mall, you got to watch that, man. That shit is, that, that shit's really good. He yeah. was a fucking, he was a creep, that guy, man. They call him El Patron del what? Del Mal. Del Mal? Yeah. The father what? of evil. The father what? of bad, whatever you want to translate it to. the 80s or 70s and shit? What do you mean? Like the show takes place in like... like yeah, yeah, yeah. Era? Yeah, they, yeah. yeah they, 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 they do his life from um, when he was like a teenager all the way up until the day he died, man. It's incredible. Yeah. yeah. It's really, really good. The only thing I didn't like is the guy that played him had this weird like tongue fucking thing. Like when he talked, it was fucking kind of bizarre. But what do you mean tongue thing? Like Lee Cole? Like fall off? No, 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 no. He would like stick his tongue out. Like I don't know oh. how to explain. You got to fucking what? Watch it. between words and shit. It was fucking kind of weird. Was but... he a snake? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta just see it, man. You gotta catch it. You gotta catch an episode, bro. It's fucking, it's crazy. Yeah, but it's really, really good. Other than that, but he fucking um. Hold on, that show's dope, but the dude who plays... Exactly, there you go, Chip. Exactly, bro. He knows what I'm... You know what I'm talking about, Chip Mayhew, right? I think if they, used, if, if they used... If they used the Pablo, the Pablo that played in Narcos on the El Patron del Mall, forget about it. That would have been one of the best series I ever watched. But the, the guy that played him was just like a fucking creepy, like, kind of weird dude. I don't, I don't know where they found that guy, man. Yeah. They should have they used somebody else, you know? But listen, you you got to check it out. It's probably on YouTube, to be honest with you. This shit was like a telenovela series on TV, you know? So it's yeah. not like a, a Netflix thing or nothing like that, you know? What's it called again? El Patron del Mal. El Patron del Mal. Yeah, you got to check it out, man. I'm telling you, it's good. Chip Chip Mayhew uh, said he's seen it in there. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Chip. They should they should have used somebody else. But that shit, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's really, really good. You'll like it. Yeah. Yeah, you like it a lot, but listen, he was a he was a sick like pervert type dude. He was like a chomo, basically that guy. You know that? No. Yeah, he was a fucking child molester, bro. He used to find like virgins from his uh, you know, the neighborhood he was from. Uh, what the fuck is that barrio he was from? Uh, Medi uh, in Medellin, it's a certain barrio. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah. he used to, you know, the the <laughs> women would would send him letters and, and send their daughters there and shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like 14, 15 years old. Like that's the type of shit the guy was into. And he married his wife. His wife was like thirteen and he was like twenty five when he met her. The guy was a sick like a model or something? No, nah, hell no. Anything oh, that but. was that was uh, what's her name? That was the other guy, El Chapo. Oh, El Chapo's wife, yeah, she was a beauty yeah. queen, yeah. Yeah, but the only reason she was a beauty queen is because at the fucking he beauty pageant he <laughs> yeah. bribed the fucking judges, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, well, I don't get he, uh... me, don't get me wrong, she was a she was a beautiful woman, you know what I mean? I'm not yeah. taking that away from her, but I don't think she would have been Mrs. fucking uh, Sinaloa no. without him. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And her, her father, um, El Coronel uh, Aspuro, he was a he was a cartel guy. Yeah. So you know, what I mean, that's that's how we knew who she was. Well, he was like mean? a lieutenant, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Right? Yeah, yeah. The father was a big, big up, yeah. big wig in the cartel. So you know. she got a couple of years in jail too. <laughs> yeah, she just pled guilty to a conspiracy to distribute coke and meth and all sorts of yeah. shit. Yeah, she still but, told all them in anyway, though, right? Probably, yeah, of course. Yeah. She got two young fucking kids and shit like that. You know, what I mean? her husband's doing fucking life. Never gonna see the light of day. What is she gonna do? Yeah, she's stupid though, man. She went on that fucking uh, TV show, um, a little while ago, whatever the fuck it was called, with uh, Michael Corleone, uh, Blanco, Griselda Blanco's kid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah, morning, she... fellas. Good morning, how? Hey, what's up, Jack? Oh, what are we supposed to call you for now? Yeah, I know. I, I get confused up. too. I do the same. Call me shit. whatever you want. I got the name uh, Howie CW One over here. <laughs> CW One. <laughs> Fucking Howie, what's up, brother? What's going on? Morning, man. Nothing. I... Just doing an all nighter tonight. 
Yeah, no, I, I, I just woke up. I saw the. Uh, the uh, no, no, me. I'm doing oh, a fucking all nighter. Yeah. <laughs> took a little nap. I took a little you... power nap for like two hours, and I'm back at it. Oh, okay. Where, where, where were you on? Lefty. No, no, I didn't go on lefties. I was just up watching Narcos, and I was watching some of uh, Lee Cole embarrass himself on the Stranger Show. That's all. You know. Yeah, yeah. Did you see Lee Cole making a joke about me saying, um, uh, uh, making the comment about um, that it's em- embarrassing that uh, he's, ta- he's talking about, um, you know, uh, perverted stuff? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, well, anyway... I- I don't know why he used the word embarrassing because I don't say it that way. I say it that he he says perverted things on the show. Yeah. Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah. And he then, was doing um, it yes- he was doing it yesterday. He does it every night now. Yeah, every night, yeah. This the, uh tonight that uh he got Marla to say that she's with a she's with a white guy because he's got a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, swear to God, I kid you oh, not. Oh shit! I only I can only watch like half an hour at a time, and I can't stand listening to these. They make me dumber as the minutes go by. You know what I mean? Good morning, yeah. uh, Chip. What's up, Chip? But did did you did you hear the part? Did you see the part when Angel threw her shot at Lee though when she pulled up that dude's comment because there was mad people talking shit to him in the chat and she pulled up the comment uh, that said, "Uh, I'm not a fan of Lee or something like that." But what's up with this, my? Uh, the fourth thing they were bringing up the shit the the video I was playing about him him saying the word yeah. fourth. Cool. <laughs> oh. she, and Angel said, "I'm gonna leave this up for the whole show." Lee, what's this all about, Ray? He's like, "Oh, they're making fun of the way I talk." He was all pissed off. <laughs> yeah, he's that's he, he, uh, so funny. He gets hey, triggered yeah. so easily. Oh, so easily, it's so yeah, funny. He's man. Yeah. he's thin skin. He's a he's a rhino with the thinnest skin I've ever seen. Yo, Chip, thank you so much for the cash app, brother. <clears throat> he said, watch Narcos, you fucker. Uh, Chip also leaves fat. Thank you. Thank you, man. Why, did yeah. like a new episode of Narcos or something? Nah, Gunsmoke hasn't seen it. It's a great show, yeah. Gunsmoke hasn't oh. seen the original ones, man. <laughs> nah. And I, I want to thank um, Jen, uh, Jersey Girl. Thank you so much, Jersey Girl. <clears throat> and thank you, JR Boston, for being here. And Falconetti. And especially you thank you, uh, Jersey Girl again, and Chippy, did, Chippy, thank you, Chippy. Did you watch? Uh, did you watch Narcos? Uh, how? Uh, I I think I've seen all of them. Uh, what was the last one? It was the season three of Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched them. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen? Uh, have you seen El Patron del Mall? No. You got to watch that, man. Yeah. Yeah, you got to watch that. Say the name again. El Patron del Mall. Okay, it's on it's Netflix. A, yeah, yeah. It's Sounds uh, like a beer. So. It's e- hold on. It's either Netflix. It might be on Netflix now, but it was on Amazon Prime before. Yeah. Well, I, so, I happen to have both of them, but yeah, I do. I do have a streaming app where I can watch anything, so it doesn't even matter. Oh yeah, so yeah, check that out. I'm telling you, you're gonna like him, man. If you like the Narcos one, this one's really, really good. It goes through Pablo's whole life from his teenage years all the way up until his death, and it details like everything. Shit, you've never even heard or seen before. It's just crazy. It's really, really good. I'll check it out. Check it out. That that guy Frank was talking about that he was um locked up with Carlos later. Mm-hmm. Uh Pablo actually gave him up to the authorities. You oh, know that? really? Yeah, yeah. Because he was causing too many problems for them doing that radio show and all that shit he was doing. You know, that communist fucking propaganda oh, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so he actually turned him over to get the heat off of him. He was doing one of the uh, cops a favor that was on their payroll because he was going to get fired if they didn't get a big bust or something like that or some shit yeah. like that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy when you think about it, you know. Good good morning, Christopher. Yo, Howie, have you seen Sopranos? You've seen Sopranos, obviously, right? Yeah, I saw Sopranos, yeah. You liked it or not? I, I thought it was funny. Yeah? yeah it, it was yeah. funny. I just, I actually just watched it for the first time uh, during COVID, man, during the lockdown. No, because- really? Yeah, because dude, when it was on, it was just like I don't want to see that shit. You know what I mean, I yeah. didn't. Care. You know, to me, it was like a fucking. I don't know. I didn't. I actually didn't watch The Sopranos until way after it was was uh, done because all the people I hung out with refused to watch it. To so watch I, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> we thought so, it was a joke. Like we didn't watch that shit. Yeah, 
Yeah. I just watched it like a year ago. It was great. It was good though. My my girl liked it too. She's the one that wanted to watch it. That's the only reason I watched yeah. it. She she wanted to see it. I was like, all right, whatever, fuck it, we'll watch it. What about and it, was, it was Empire? good? It was good though. Which one? Boardwalk Empire. Was... No, nah, I never seen that. Oh. It it was funny because there were some things that I can relate to, like like a character like Paulie Walnuts. There's yeah. always there's always a guy like that hanging out, you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's one of my favorite characters. But I mean, you you got I, I mean, some of my buddies I remember watching like they used to fucking I forget what night it was on. It was on like I think HBO on like Sundays, Sundays or some yeah, shit. Yeah, night, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember they'd fucking hit me up like, "Oh, we're hanging out tonight. Come by. We're having a bunch of people over." So I'm like, "I'm uh, hit me up after. I'm not fucking watching that shit." So I never I never really got into You're it. You know? yeah, yeah, I mean, I was the same way. And then I just kept hearing people saying, "Oh, how good it was." And then. uh I don't know. I just started watching it. I didn't care what anybody thought anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, it was good though. Like that about I like Warwick Empire. Now I heard. I I think I seen. I seen like one or two episodes when it first came out with the. Who's the guy that died there? Uh, Red the black stepchild. Good morning, sorry. The black. Died. Who's the black dude that passed away recently? The one FBS now. The one FBS. Oh, oh, um. The guy, uh, fuck, something with the, with the scar on White, his face. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's good. I like that guy. I forgot. Yeah. That, yeah, I seen, I seen like one or two of the first ones. Him and uh, it was like what Nookie Thompson or something like that. The crazy yeah, yeah. guy that with yeah, the teeth yeah. or whatever that played him. Yeah. But I don't know. Buscemi. I never really got into it. Yeah, but get yeah, Bashem. Yeah, like Steve Bashem. Yep. Yeah. But I never, uh, I never got into it, man. I'll be honest. I don't watch a lot of TV. But to be honest with you, you'd be you into want, it. Give it a you chance. You want to know what show that I never watched? Uh, Which uh, one? The, the Wire. I never seen it either. Never I seen heard it. it was good, but I, I never watched it. I saw the it, first two seasons. It was all right. The Wire yeah. and uh, Oz. I've never seen none of them. Oz? I, oh, you got to watch Oz, man. That's I've never seen it. Shit. Is yeah, it? Yeah. Lee, Lee jerks off to Oz. Yeah. yeah like, it's a lot of deals? Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's all that. It's all that, yeah. A lot of he crazy fucking, prison stuff. He fucking loved that. He's like, yeah. oh, I hope he drops the soap right here. Yeah, all the scenarios that Lee comes up with, it's in the show, you know? For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything you oh, can think shit. of, yeah. Oz was crazy. Man. Oh, my God. Especially Forget growing up, that probably traumatized my childhood, watching that shit on HBO. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 everything that was said about Lee Cole, he picked out the part where <laughs> he's talking like a pervert to make fun of. You know? You notice yeah. that? Yeah. That dude's a trip, man. That's something wrong with that guy. Good. That was the part that that uh, that burned his asshole the most. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah. They called me a pervert, dude. But yeah. they stuck up for him. Angel and and Ma and Mala stuck up for him. You ain't Did no they? pervert, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't no pervert. FBS is a pervert, y'all. Yeah. My sweet children. My <laughs> sweet children. I mean, you know what? At first, I was calling him that because I thought he was, you know, he was being disrespectful to them, but. <laughs> I guess they were all right with it, so you know. Yeah, that's crazy. You know. They don't care. I don't think they care. I can't believe Mala just came straight out and said she's uh, uh Lee was making fun of King Chase and saying uh something about he's probably with a with a white woman because uh because he's black. King Chase, <laughs> at, at, oh, at joke, right? Yeah, and yeah. He says he's made a comment of. Of Mala uh, being with a white guy, and uh, I forgot what led up to it, but she just came. Uh, oh, I think Lee made a comment like, uh, "Why? Because he had a big, you know, uh, something." Yeah. He didn't yeah. use the the right word, and she says, "Big dick." Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. What you mean, the big dick, y'all? Yeah. So, she, so she was probably then drunk. She, then she says, uh, uh, Lee Cole says, oh, that's what you're looking for or something like that? And she says, no, it found me. Oh, shit. <laughs> it found what me. the hell? Found me, yeah. dude. Oh, my God. Crazy. Yo, Wise Guy TV, what's up, brother? Good morning. What's up, Wise Guy? And Jennifer, good morning. And Silvio Dante, too. Yeah, good morning. I want to know if some of these people fucking sleep on here, man. I swear yeah, I've I seen them like... <laughs> They don't need no sleep. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, it's I can't believe how, how many people are, are on this early. Well, how many people is in I, here? I got 35 so far. 34 now that I said it. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah. You got to watch. Up, 
He's oh, he, must seen... loved, he must have loved when Danny was on the show. You know what I mean? All the cock guy when talk. Oh, yeah, he misses it. Dick yeah. sucking. He loved that shit. Though, yeah, right? he misses it. He used to hey, giggle at well, the little girl. They they were talking about um uh that Lee needs to get out more because uh you know he needs to get out more and socialize and find himself a girl and and he was you know he obviously he basically admitted he doesn't go anywhere. And um, of course not. They they were talking about how the uh, the old women in the in the um, uh, the homes that the, the, a nurse told Marla that uh, these old women I'm talking about like in the seventies and eighties were still getting STDs. Holy um, shit! Yeah, and then Lee, I don't. Uh, then they they started talking about. Uh, they mentioned the blue pill. And, yeah, yeah. And, and Lee said uh, that uh, the day he st- he needs to start having to use the blue pill, you know, then it's it's over for him. He <laughs> he says he says no real men use the blue pill. <laughs> oh God! I guess he's not a real man. When, when I when, <laughs> when I was, when I when I was thirty, there was a couple times I used the blue pill. Yeah. <laughs> Just for he, fun. He's Just like, for fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's and you he's know a- what? He's at the gas stations buying the ones off the counter, the uh, dragon, whatever the fuck it is, and the, the, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> he yeah, won't take you, the blue chew though. Did you, <laughs> no did you guys chew. ever try the blue pill? <laughs> no, no. no. Well, let me tell no. you something. Your, your, whoever you're with will notice the difference because it pumps so much blood into there that you will, <laughs> see, you will actually see the difference. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. Lee's gonna go right now and get some. Yeah, Lee's listening right now. He's like, dude, dude really? Dude. Oh, my God, it's a miracle, dude. Eureka. You know how much money that guy made off that shit? I seen a, um, I seen his kid on, on a YouTube thing that popped up I was watching, right? Yeah. And the kid was on some, like, fucking 85-foot fucking yacht fucking, you know what I mean? And the, the guy was like, oh, so what do you, he was doing, like, boat tours. Like, oh, what do you do for a living? Like, you got, you seen the guy that does the one with the cars? Where he goes up to people in nice cars, they go, "What do you do for a living?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah, house yeah. Is, he got somebody he was, in trouble with that. Yeah, go on. Oh, he did. Yeah, you have to tell yeah, me some about exec it. at Apple. App. The guy was bragging about uh, something about his wife, like he uh, gets paid to just uh, you know kiss his wife's boobs all day or whatever, or yeah. impress the women. Yeah. And the uh, Apple uh, took him down. <clears throat> they forced him down. He was a big CEO, like something with like the uh, like. Uh, you call that shit the factories overseas and stuff really yeah wow so you got in trouble oh, but anyway go on mm. yeah damn so well, it's yeah. no good to kiss boobs anymore no <laughs> or, or brag about it because people at yeah. the company complained about him bragging about it It was disgusting or whatever they yeah. said so yeah they they find it horrifying let me yeah, tell you yeah, yeah. believe me they were, they were it was a joke he was joking you know he was with his wife you know they were joking yeah but, that's yeah, ridiculous you can't joke like that anyway that's sad um but yeah, that kid was doing like a boat, a boat tours one at the uh, marina or whatever. Like, oh, what do you do for a living? He's like, oh, my dad made the blue pills. And I was like, oh, this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking yeah. squirrely over there. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, damn. He must yeah, have made I, fucking I, big bucks. I, I took it a, a couple wow, times just, just for fun, you know, because uh, a lot of people were talking about it, you know. Yeah. Um, and, Listen. Uh, and, and, and the person that I was with, she actually noticed noticed the difference, and she said, "Did you take a Viagra?" I was like, "No, what are you talking about?" Yeah, you know. Yes, it was. Did. It was. And a then I got pissed off. I was like, "Well, how do you know what it's like if somebody takes a Viagra?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. He said it wasn't. It wasn't Viagra. It was what Seattle. do you know about? It? <laughs> I remember when the first uh, th- them things first came out. Like one of this kid that uh, I knew used to work down at the Pfizer fucking place. He was like a driver, son. He used to get fucking cases of these things. Yeah, he used to sell them. Yeah, I knew they were like, used to sell them. yeah, they were like 15, 20 bucks or something, if I remember correctly. It was years, years, years ago. Yeah, but yeah, they, I mean, yeah, they're like, uh, you know, it's like big business now. People actually sell those things, you know. Yeah, there's some, there's some shit that, there's some advertisement that always pops up on here for Blue Chew or something like that, some new one or yeah. something they're pushing, supposedly. Chew. I don't know what the yeah. fuck that's I all about. Like you, know, you know, yeah. that, that, that medication was originally for for um, animals, for for dogs, 
with um, it was for their heart, or, heart or something, right? With the heart condition, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My my dog was actually prescribed uh, Viagra uh, when he was he had the pulmonary heart condition, and, yep. he, and because what it does is it it, it opens up the arteries, and, right. and you'll get more blood flow. So yeah. that would help. That would help him breathe a little better. You know, when he was when he couldn't breathe. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what it originally was for, and then they realized that you know what it does for men, and then you know well, that became the common I, use. I think some guy accidentally took that shit, thinking it was for his dog, and ate that shit, and found out what it did. And he was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, I don't know you how know? they found out, but <laughs> it was an accident, <laughs> like most things. <laughs> maybe they fig- maybe they figured well if it opens up the dog's arteries. Uh... Yeah, but the funny yeah. part is, the funny part is, it doesn't affect the dog's. Uh, private area it, it it just works like that for for men yeah, yeah that's weird huh yeah it's weird that's weird different body structures i guess i don't know perhaps it's perhaps it's jealous he's not on here talking about this yeah. right now god damn it what a, fucking, what a disgusting old motherfucker talking like that in front of these women right the nerve yeah, i think he's being funny and cute and and, and, and and angel's and, never heard people talk like that before in her life so you yeah. know she must be appalled and yeah. and they stuck they stuck up for him because God forbid they admit that we're right about anything. No, no, they oh, can't of course. You have an inch, yeah. yeah. Of course. Hold well, on, I, hold on, my bad. No, I just want to answer Jersey girl because she she's been so nice to me. Uh, <laughs> Nine ninety nine. I'm sorry, excuse me. I smoke too much. Uh, gun smoke. I haven't seen Shine Box or Frankie Rizzo around. Have anyone seen them? Hope they are both doing okay. If you see them, please say hello for me. Frankie Rizzo's been around. Not as much as he used to be, but he's still around. Yeah, she's uh, kind of right. She's kind of right. Box, I, I don't know. Shine I haven't Box. seen Shine Box. Yeah, I hope he's all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he's okay out there. Chip Mayhew said your dog was walking around with a rager. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that, that's why I had to make it clear that it doesn't affect like that. Yeah. That's, that's fucking funny. I got Dana in the house. What's up, Dana? Good morning. And Batch Elder Street. Is that Dana's real picture? Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, that's Dana. A very attractive woman. <laughs> I think she's married. Take it easy. No, no, no. I'm just giving I'm a just compliment. joking. That's all. Yeah. Mr. Smith will be pissed. No, yeah, sure. Mr. Smith's yeah. going to come out of What the fuck? Nah, she's cool. I haven't seen her around in a while, I don't think, though. Yeah, Chris- Christopher, uh, I'm a huge dog lover. I, I um, My dog was like my son. And when he passed away, I was sick. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of dog was that again? Uh, I ha- it was a French bulldog, but he had a, a oh, I like a, those a, dogs. A genetic defect that his ears didn't stand up. So oh, really? He act- so he actually looked like a miniature English bulldog because his ears were flopping down. Oh shit. Yeah. Do they uh, do they huh? crop the, Do they crop their ears? Or they like that no, no, no. Their their ears stand up on their you know they oh, on their own. Oh shit. Yeah, but I think his ears were were too big or something, and and he he didn't develop enough muscle to to raise him. But I thought he looked better with the ears down. Yeah, yeah some dogs do. Some dogs yeah. do. Yeah, this guy was, said uh, Paps Paps dyed his beard today. Come again? on, are you serious? He, he did it? No way. Wait a minute. Hold on. Did it I look? Gotta... Did it look anything like? Where the fuck is it? God damn. Imagine all, all, all the stuff, all the stuff uh, we've been through. I've been through. I saw, I saw a little dog get hit by a car one day, and my, I was sick to my stomach for like two days. Oh I know. Well, you know why? Because they're, they're helpless. You know. Well, I, I made a U turn to see if I can help, help the dog out, and yeah. the dog was still breathing, and he just died staring into my eyes. Oh, fuck. oh man. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And That's then terrible. I called up uh, animal control, you know, get him out of the street, you know? Yeah. Damn, that's horrible. Look at this guy. He's He was saying on the show that he got a jet black uh, dye kit this time. <laughs> jet black, not diarrhea brown? <laughs> that's what he was saying. Not I don't this know. color? <laughs> diarrhea <laughs> brown for men, just for slobs. <laughs> diarrhea brown color, you see? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking funny. That's the worst thing you you should you should do if you have gray hair is try to dye it brown. It'll never look right. Really? Oh no, it's never look right. Nope. No. You got you just got to go with uh with black. 
Not the purple oh. black. There's a color called um, soft black. And if you put a little gel in your hair, it'll look yeah. like you see that picture that, that I have up right now? I, yeah. I, 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 I dyed my hair. It looks natural, right? Yeah, it looks natural, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? The honky tonk man? Oh, this guy? Oh, hold on. This guy? <laughs> the honky tonk man? No, the fucking... from... It's the real muscle. <laughs> 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 Are you serious? I know better than that bullshit. Go to the well too many fucking times. You're going to come up dry, George. <laughs> no better than that bullshit. He looks like the yeah. fucking honky-tonk man. Yeah, look at the dog tags. Chicago had the long hair. And then, uh, where's, where's, oh, well, I don't got the. Is that really him? One of the suspects. Look at the U.S. Okay. Marine Corps hat. Oh, yeah, no shit. Yeah, look at the background. He's got those stupid comic books and shit. Yeah. Oh, right. Spider Man's right. gonna kick your ass. You know, right. he look he looks like he would have that type of voice, that guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Chicago too with the hat and everything. Yeah. He's got the cross around his neck, isn't that guy a God fearing man? I believe in Jesus. Jews for Yeah, Je- yeah. You know what? I, uh Jersey Girl is asking Christopher Capello. Uh, what that link is? I actually clicked on that link and it took me to a to a, a oh, Chicago no. Muscle video and and it and then it had something on the top about um what's his name Wolf? Yeah, like I don't John know what's, uh, is Christopher partners with him on the channel or something? No, no, no. He 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 puts up clips of like stupid shit these people say. Yeah, like, oh, like embarrassing themselves or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That dude does look like a wrestler, though. Whoever the fucking guy you had up there, though. Yeah. He just reminds me of like a washed up, like Axel Rose or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That hey, you know that would be the type of dude that was at some fucking rock band concert, though. You know. Yeah, I think that guy plays like uh, video games and shit too. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Well. He's got the headphones on and shit this morning. Huh? Hey, Boston J, what's up, man? Boston J, top of the morning. Jesse Roth in the house, too. What's up? Man, I fucking hate the winner. Did I tell you that already? I kind of like the winner sometimes, but... Fuck this yeah. shit. It's fucking cold, man. Oh, Mustache Pete's in the house, too. What's up, Mustache? Hey, what's up, Pete? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mustache Pete. You, you know what it is? It's like when you just wake up, it feels more... It feels colder. Oh, it's you get it's those eight, chi- those chills going through your body. It's yeah. eighteen. It's eighteen degrees out right now. Holy smokes! Yeah. Are you, you outside yet, here? though? I'm out in my garage. So I don't want to wake anybody up. You know? Oh, okay. And I, don't, yeah. I don't smoke. I don't smoke inside my house. So. Yeah, I'm fucking. Know. I'm fucking uh, freezing. It's pretty. It's pretty cold by me too. Uh, would you rather be eight, cold? Not eighteen, you... but thirty six. Would you rather be really hot, like a hundred something degrees, or would you rather be cold, like um, how it is now? Uh, no. no, I'd rather I'd rather it be cold over a hundred degrees, but you know, um, yeah. I don't know. Depends how you look at it. If it's a hundred degrees with no humidity, then it's okay. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. I remember. I, uh, I, I remember, I, I remember Tony Pizza told me one time. He said, uh, "I'd rather be uh, cold." Because then I can just bundle up, you know. I hate this heat shit. You know? Yeah, well, if you live in the street, then he's got a point. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he has a reason for that, yeah. That's fucking crazy. What were you going to say, uh, Common Sense, my bad? No, no, no. I was going to say when I was younger, I didn't mind it. But as I got older, fucking I hate that shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, when I used to play. Kid, you I used to don't mind that. Yeah, I used to play hockey out in this fucking weather on a regular basis. I used to love it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Now I only want to fucking walk outside. Yeah, you know. Another thing, I used to walk everywhere. You know, miles and shit. You know, when you're a teenager or whatever. Now it's like fuck fuck that. that. Once you get a car, it's like fuck that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, Common. You know, I I think that uh, that clip we were looking for. I think it was edited out or something. I can't find it. Me neither. I think they did edit it out. One hundred percent because you. You know who was on the show at the time was uh, uh, that Real Deal dude. Oh, that helps me out a lot. Now I can just look for specific parts. Where and I swear, 
and it was it was towards the end of the show from what I remember. I was trying to find it, but I couldn't find it though. Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm gonna go back and check again. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember I talked about it. It was on the tenth. Yeah, on the tenth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So was, maybe I saw it the day before or it was the on day the before. Fourth. That. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. You saw it on the fourth. The fourth. The fourth. Yeah, they they put like four different spellings or something in the, the fucking guy, uh, text. It was funny as hell. I was dying. The guy, the guy don't even know how to say where. <coughs> weird. Weird. We don't care, dude. I've been getting chill. Have you ever heard him say uh, Washington? Wash. Nope. He Washington. Wa- wa- Washington. 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 Some Washington shit like that. Wars. <laughs> yeah, he said some weird shit. <laughs> 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 that's that's why Ramundi. <laughs> that's why Ramundi said he had a fucking nine pound punk. <laughs> well, hey, he only got said, four teeth, so that's why. <laughs> I think he said he worked in um, Times Square from seventy eight to like eighty one. He oh. probably he, he probably was just hanging out in them uh um those peep booths clean up the peep, sluts. Yeah, peep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peep, yeah. Probably. Imagine that. Ugh. With the mop bucket or the Windex and the rag. I remember those things. Me and my friends, we used to we used to go to the city to you know, we were like like sixteen, seventeen. We used to go uh to the city just to like, you know, check it out. Yeah. Because you, you hear people talking about it, you're like you get curious, you know. But um, oh, yeah, that was a dangerous spot back in the day. That's what you hey, said. Hey, um, Howie, you ever been to Cityscapes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? It's a strip all, club in the story. All, all nude, right? Yeah. Oh, I used to crazy. get in there when I was sixteen. My friend uh, Joey Balls used to get me in there. No well, pat down. Uh, not... Joe Joe O'Kane had a piece of that joint. Yeah. Oh really? No shit. Oh, you knew you knew that. Uh, uh well, my friend Joey Balls, he was uh an associate with the Lucchese's. Yeah, that, that's how he used to get me in there, you know. And he used to tell me, "Don't fuck up in here. Just shut your mouth and sit there." You know, I used to get. And then what's free what's right his there. name? Um, from uh, Jersey. What was his name? That guy. Um. Oh shit! I got such a terrible memory. He had a he had a full fully nude place too. A little bit more down the road on Queen's Candles or some shit? Uh, what was it? Uh, Wiggles? The guy who flipped. Wiggles? The guy who flipped Wiggles? The, the Wiggles? Yeah, Wiggles. Yeah, Wiggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, Vinny Ocean, right? Vinny Ocean, Ocean. Ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Vinny Ocean. Jo- Joel King knocked him out one day inside Wiggles. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Over and he was, he, he was still straightened out, too, at the time. I don't know why, but he did. Really? Yeah. I wasn't okay. there. I just everybody told me about it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they got in a whole bunch of shit a bunch of times that place. They kept getting hit with like zoning problems or something like that. Wiggles tried to ruin my 21st birthday, those bastards. Did they? Yes. A stripper took my cell phone, charged me $135 for a fucking lap dance, then wanted a fucking tip on top of that. And then fucking. I had, it was like a bunch of shit. My friends had to fucking threaten the manager to get the friggin' cell phone back, you know? Yeah. She was trying to hold it hostage and shit, so. Yeah. Well, when you went in that place, did you go in there like, uh, did you mention anybody's name or you just went no. like a regular customer? No, just like a regular customer. We just walked oh, in. Oh, yeah, that, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah. They'll try to take advantage of you. Yeah. And it stunk in there, too, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it stunk <laughs> in there. As soon as you walk in. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, there's another place on. Um, uh, shit, I forget all the names of these places. Um, another place, it was... God damn it, I can't remember the street. Anyway, uh, my friends had a piece of that joint. And anytime we ever went over there, we used to get a whole room to ourselves. And, you know, the girls used to come in and just dance for us. Shit. But I can't remember. If I say the street, you'll re- you'll know the name of the place. Yeah. It, it actually was. It actually was. Uh, if you read about the case with Alphonse Truccio, they say the name there. Um, it was part of the charges of um, uh, sex trafficking. Oh yeah, I forgot they had that shit on their case. That's right. Yeah, I forgot. About they were getting. That. They were getting girls like from you know, uh, Russia. You know, like the yeah, European, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, the European chicks. Yeah. 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 yeah, they take that shit serious, man. 
Oh yeah, they you know those girls have to pay to dance. Yeah, yeah, isn't that crazy? This guy's <laughs> this guy's docks in this guy's witness protection location over here. <laughs> Who bury my cock in it? No nah, fertilizer. Oh. Oh. He's like, oh, Vinny's down in H Town. I, I don't know if he's still there, but uh, he's hanging out with him. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he went bad too. That's right. Yeah, he did. Vinny. Yeah, he did. He did flip the whole I crew. Heard I heard he opened up another uh, strip place. Yeah, he had a strip club down there. Yeah, in Texas. Yeah, he did. it was on the news. Yeah. 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 Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. I'm surprised they fucking. Well, I guess he got a new identity. He got away with that, I guess. But yeah, I know well, that... you know, and that—that's what Sam <clears throat> should have did. He should have got you know, opened up something legit and stayed away from the ecstasy. Well, he did. He had the fucking, he had the restaurant and he had the uh, construction company. Yeah, you're right. But uh, I guess it, was, it wasn't making enough. Well, for well, a guy maybe like it that, was, but for, I, for, a guy, I, for a guy like that, I don't think there's ever enough, to be honest with you. True, true. You know I what I mean? I think he was mostly doing it for his kids. That's what he said. That's what I, I read a bunch of the... Um, discovery on it for the case and it seemed like it was more the kids than it was him i think he was like he was basically loan sharking them the money realistically but the problem with that was that he knew what they were doing it's different than if you give a guy right. 50 grand to go do whatever the hell he's doing with it it's another thing if you know what they're doing with it and you're giving them the money now you look like you're funding it you know right well yeah he probably was putting up the money and getting a piece of the profits yeah that's what it was yeah so, so now think, you're like, now you're a part of it exactly so I think that's more or less what he got nailed for was because uh, he was trying to say he was basically just lo- loaning them money and they were you know he was loan sharking basically he was trying to say yeah you know but um in the end I I mean I believe he took the time so his kids wouldn't get banged out yeah that's yeah he took like twenty two twenty two years on the chin I guess so. yeah but they were gonna fuck him regardless he got a good deal the first time you know he should have got twenty on the first one you know yeah. He fucked up royally. He fucked up big time, you know. Hey, you you think he got that disease ba- uh, because of his nerves that he lost all his hair? I don't I don't know what causes that. Well, I don't know what did he have alopecia or something or was it something else? No, he has Graves' disease. Oh, okay, that's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah he got some actual like disease, you know. What caused it? I have no idea. If it's genetics or probably the shit he was eating in jail over there. I don't know. Well, he was in fucking solitary for like a decade, I think. Yeah, I uh, mean, listen, you, you, uh, the food tastes like shit in jail, but they, well, jail sucks. But when you get to prison, you may not like the food, but it is a balanced diet. <laughs> listen, I, I, I would eat maybe like five trays a week out of all. You know, twenty something fucking meals. I wouldn't even eat them fucking things. Yeah, I, I, I think I that. ate like fucking pasta three times a day. Yeah, tons. I ate tons of rice and the. Uh, I would just want yeah, all the meat, all, all the too. meat, all the meats you can get, and fishes you can get off the fucking commissary shit. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Can't canteen, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Uh, tuna, huh? Yeah, everything with tuna. I didn't like mackerel. Salmon, salmon. No, I didn't we- like salmon either. Really? Oh, Sam was good. Yeah, like but we were we were able to get fresh vegetables and everything. Oh yeah, you got a kitchen guy. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 yeah. no. I mean, they sold it in the commissary in Fort Dix. Really? Yeah, they sold uh, tomatoes, tomato sauce, uh, no rice. Shit. Yeah. Every, oh wow. Yeah, a lot of shit. Oh, I don't know. They had all that. Yeah. Yeah. Every place is different here, you know. And then, like, if um, if there was like sausages on the menu. The the guys who worked in the kitchen used to come around and sell us the sausages so we could make sausage and peppers. Nice. Oh, there you go. Yeah, because they also sold peppers in the commissary. Right, right. Huh, no sure. Yeah, no, you ate good in Fort Dix. And even even the food uh, on the child line was pretty good. It wasn't terrible. You know, like breakfast yeah, was good. That's the difference between uh, the feds and state, though, you know? Yeah. People, a lot of people just go to state and shit. They that dog, that's dog food right there. And, I and when, I, when I was in the Rikers feds, Island, you got soda machines and fucking vending machines and all that shit. You know oh yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. You get like a little credit card. 
Yeah, that's not bad, you know, but state, fucking state time, fuck that shit. In, Ry- in Rikers Island, when you went to the uh, to the mess hall, there was just like uh, uh, two or three slots, like little where you can just fit the tray out. Yeah. And you, know, you just, as you walk by, they just slip out your tray of food. You, you, you couldn't see who the person was who was giving it to you. You know, uh, to avoid people saying, "Hey, give me another another piece," you know, or yeah, you know, um, yeah. I seen one dude. They used to give us uh, on certain occasions. They used to give us like baked chicken and shit, right? Yeah, <clears throat> this yeah. Dude, this dude was taking the chicken bones and he stabbed this fucking dude with one. Damn. Yeah. yeah. He sha- real he sh- savage shit. He shaved the bone down to like a fucking peck and stabbed this dude with that shit. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, you can definitely do that. Oh yeah, it's like a those, fucking chicken. Even, chicken like even if you even if you break those bones, sometimes they come out with a pointy edge. Yeah, like they splinter. Yeah. So so wait a minute, Rikers, you get your food <laughs> in your cell. They don't have like a mess hall. No, and no, stuff. no. You go to the mess. Well, in the building, no, no, I was that, in, yeah. yeah. In the building I was in, you go to the chow hall and you, uh, you know, everybody gets online and you walk up to the window, get your food, you sit down, um, make sure you don't reach over anybody else's tray. Yeah. Make sure you don't uh, talk in the direction of anybody straight. Yeah, you know, uh, and make sure you don't you don't if you're eating pork, make sure you don't sit in front of a Muslim. Oh yeah, they, they you can sit them. anywhere, but you just uh, gotta mind your business. Yeah, well, you know, uh, yeah, you can sit anywhere because it's uh, you know it's not like prison. Uh, a lot of these people, you know, well, I, where I was. Nobody's doing more than a year, so everybody's going home, so they're a little bit yeah. more well behaved, you know. Oh, but, okay. um, I, I thought Rikers was like crazy, like, you know, no, it still was crazy, but you yeah. know, not as crazy as the detainees. Okay, you know. Um, hey, can you got can you guys still hear me or no? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Mm-hmm. All right, no, because my uh, my headset, fucking my phone's about to die because it's cold weather, kills the oh. battery, and uh, yeah, okay. I left. Dude, I left like three hours ago to go to the gas station, and I can't yeah. find my fucking uh my iPod case. I think I fucking dropped it somewhere. I gotta go buy new headphones later. Fucking oh, pissed. You always losing that goddamn thing. I know. I lost fucking two already, and I lost the one of the Beats ones I had too. But I didn't like the Beats, so they kept falling out of my ears, man. Those are expensive, yeah. goddamn. Yeah, those are expensive. The iPods. I don't know, I think they were like hundred fifty bucks or something. Jesus, that's expensive. Yeah, if you lose one every week. <laughs> these one, these ones lasted about a month, so I'm doing good now. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jersey. It's like a cable bill, you know. This is gonna drive me nuts. You, you know, you can't the uh, the ear the earbuds themselves. You can ping those right on the Find My Phone fucking thing, right? Yeah. But the case you can't because it doesn't have the chip in it. Oh. Only the only the earbuds have it, so I can't find the fucking case, man. And the case is like what though? How much is that? Well, I don't know because it, it has one of my ear. It has one of my earbuds with the fucking thing. Oh, you know man. okay. Yeah, the case comes with the earbuds. Yeah, son of a bitch. I don't know what I did with this. It's gonna drive me crazy. I've been looking for it for like two hours. Yeah, it's they... only hundred and fifty. Yeah, whatever. That's why I never <laughs> got those damn earbuds, man. I used the one with the wires. Yeah. This way I, I can't lose it. It's not going to fall out. You know? Oh, I lost two of them pissing in the toilet. I bent down to flush, dude. They fell out of oh. my ear mid, mid-flush, dude. Oh, that's... I, 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 whenever whenever I got to go to the, take a leak or be. something, I make yeah. sure that I ain't got my phone in my hand. Because yeah, I, I've dropped my phone in the toilet and, and it, ain't, it ain't fun. Yeah. Especially when there's already piss in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you got the the new phones are good. They're like waterproof now. The newer ones, you know. Yeah, I dropped mine. But, I dropped mine. I dropped mine straight in my hot tub one day and couldn't find it for like a whole fucking minute. I pulled it out. The shit was fine. Yeah, but uh, but you didn't have piss on it. <laughs> well, <laughs> you'll never get that out. Yeah, that doesn't. I mean, at least it's your piss, not somebody else. That'd be even worse. Yeah, you know? yeah but yeah, makes the difference. Yeah, true, true. Got to grab a little glove and pull it out. Right, fuck it. Yeah, grab a glove. You can always wash if you get a little bit on your hand. <laughs> you know what I never understood? I never understood why why people wash their hands after ta- they take a piss. 
you know, like, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, my thing is, is clean. I take, you know, more than one shower a day. Like yeah, if I right. don't piss, if I don't piss on my hands, you know, what's, you know, I should be cleaning my, I should be cleaning my hands before I touch it. You know, <laughs> that reminds yeah. me of Don King. Don King said that in the movie. He's like, you gotta I wash it before and after. He's like, I wash my hands before I touch my dick. <laughs> it makes sense because you touch yeah. those restroom doors and you, so many germs on them, you know. Don King's a smart motherfucker. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm talking about public restrooms. Obviously, in your house, it's clean. You know? Yeah, I don't, I don't like public restrooms are nasty, man. I remember I seen a thing where they fucking swiped like the doors and the fucking uh, handles and shit for germs, and there was like every fucking yeah. thing you could think of in them places, you know. Yeah, I remember one time I was I was a little tuned up and I was um I was out in a uh, out in a nightclub and and I was taking a leak and I seen a guy peeping over, taking a look. So I made, yeah, <laughs> so I, I peed on his shoes. <laughs> I made like it was an accident. Yeah. See, you know, you want to see it? Okay. Let me buy you a drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this trick, we, we went to a, a club one night and this dude tried roofing one of my friends and girls at the club. No shit. And I started a fucking riot in this place. Shut the whole place down. I tried why, fucking start. Huh? Why would you try to roof for your friend's girl? The thing to do is trying to like do something to her, you know? Some creep shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no. That shit was big. That shit was big. Uh, this was like probably fucking 20 years ago now, 15, 20 years ago. Well, you know, you know, like in these uh, third world countries like uh, Colombia, I was watching a, a thing on YouTube and they roofing. Oh, they gate rape they, everybody down there. Yeah, yeah. The girls are putting uh, roofies in, in the tourist uh, drinks. They think they're going back home to get laid. They get knocked out and they steal everything. Yep, they rob them blind. Yeah, yeah. That's why when you go to Colombia, for instance, right? Yeah, you can't even bring um, a girl back to your room if you're from uh, another country or something like that. They do that in the Dominican Republic too. Oh, see, all right. Yeah, so I know that's a big thing. They stopped. The, they tried to put a lot of halts to that shit because there was so much crime and stuff going on for people bringing people back to their rooms. But the guys that were getting uh, roofied, uh, there's, they, they, they were guys like that would go down and sit and stay for months. So they were actually renting an apartment. Mm. You know, like they, you, they were YouTubers. So they were, you know, traveling around to these different countries. And, um, you know, they didn't stay in a hotel. They, uh, they, oh, so they can bring people back if they want. Yeah. Right, right. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause you know, you know that um, they got some weird laws down there. Cause uh, prostitution is legal down in there, right? Yeah. Or was it Brazil? Yeah. No, this dude was in, this dude was actually in Brazil. He was going to um college down there. It was like a uh, one of the like sister schools to like uh uh you know college here in the states, or whatever. Like if you if you're uh, studying abroad, you know what I mean. Right. And uh, they they were film students, and uh, they had a bunch of prostitutes out on their boat, and they were filming like fucking pornos and shit that they were selling on the internet you know this is like fucking 15 years ago now maybe 20 years ago 15 years ago probably something like that and uh they all got arrested because apparently although prostitution is legal it's illegal to film them for money and shit like that oh yeah so they got held for fucking and extorted by the fucking uh brazilian uh police down there they had to pay like seventy thousand cash each to get to get uh released man no shit <laughs> yeah I swear to god yeah Mm-hmm. They were down in like for six, six, seven months. They came up with the money. Yeah. God forbid, like one of the girls was underage too. Oh, they killed them, probably. Jesus. But yeah, they got. Cat. I'll tell. I'll tell you off of here who it was because the guy's now a really famous uh, producer that does stuff on TV. You'll be surprised if I tell you. And I know you've seen some of his other shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you off of here. Damn. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. They were like they, they were locked down in fucking some hellhole for like six, seven months, something like that. And they probably knew beforehand and didn't stop them from filming them. Oh no, it was a setup. Yeah, it was a setup yeah, for sure. Setup. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. They had been doing it for a while because they were making a ton of money down there. They were putting out pornos and shit online on like the, you know, so they had like a channel and shit, you know, like a paid one. Yeah. Yeah. They were film students down there, you know? What else do you think they were going to do? They're making films. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lunatics. Yeah. Wrong place to fucking try to do that shit in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You can't be, uh, you know, you like them country, you got to be careful. Life is cheap down there. Yeah, it is. you know, uh, you know, uh, Anthony Tabita, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was hanging out with him, and he was talking about uh, some friends he had in uh, Colombia, and he's like, you know, we got to go out there one day. And he he said he when he was out there, uh, one of the guys he's friends with uh, said, you 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 want to shoot somebody? You want to kill somebody? And basically was telling him, here, you, you know, you could take this gun, go shoot that guy if you want, in the head. You what? know, and yeah, the guy was saying, you want to kill somebody here? Go ahead. Take the gun. Go kill one of these guys over here. You know, like oh, for fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For sport. Because, they, they, you know, they were uh, like uh, cartel guys or whatever they call it in Colombia. Wow. You know, um, but, um, yeah, uh, he never said if he did it or didn't do it. So <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I could only imagine with him. Yeah, right. He probably did it for sport. Maybe, you know, peer pressure. Yeah, it's like, all right, fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah. Could you Plus, imagine I mean, living... Th- people think it's, you know, some of the shit up here is crazy. Imagine living down there. Those people fucking chop people up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's why de- them... them uh, Some of them cartel guys are vicious. Oh, real vicious. And they cut your head off. They fucking... But listen, uh, you know, unfortunately, when you're in that business, you have to be, man. Because if you're not, the next guy is going to, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how they fucking hold power is by being ruthless, man. And they go after your whole family, you know. They gotta send in the friggin' they gotta send in the U.S. military in there, man. Shut them all down. But it's a big business; they'll never do it. Listen, yeah, the, that's why they the could government. They want. The government is is all on the payroll, man. You can't listen. You can't get away with doing what those guys do without having people on the payroll. You can't. Yeah. You can't. That's right. why they don't get away with it in the U.S. because they're not corruptible like that. They don't care about you know. Yeah, but the U.S. permits it. They allow it. They let it come. Of course, in. it's big course. business. They they should be sending the military in there, designating them as a terrorist organization, and just getting rid of them. Well, the this yeah. the reason that they can't though. They can't. This all right. So people don't understand this, right? The minute that you deem another country uh, a ter- a place of terrorists, like a uh, the whole country is a state of terror, like a uh, uh, what the fuck Afghanistan. Like, uh, Afghanistan, let's say. Well, yeah. guess what happens? Now the U.S. has to take anybody fleeing there as a fucking a prisoner escaping terrorism. So when these people have a problem with people escaping the border, they could literally flood here legally under our Constitution because they're running from ter- uh, uh, terrorism. We're right. doing it anyway. We're letting it happen anyway. So what is, what's the difference? No, well, because if they did it like that, they'd have to take everybody. And, you know, this this new shit that's going on is recent. But if they did it before, you know, 10, 20 years ago and, and labeled Colombia or Mexico or these places as terrorist countries, they could, we'd have to take all their people in here because they're fleeing a terroristic fucking nation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what they don't tell people, man. That's 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 why. The minute that you label them like that, then you got to take everybody in. <laughs> That'd be well, a shit don't show. have to make some amendments then. Because this, this True. can't continue. True. Of course. Got all the millions of people dead, all the lives destroyed from all the shit they put put in here, all the fentanyl they're bringing in here, human trafficking. Yeah, that's and all the this stuff. that's the shit that's really fucked up. Is that shit they're doing now? Yeah, it's no way to live. You know, they could be living in paradise down there. It was Instead, different when know. it was just you know coke or whatever, but that the meth, the meth, and the fucking fentanyl and shit like that yeah. shit's killing people left and right. You know? Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. it ain't right. No, I'll, t- I'll tell you one thing, but uh, Lee Cole must be a hell of a guy. He he got <laughs> off of fentanyl in three days. Three days, man. How do you do Fuck. that? He's an animal. <laughs> they don't build they don't build men like Lee Lee Cole anymore, you know. Yeah, he's just so much of a man, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank. I, I don't believe that for a second. Yeah, I don't believe that at all. Thank I you, believe that yeah. shit too. Hey, you see the picture in in uh, in in the. And uh, a ball super sticker, yes, yeah, please. please. <laughs> That's my, my dog's ball. <laughs> <laughs> Lee loves that picture, yeah. Oh, that's too funny, that's hilarious. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody's ever said anything yet. I guess nobody looks at it. It's too dark, I didn't, I didn't notice it. Yeah, it's too dark, notice. right? 
That's too funny. That's yeah, I really funny. look at it, and then you're like, oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> the dog, that dog was, that dog was packing, huh? <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't, uh, he wasn't fixed. Yeah. So them shits were hanging low. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. One, one of my neighbor's dogs got elephantitis, bro. It's so funny. I could barely walk. Are you serious? Really? I'm a fucker. I'm a fucking walks bull legged and shit. His balls are so big. It's hilarious. What kind of dog? It's a, I think it's like a pit bull or something, dude. Oh, Some kind shit. of bulldog fucking mix, dude. It's hilarious. I got, I, one day I should try to sneak a picture and show you the shit. you will be like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, why don't they just cut them off or something? I don't know. The dog's old, man. Now I don't know. Oh, okay. Probably fucking can't. I don't maybe, know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. maybe the dogs just can't walk that good. I, just, I think it's because I think it's because of his balls, but maybe it's old. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't got know. blue balls. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> they're enorm they're enormous, man. I'm telling you, they're like tennis balls. Blue nose, blue 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 balls. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. That shit's too funny. Hey, you ever watch these YouTube uh channels where they like interview like uh porno stars and stuff? Nah. Uh there's one lady, she's her name is like I think Holly something or anyway, she used to be a photographer. Uh, uh-huh. You know, for, for the porn industry, and she, she, um, you know, she interviews uh, porn stars and asks them, you know, like really personal questions and stuff. And it's uh, it's pretty amazing, like you know, um, how, like you would think how they would answer a question, but they 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 it's not the way you think they would answer. It. Like I don't want to say what they were answering or what it. You know what she was asking, but yeah. it's uh, it's pretty enlightening. You know, like how normal these girls are, and it's just um, you know, like uh, that's you know, an they, act. They say like you know the 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 porn star guys. You know, like those guys aren't normal. You know, no. <laughs> they're all the gay. reason why they're on porn. Yeah. Well, they're all gay. Well, but I'm talking about like you know, like hung like horses. That that's not <laughs> your typical guy, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. I, I was just yelling at the TV. Yeah, speak for yourself. It was. It <laughs> I'm was, kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because you know the the guys that are like you know doing these scenes or whatever for like an hour straight, and it's just like, dude, come on, man. You're either on drugs or this for your fact, you know. What yeah. I mean? You know. Oh yeah, yeah longer they, than that. I think it takes like four hours to film a, a fucking there's video. There's some guys that take Viagra, and and uh, a lot of times what they do is uh, they have like act. They actually have stunt cocks. Like they might put a guy in to in the middle of the scene, right? Uh huh. And then the star of the uh, movie is standing on the side, and the girl is fluffing him, making sure he's you know erect. Yeah. And yeah. then and then when it comes time for the for the you know the shot, then oh. he'll come. <laughs> yeah, Lee's a fluffer. Is that is that what Lee was talking about that day? The fluffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lee's a fluffer. Cool. Yeah. I didn't know what the hell that was. <laughs> yeah, sure. that's a fluffer, I guess. Oh, Lee was a fluffer for sure. Yeah, yeah, and then you hear the girls talking about like what they prefer, you know, and uh, you'd be surprised they don't really prefer those big porn star guys, you know. The first oh, no. shit. Well, it's funny too, cause like the you know the dudes at the gym that that are all like steroid guys and shit like that. Yeah. They think they think that women like that. They don't. They don't like that shit. Right. Right. It's like a real small, small, minute uh, percentage of girls that like a dude that looks like that. You know. But yeah. they think they got like something wrong with their heads. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they think women um, like that shit, but they don't. Yeah, and you know they think like. Uh... It's a myth. Like if a guy takes steroids, that his what you call it's gonna get smaller. That's not sure. true. I mean, they they not so shrink if they stop working, <laughs> but um, you know, everything else will stay the same size. It's just they get so big and muscular that it makes it look smaller. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've yeah. taken I've taken cycles before. And I shouldn't know that. I, I I almost guarantee it. Lee Cole has got an innie. <laughs> innie. Like a, yeah. He's got, oh, a yeah, he's got a like he's just he's got, got a little, belly, a little head buttons. sticking out, but it's like inside. <laughs> it's like a scared turtle. <laughs> dude, yeah. they got an any dude. Like like when the turtle retracts his head, it's like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when he's scared, when he's yeah. scared, there's something on the loose, you know. Yeah. 
fucking guy. Now, I'm starting to feel like Glee now, talking like this. He's always got a turtle <laughs> head sticking out. He ain't yeah, right. That guy ain't right. What's up, Tony Action? Bay Bay! <laughs> it's hump day on and popping. Oh. Yeah, I think he's going to talk about uh, Edwin today. What, what happened with Edwin? Today is Edwin's day. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, he got caught out there um, going on uh, MRE's Facebook uh-huh. and, uh, you know, talking like a, you know, good buddy old pal, you know, to the right. Nazis, you know? He's like, oh, look, I, I just caught Edwin. I got his Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Look at this. He's in MRE's uh, page. Come supporting, on, really? Uh, white supporting supremacy. Yeah, supporting white supremacy. So he's going to ask him a few questions. It's called Edwin really? Wednesday. Look, yeah. Edwin I don't Wednesday. even know that dude still had Facebook things after all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he can't help himself. It's about time. It's about time, you know? He supports all the scumbags and then wants to ask questions over here. Like, why do you talk to Angel this way? It's yeah. like, well, why the fuck is she talking? You know, that guy's a creep. He's a creep. He's he's a definite simp. Yeah, yeah. he's a creep. Oh, yeah. Too. There's time. something wrong with that guy. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He gets dressed up specifically when he to go on the show, and he wears a suit all the time. No matter what time of day, two a.m. Yeah. It's like 2 two in the morning. He's got a fucking yeah. Easter suit on and shit. Yeah. yeah, it's like he's got a crush on uh, Angel and Marla, so he gets yeah. dressed up for them. Angel. The fuck? <laughs> Fucking Count Chocula's voice, dude. This shit's creepy, man. Yeah, he comes in there preaching. Yeah, he's a weirdo. There's something wrong with that guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, you want to show him respect because he's an older gentleman, you know. But uh, he's he's nah, been nah, nah, scumbags for too long. It's enough, you know. You gotta you gotta earn respect. I don't care if you're yeah. 80. If you're an asshole, you're a fucking asshole, you know. Yeah. I hate when people say that shit. Like, oh, respect your elders without you got you're gonna respect Lee Cole. The guy's a fucking asshole. Not respect yeah, that guy. And, he's yeah. a scumbag. And respect isn't only. Uh, how you talk to people it's also like uh what your moral compass is about you know like exactly uh, exactly yeah you know if you support a neo-nazi but you talk very pleasant to people that doesn't make you a good guy that's right yeah it's crazy man david steen hey what's up david steen yeah you got a lot of people in here. I usually don't see on though. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen these people in my chat in a while. It's nice. Yeah. Peter that's Dennis, that's pretty good. Yeah. Hey, listen, I got to um, I got to run out. I got to run out real quick. If you're gonna be on in a few, I'll pop back. Uh, swing you back. Motherfucker. Back. All right. Where yes, are you going? Yes. How long are you gonna be gone? Uh, I don't know, like forty-five an hour, maybe. You motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be on that long, but if yeah. I am, I'll see you then. Yeah. If not, we'll we'll catch up later. Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, Gunsmoke should come on later, too. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, maybe tonight again. Yeah. All right, fellas. Gunsmoke, thanks for having me on. Uh, Howie, we'll talk soon, my man. All, All right, right, buddy. Well, Everybody in the, the chat, take care. Catch you guys yeah, in the All right. Later. Yeah. Later. The so what's mustache? up, Gunsmoke? It's what's me up? and you. Yeah, me man. And you. No interruptions. <laughs> so we want to talk about, man. I forgot what we were just talking about. I don't know. You got, you got any questions? Yeah. You know, I'm listening. If I can't answer it, I I'll tell you. Um, yeah, you know, I yeah. pass on that one. You know. Yeah. What do you think? Whatever. You know, something pops up. Maybe maybe people in the chat got questions. Yeah. Oh, they definitely got questions. Come on, let's get some yeah. questions going, people. Let's go. Come on. Tony, action. Some 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 people answer really good. I mean, they ask really good questions like uh, Tony Docks and yeah. Christopher, Jesse hey, Ross, you know? Yeah. Hey, Tony Action. Tony Action. Breaking hey, news. Who's that? I don't know who that is, bro. This is what's Howie. What's up, Tony Action? Oh, Howie, what's up, Big Dog? Yeah. What's going down? How you doing? <laughs> bro, I didn't even notice, bro. I'm just waking up, bro. My computer's still booting up, bro. Yeah. You sound I like a computer. Right now. Oh, I think this, is the, this is the first time we've spoken. Oh, really? for real? No. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. So this 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 is uh it's what you call this is a historic moment, bro. This is gonna go oh, down yeah. to <laughs> Wait, you were on the show that day with Chicky? <laughs> oh, I wasn't on, no, but I was watching it. Oh I could have yeah. swore you were on the show with us. Well, they uh, accused me of being on the show, but I uh, wasn't there. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Even I thought I that that was a, a show for the uh that was a classic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh that shit. Was good. 
Yeah. So what's going on? You had an egg McMuffin this morning, Tony? No, today I'm gonna I'm gonna eat me uh I'm gonna eat me uh, an empanada, a Cuban empanada right now. And then I'm nice. gonna go home. Now when I get home right now, I'm gonna get uh I'm gonna eat me three raw eggs, some milk, my vitamins, some creatine, some creatine, some L arginine <laughs> protein, all the eans, all the eans. Thousand push ups. A thousand push ups, you know what I mean? Maybe do like around a hundred pull ups. Yeah. Do a little bit of cardio. So when the maggot comes out, he'll beat that ass. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey Tony, you, have you ever got have you ever uh, gotten your testosterone levels checked at the doctor? No, I have I actually have it, bro. Good, that's a good question. What why do you ask? That's a pretty good question. No, because <laughs> you you'd be surprised if you know uh you know you might feel normal, but you you know, once we get to this age, because uh, I'm I'm fifty six and I think Oh you're fifty six? Yeah, so um, you know, your testosterone level is going to be low and um if it if it is you know they will uh you know give you put you on trt and um That's my, testosterone, my testosterone was really low oh, and and i Where felt really weak and, oh. and tired and uh it was that so it, now i take a, an injection once a week and okay. to bring my levels to normal and i feel great Oh, that's awesome, bro. That's pretty good. Yeah. You know, they got some testosterone supplements out there that uh, a buddy of mine takes, and they actually work. You know, but it's a, it's an actual hit and miss type of situation. You know what I mean? Some supplements do not uh, work on certain people, and some of them do. You know what I mean? But, yeah, you know, that's a good question. You know, I'm thinking about doing that, although I don't, I do not feel, you know, you, you all could very well tell that, you know, since I'm on cocaine 24 hours a day, I don't, I don't, <laughs> yeah. I'm not, <laughs> no, but when I don't feel, I don't feel, how would you say, uh, lethargic or anything like that thank god you know what i mean right. I, I, uh, right. you know what i mean i do i, I do feel energized I, I don't wake up all groggy and stuff like that uh i do i wake up you know you know ju i jump out of bed bro you know thank god you know uh hopefully that'll last another 30 more years you know what i mean yeah but you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. yeah you know just for the heck of it just to see where you're at yeah i will i'm gonna take your advice i would Absolutely. I'm going to talk to Tina about that. Yeah. I'm going to take, I'm going to definitely take your advice on that. I'm, I've never actually thought about that. Actually checking on my, my testosterone. I might be surprised. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's pretty good. I, you know, yeah, health is very important, man. People take health yeah. very, uh, people take health uh, gr for granted, bro. But, uh, you know, yeah. health is very important, bro. This is the, this machine that we're, that we're on here on this earth is, you know, I call it a machine. You know, you know it could break down and, and uh, you have to take care of it. You got to, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta maintain it. People, it, it, people don't realize how important it is to keep your home, hormone levels right. You're absolutely right. It could affect you. It, it, yeah, it could, yeah. Look what happens to women when they when they go through menopause and stuff like that. That is a hormone situation. You know, what I mean, yes. their their system, you know, just go out of whack. It goes out of whack. You know, what I mean, and uh, the next just thing you know, it, you got great. Yeah. If you, feel, you if you if you feel good now, right, and let's say you come up low and yeah. you get back up to normal levels, imagine how good you'll feel then. Oh shit! I'll drive you people crazy here on YouTube. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, bro. Straight up. Where, where are you? Where are you from, bro? What city? Uh, New York. Oh, you're from New York. Okay. Queens, Queens. That's yeah. cool. Bro. I haven't been to New York, bro, since 1976, bro. Uh, I I definitely plan on going there. Possibly, maybe next next year after I go by after I go to Maine. But yeah. uh, but but the thing about it is that. I love New York, bro. You know, my, my dad loved New York too. Uh, yeah. He would always go up there for, for you know, for different reasons than I would be going up there for. <laughs> but, uh, but, 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 yeah, bro, I would love to go. To, I call New York, you know, pretty much, you know, the city of cities, man. I really, I really do. You know, it's, uh, you know it's the, the only bad thing about New York is so, so crowded and congested, yeah. congested and you know, if, if you got to go someplace and. It's only a half hour ride. You got to leave like an hour and a half ahead of time to, because you might hit traffic. It, it's uh, it's it's, yeah. it's bad, you know. How many people? What's the population in New York now? I think it was like twelve million. Uh, Not New York. Damn, just, that much now? Shit. No, yeah, I think I think, I think right. the city. I think the city was like around eight million, it, and it then was around the, eight, yeah. the rest yeah. of the state is twelve. You know, like combined. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of people, man. That's a lot of people for that little state. You know, if you were to say that to, in Florida, it's a big, pretty big state, but that's a that's a, that's a lot of people, man. Yeah, um, you know, but uh, 
I, I haven't checked in a, in, a, in a while. Maybe it's up or down. I don't know. But I, I remember it being around there. Yeah. Wow. Probably wow. more now. But... Gunsmoke's still there. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. It's about like 9 million. Yeah. Maybe 12. I don't know. But, yeah. It's what, what, there. What, are there any theme parks in, in New York? Theme parks? Uh, well, no. You got Six Flags in Jersey. I mean, you got Rye, Rye Playland. It's kind of like a little upstate, not really, but you know. does Coney Island still exist? Is yeah, that you a got Coney there? Island? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, believe it or not, yeah, it does. It's yeah, actually better now years. than it was. Yeah. Well, it's more expensive though. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go to New York. Crazy. We're planning on going to New York, bro. We're we planning going to Boston also. We're going to Boston. Time, probably bro. going to Boston. We're going to Boston next year. Huh? We're going to Boston next year. Oh yeah, nice. Boston, yeah, nice. yeah. Uh, is it uh, is it a uh, Boston? We're also going to Cincinnati. We're going to a wedding, I believe, in Cincinnati. Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing. We're gonna do some traveling, man. Uh, next year, bro. You know, we're going to Maine. Of course, gotta go to Maine. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, a couple of places, man. You know, what I mean, it's gonna be real cool, man. I've hey. actually been. Uh, well, uh, no, I've been in Vermont. Is Vermont uh, near Maine? Uh, uh, I've been to Boston. Uh, I've been to. To Ohio, but um, Cleveland, Ohio, not Cincinnati. Um, you know, hey, you, you want to know something? Well, you you never lived in New York, but um, New York, they're like in their own world over there. It's like almost like you're going to another country. I heard. I heard. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. I heard. That's how yeah. I feel when I leave New York. I feel like when I go to like the Pennsylvania or down south, I feel like I'm in another country. Yeah. The, um, yeah. yeah. Another or, or like the real America. <laughs> if Chicago. you're walking down the street in New York, don't don't say hello to nobody. Just keep walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind your fucking business. Well, they, they, he's only the action though. He doesn't have to. Yeah, I, have, I say hi. Don't, don't say hi back to me. Usually they always but do. But you will. You'll find a <laughs> large, a large Cuban uh, a population there, so you know you'll be all right. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, there's a large population in Jersey too. A large Cuban population in Jersey, right? Yeah, from yeah. my understanding. Yeah, that's one one thing about New York. I mean, you have every nationality there, yeah. and every nationality's got restaurants, and it's some of the best food in the world. You know, I've yeah. heard here too, bro. That's what that's one of the reasons why I like this place so much down here, in South Florida. But it's becoming a serious melting pot. Maybe the second melting pot, you know, because New York is definitely a melting pot. You know, what I mean, I think I, I kind of yeah. think of it as the original, maybe the original melting pot, but could be. Yeah, this place down here is now. You meet people here from all over the world, man. It's it's it's. it's you ever come down here? Uh, Florida. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, yeah. you ever ago. come down here to the deep south down here to SoFlo? <laughs> uh, I, I, the only place I've been, I've been in Kissimmee, Florida, Fort Lauderdale, okay. and Miami. But I don't know if I is. Oh that well, if you went to Fort Lauderdale, yeah. Well, you you got a little a little taste of it, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah once yeah. you. Once you hit Day County, bro, it's uh, it's the it's A1A. primarily <laughs> yeah, Beachfront Avenue. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What year were you there? What year were you uh, there? Uh, my friend, my friend went on the Lamb to Florida in like nineteen ninety seven. Oh, okay, and, I was already uh, left up. Yeah, and we bounced around. We 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 went to Kissimmee, then Fort Lauderdale, then Miami. Well, you went to Disney then, World? No. Oh, but you were kissing me. That's that's Disney World. Oh, wait a second. What am I talking oh, about? Yeah, I've been I've been to Disney. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Kissing me is on Orlando. 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 Uh, yeah, I don't. I I, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I've been there twice actually. But yeah, bro, I I, lo I love it down here. I really, really do, bro. The temperature at this time of the year, bro, is the ultimate sensation. I'm talking about the ultimate sensation because yeah. at this time at this time of the year, if you're up up north, you could actually go on the beach. There's people going on the beach now. Yeah. You know, you know, you can. You know, I mean, the and uh, and of course, you know, uh, you also have all oh, oh, and the food, bro. The food over here too. There's a whole bunch of different restaurants. There's always something, bro. Well, you know, like you know, look, you know, in my in my case, look, I've only been out seven years, and right. uh, you know, I was I was away for two decades. You know what I mean? So now I'm actually re, you know, I'm actually you're, I'm in a new I'm in a new yeah I'm in a new it's a still seven yeah, bro, because it's it's changed so much, you know, dramatically, bro. Uh, even the people, you know, you know, this place has grown dramatically, bro. When I I left it in '93, 
you know, yeah, and, right. and 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 now I, you know, I come back and I see that it's like uh, it's it's, it's a metro- it's a metropolis, bro, pretty much almost. You know, what I mean, they're they're constantly building uh uh buildings here. Uh, it's it, it's amazing. Restaurants just popping up all over the place. Uh, businesses, you know, it's it's uh, I love it, bro. I re- I really really do, man. I really really do. Now, do we plan on maybe leaving here one day? Who knows, man? You know, it's where the hell are you probably, going? Huh? Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm gonna go to New York. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, get yeah. my core. Oh, I'm gonna you get don't my core. To yourself. Nah, yeah, you I'm gonna get in my core. Yeah, get in my core. Go to the board <laughs> and drink some beers. <laughs> nah, we don't talk like that in New York. <laughs> I know, bro. Maybe Lower Manhattan. That's Boston. The New York is Boston. New York <laughs> is too expensive, my friend. No, it is. I know. I know it is, bro. Yeah. It is. But I'm gonna tell you something. We're not. We're not. We're not too far behind you guys now, bro. Because over here the eggs look. I, I we went shopping the other day. Went you know the eggs, man. Eight you know seven eight dollars uh for a dozen, big dog, straight yeah. up. Damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the the rent here a three bedroom, bro, a three bedroom in Hialeah. Three thousand dollars. Damn. And and yeah, I'm talking so that- about you know. Not and not in you know in a super duper nice place or anything like that, bro. You go to a yeah. super duper nice place, bro, uh, and and they're gonna they're gonna it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. If you want to you live know? in in Manhattan, I remember there was a studio apartment going for three thousand a month, in in in, in an ugly building. Yeah, shithole. Yeah, <laughs> the yo candle, a third place and candle about minimum. <laughs> Breaking up, buddy. You son of a bitch. He got cut off. How about now? Uh, hey, yeah, you. now you're good. Oh, shit. No, we, you're good. You're good. How about Yeah. Now? Well, now you're fucking up again. Dang. No, no, you're good. You're good. Peace. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 God damn it, Tony Action. <laughs> hey, Francesco Fertolini, drop the link. I did already. Oh, God damn it. He'll come back. So, yeah. Frank thinks we've been up all night. <laughs> <laughs> it's already been an hour and a half. That shit flew by. Wow. But yeah, New York, um, I don't I don't know. I was happy when I left there. You were, huh? Yeah, I you know yeah. what? I just got uh tired, you know, like once you get a little taste of places that ain't so crowded, yeah, and, and, and peaceful, you know, I when and you get older you appreciate that more. Yeah, I yearn for that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> holy, you guys holy, been up all night, bro? What the fuck? You guys been up all night? No, 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 no. I I just came on about forty oh. minutes ago. That's S E K. What's S E K? I forgot what S E K is. Bangkok S-E-K. via Sweden. From Bangkok Don't let via the, Sweden. Oh, it's only fifty dollars. <laughs> only that's Not great. Not only, but you know that's what he says. That's it's fucking awesome. Yeah. 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 Thank now you, you got to so find much, some place man. to cash it in. <laughs> What's the unit? I'll take that. Thank you so much, Falconetti. That's beautiful, brother. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you too, brother. Yeah. Uh, Falconetti. Falconetti, what's up, bro? Merry Christmas, big dog. Yeah. What do you eat over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. The empanadas. Wait. So you've been yeah. up all night, don't smoke? Nah. Oh, nah. yeah? What time yeah. you wake up? I woke up around like six something, like maybe. Like oh, five, me too. Me yeah, too. Maybe like five something. I don't know, five forty. Yeah, something. he 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 just got back from the gym. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! You got that right. So, you yeah, got that right. I figured I'd do a show. I just woke up. I didn't. I didn't get to do a show last night, so I was like, let me do a show today. FBS went live, right? Yeah. Last night? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had yeah. Like 10 oh, people yeah. On. We had a lot of people on last night. Yeah. Yeah. He had the the uh, the the A and R show? The Hollywood Squares, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think there was ten at one point. Yep, yeah. 
That's the max, I believe. Yeah. The All Stars, the dream team. Damn, I should have passed by. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, you should have. I could have swore you did, but I no, just... bro. I was uh, we were watching. Uh, what we were watching? I forgot what we were watching yesterday. I spoke the doob yesterday, man. I was, I was, I was. I was, I was gone. still call it that these days, doobies. The doobie, man. It's the doobies, dude. I can see Louis saying that. Dude, you want to smoke a doobie, dude? Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on. You do it one time, dude. What are you, chicken? Dude. <laughs> Lee, Lee, I'm not a chicken. You're a Lee, chicken. Lee, Cole, Lee Cole was saying that, you know, back in the day, he said when Coke was really Coke. Now, how does he know? When Coke was Coke really was Coke, Coke. he was a, he was a Coke fiend. He was a Coke fiend, right? So, but so now, how, how does he know that it's bad now? Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> how bad we, shit, dude. You might be onto something here, my yeah, brother. I think so. <laughs> getting bad shit. Yeah. But uh, but no, but everybody pretty much knows that. You no, know, down here in South Florida, everybody pretty much know. Everybody who's like from the old school, they know that. That the coke now is it's it's un, it's un it's unsniffable, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. Even it's, yeah, you know. Not, now now down here, you know, it's if you, you know if you know uh, unless maybe you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, you know what I mean? Because uh, because it, it, everything's all it's all cut up here, man. You know the scamming situation is, is through the roof, man. It, you know even with. I, I, Nowadays, bro, look, if I was young now, if I was back in the day, bro, and, you know, if, if I was the age of back then, I, I, I'll tell you something. I would not be doing uh, the things I was doing back then uh, because nowadays you don't know what the fuck you're taking, dude. Yeah, You true. really don't, bro. You really don't, man. True. Even with pills, you know what I mean? And, uh, wow. and you know, and coke, of course, bro, because, that, that you know, people just cut it all up. But they were, if they were cutting it, they were cutting and it back then. What? Yeah. They, what, what's happening now, I believe, is, um, you know, back then it used to come here pure and then the people used to cut it up when it got here. Yeah. Now it's not coming. It's not coming pure. It's it's coming, you know, different. Yeah. And, you know, and then the people are still whacking it up. So make it even worse. Yeah, bro. That's back then, bro, I'm talking like about, that. listen, I'm talking about the 80s, bro. I'm talking about the That's 80s, early talking. 90s. People, you know, yeah. people, you know, you would get a key. You could, you could almost double it up, bro. Almost double it up. You know, people were doubling it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? They were. They were actually doubling it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, but you uh, could, I, and it would still be good. You know? Yeah, it would still be good because you Not remember, especially if you're gonna if you're gonna be selling it, you know, like in eighths and quarters and stuff like that back then. Of course, you could double up a key because yeah. the, by the time, you know, even back then, by the time you 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 sell, you, you give away a key. By the time it's going to get stepped on so many times that the the, the actual consumer is going to be taking only maybe uh one uh you know two fifths of, uh, of 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 what cocaine really is. You understand what I'm saying? You know, right. So you know three three fifths of it is going to be you know it's going to be you know whack. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. that and that was back then. You know what I mean? So you know, imagine now, bro. Imagine now. You know? Yeah, so, I think it's. I think it's. I think before it even gets here, it's being whacked. Yeah, bro. Yes, yes. I mean, you know, from what I yeah. hear, you know, I hear. Yeah, yeah, bro. Talking. Yeah, it is, bro. It is. Things are things are a lot different now, bro. And you know that that's the thing that and and I knew about what was going on out here from me even from me being out in there. You know what I mean? And and yeah, it's true. I, I've got I've gotten my information from you know reliable sources. That's pretty much how it is now, bro. You know, it, yeah. that's what I tell people right now, bro. If you know. You know, I, I you know I understand that there are people out there that like to do. Like I told you, look, my parents will do the little thing. You know, on the on Saturday nights they would take a few wax on, on Saturday nights. That's the type of people they were. It was a normal thing back then. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, even with the uh, with the adults and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh, my parents thought that if you smoke pot, you're you're crazy. But they'll take a few wax on Saturdays. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that's how, that's how it was. And look at now. Now the stigma of, uh, of of weed has pretty much practically disappeared. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, it's uh, like alcohol. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but yeah, dude, I I, I don't recommend anybody to do anything like that nowadays, bro. Especially really. you know. With the dangers now, with the fentanyl and shit. Yeah, yeah. man, specifically with that, bro. Specifically yeah. with that, and even with the pills, man. There's a lot of people. There's too many pill heads now nowadays, bro. And and people like to take, you know. Uh, back in the day, it was uh, when I right before I got arrested it was roofies. Before that, was with the quaaludes. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, I remember the quaaludes. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Bro, I, I, I took, I took several. The, le- yeah. the lemons, the lemon, the lemon, and the rowers. They were call these things called rowers, seven fourteens, and lemon seven fourteens, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know, used to pop two of them things, and uh, you were high as a sky. <laughs> yeah, but, that that you, know? you you after a night of partying with the coke, you take a lemon to calm yourself down at the end of the night. Oh no, that was it. You took a lemon. That's yeah. it. You're going to sleep, bro. You're cool. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, uh, yeah, but not you know nowadays you got all these people taking all these uh different psychotropic medications, bro. You know you got Xanax, Z- and then what's happening is that people are making these things, bro. They're making them themselves, and these pills look identical to the real McCoy. Yeah. And people are popping these things, bro. And 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 you're and you're and you're you know you're fucking yourself up, man, big time. Yeah. You are, you know, and you know, uh, that's what yeah, happened. Heard- like, and the next thing you know, you end up like Edwin. You know what I mean? You know, you don't want that. <laughs> want you love everybody. You love everybody. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Unless you're a decent person, then he doesn't like you. you know? He won't show up in your chat and support you. No, 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 no. Oh, do I got do I got a surprise for some people today, bro? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Because um, no, I'm not gonna get into that now. But yeah, we're we're kicking <laughs> it. But 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 yeah, bro, you know. I do, man. I think that everybody should, you know, take care of themselves, bro. I, I, I really do, bro. I really do. I, I, I spent a lot of years of my life. Uh, I started, you know, taking drugs when I was a kid uh, and stuff like that and doing cocaine, smoking pot. When I was, um, I kind of started, I, t- I started to smoke when I was 15. I started smoking pot when I was like 13 years old. Uh, I think, I think sure, everyone, yeah. I think like 98% of the youth back then was doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. No, but but you want to know something, bro? I'm going to tell you something, bro. I remember in being in ninth grade, and I was just like a little small fraction of us. It was only like a little clique that will actually, you know, skip school and smoke pot. Bad and, motherfuckers. You know what I yeah. mean? Uh, the thing I remember, in, New York, in New York, the population so big, so it seemed like everybody was doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Things have changed dramatically, bro, since we were kids, bro. I, I remember, bro, taking a, a, a gun to school. No, man, that wasn't happening, dude. I would I, I would take a knife to school, and I, and I was considered, like, the, the I was considered, you know, uh, the ultimate sensation, you know, sometimes. Right, right. Wow. Right. Oh, George got a knife, man. George got a knife, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, but, uh nowadays bro it's like it's 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 crazy bro you know down here you know when i grew up there were no gangs down here gangs didn't even show up here in south florida i want to tell you now i actually you know i actually know the uh, the people who actually br- uh, started the latin king chapters down here in south florida and that didn't happen to um uh the upper uh, like 83 Somewhere around there, 82, 83. When I, I when I grew up, there was no gangs out here, bro. At all. The gang scenes here started to really started to pop up in the middle eighties. Yeah, you know I, I think I think it was Chicky who started that over there. Chicky was definitely the one who started that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and his uh and his uh Chiki's and his, what is Chiki. Chiki and his uh what is he was telling nephew. me about it? His nephew. The ones who actually started the originators of the original Latin Kings here all over the world. But uh but uh, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, what a guy, bro. Yeah, That's a guy. Yeah. That poor bastard. <laughs> that poor bastard was watching a video of him getting robbed and talking about it with the guy who set him up. Oh, the, the, the fat bastard. Yeah, the fat bastard. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> he's saying, "Look, look, look! This is where I clocked the guy." Meanwhile, it's a, the guy he's talking to is the one who set up the robbery. Wow. <laughs> bro, please believe me. I still haven't seen that video, man. Oh, Did she know that that was the guy? I haven't seen the video yet, bro. I haven't gotten. I haven't seen, got sat down and watched the the lefty show for of that. I gotta see it. I I'm think, gonna, I'm gonna play it, it right now. This community page. Huh? I'll play I it right it now. Be... Oh, I'm driving. I'm not. I'm not gonna be appreciate it because I'm driving. Oh. If I get, I'm about to get home. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta put this car to wash too. Uh. Oh, yeah, okay. Man. If you're gonna be on for a few minutes, I'll, uh, but yeah, I want to see it, bro. I want to see Chicky. Uh. I want to see. I want to see. Uh. I want to see Chicky, uh, somebody doing a Tony action on him. Bro. I would like to see that. <laughs> Look, I, I, I actually, I think that guy should should lock himself in his house and never come out because I, I, anybody could murder him because he he's defenseless. 
Yeah. Yeah. Cheek is definitely an individual who needs a gun. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. yeah. Definitely. 24 hours a day, bro. Or a bodyguard. I don't know where he would put it, though. He can't even put but, it on his waist. Well, he, he does have a bodyguard. He, he, can, he can put it in the fold of his stomach. <laughs> so, do you have a bodyguard? I mean, you know. Huh? Well, what, what, where the fuck was he that night? <laughs> well, what the fuck? I re- I remember no pe- like the fat guys in jail. They used to put shit in between the fold of their stomach, yeah, under his tit. Oh shit, bro! Yeah, and if you That's weren't crazy. circumcised, the, the, sometimes the guards would make you pull it back to make sure you didn't have anything underneath there. Oh, bro! At, yeah, at least where I was at, they did that. Oh no! Like, one day before. I was I, 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 one day I was somebody told me to do that. Pull the uh, some officer told me to do that. I go, bro, yeah. bro, I'm not gonna do it. You're gonna have to kill me, bro. I'm not gonna show you the head of my dick. Right. <laughs> Jesus, I did. <laughs> Jersey girl, thank you so much, Jersey, and Senorita, thank you for being here. And bro, well, Jersey know, girl, Senorita. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, uh, pulling back your shit or bending over and squatting. Bro, bro, that's so humiliating, dude. That's really, that really is, bro. It really is, bro. You think about it. You know, we're, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're characters, bro. So it really doesn't really so much. Uh, Man, like, but your normal everyday person that ha- that happens to them, they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. traumatizing. Yeah, it's bro. crazy. Yeah, oh, somebody keeps especially it's, it's like an assault, you know? Oh, yeah. You know, he keeps getting phone calls. This fucking guy. Oh. Yeah, yes, it's uh, yeah. it's very it's very degrading, you know. Yeah, of course. It's, I look at it. You as know, like ma- an imagine imagine you're a boss and you got some god fucking telling you, all right, bend over, yeah, uh, cool. squat. You yeah. know, <clears throat> that's crazy. That's crazy. Man. And they do it to you like every time you want to see visits, like somebody comes to visit you, right? Yeah, they're doing that to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, if you develop a good relationship with a god. And he's, you know, there when you're going on a visit. He, you know, he won't go through all of that shit. He'll just say, put on your clothes, let's go. Yeah. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys that they really want to see that. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. (laughs) Yeah, and then when you're like, when you're like on parole or probation, there's some parole officers, they they want to actually see the the pee come out of you, come out of you. Bro, no, I'm he, telling they're you. They're watching you, yeah. Bro, I'm telling you. I don't understand that. I, I still don't understand that, bro. I really don't how people want to. I don't understand that, bro. I really don't. Bro. You know, I couldn't do that type of job, bro. For real, I couldn't do it, bro. If I, I mean, did, I, w- I, would, I wouldn't be fucking staring at their shit. Yeah, bro, looking at people's they assholes, make sure bro. It's piss. Why would they want to watch They want to make sure that you're actually peeing in the cup that you're not yeah, bro. Uh, putting something else in there. Oh, oh if they're testing. I you, couldn't bro. do it. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that, bro. I couldn't be staring at a dude's uh, penis like that, bro. I don't know. I, you know, I would see people that I would see these officers that would do that kind of shit. I'd be like, I was like blown away, man. I remember t- on a few of them, I would tell them things like, is this your favorite part of the job, bro? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, hey, you know, God, you know, they're correctional officers. They're, they're good. I look, listen, man, I, I did 22. I met some cool correctional officers. All right. I there's did. Some cool but, ones, yeah. but I'm going to tell you something right now, straight up. I don't know how it is up there, up there, bro. But down here, bro, in Florida, and, and I, could talk, I could talk to you about the feds, how the correctional officers were in, in the feds. They were very yeah. different than the ones that from the state they are. They really are. Uh, but here in Florida, bro, they're dickheads, man. I'm telling you right now, bro, straight up, bro. The majority of them. In the upper nineties, in the I'm not I'm not exaggerating, in the upper nineties, bro. They're straight up scumbags. As a matter of fact, um, there was this talk show host guy. I forgot his name, bro. Very known here in Florida. I think it was in with Steve Harvey, and um, he would he would he would say that uh, if you wanted to see the dredge of of society, go to a Florida state uh, you know state correctional facility. And doing doing a shift change, you'll see it. I, I'm yeah. I'm that serious, bro. They're they're very scumbaggish over here. These uh, correctional officers here in Florida, dude. A, I mean, a to, lot of, a lot of to the, the correctional freaking roof. Officers are street guys too. Yeah, a lot of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, and a lot of them are uh, a bunch of cowards, bro. Uh, yeah. We we got we got one one time real real good. 
back, I'm going to tell you what year it was. It was in 1985. Uh, it, he was a, a correctional oh, officer yeah. who beat the shit out of a, of a, of a buddy, of a son of a, he was the son of, of one of, of my father's friends. And uh, yeah, he got his house uh, broken into uh, really bad. They pissed all over his house, inside his house. <laughs> they took a shit. They broke all his TVs. Where they uh, take yeah. the shit at? On the floor? I don't remember, bro. I will be lying if I tell you. Uh, you better I, I watch remember. out for that DNA. Yeah, back then there was no <laughs> shit like that, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> they, they, but yeah, they they and, and they got him in a, they got him in a McDonald's, bro. And they beat the shit out of him, bro. I mean, the shit out of him. I was the, I was the driver, <laughs> but they got him real good. His buddy, they was two of them. One of them they just destroyed his house, destroyed it. And in the and the other one, uh, they got him in a McDonald's. They beat the shit out of him, you know. Because I'm gonna tell you something. If you're given authority, right? Look, I know, listen, I was locked up. I know there's some characters in there that you got to be rough with them, bro. They are. But you got some very evil people that are locked up, dude. I've met them. I met some very evil individuals, bro. Worse, yeah. worse than MRE and the maggot. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> but, without bro, a doubt. Without a doubt. You know what I mean? There's some dudes in there yeah. that really, can, you cannot release them. If you release these dudes, they're going to hurt people. Medicine That's just society. Yeah, yeah, forget about it. That's just the way it is, bro. Uh, but and I understand you cannot be a pushover if you're a correctional officer because the next thing you know, you have chaos in in the in the in the facility. You know what I mean? But it's the they they, they can be. Uh, it's like the saying goes, uh, "Power corrupts," and absolute power corrupts absolutely. It takes a certain type of person, I, in my opinion, to to be able to wield authority correctly. And that yeah. goes for a correctional officer. That goes for a police officer. It goes for a CEO. You know what I mean? Or 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 a president of a country. You know what I mean? You have to have uh, some type of humility. You know what I mean? You have to have some type of empathy always to be able to put yourself in in somebody else's shoes. You know what I mean? And bro, because I've seen some correctional officers do some very very fucked up things. Bro, I saw a correctional officer one day slap the shit of this guy. He was like maybe in his sixties. Just because yeah. the guy was stepping on a line, bro. He didn't want he want everybody behind the line, bro. He slapped the shit out of this dude, bro. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying, bro? That yeah. even I I felt like I go, I felt like, bro, bro, I remember that time I only had a year and a day. And I was like, oh my God, this slaps this guy question officer. You know, I would tell my parents some. I see I've seen officers, bro, beat the daylights out of a dude. Just because the dude was 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 in confinement, right? And he was and he was singing loud. He was singing a rap song, and these guys didn't like you know the fact that he was singing a rap song. Maybe he was singing a th different type of song. Yeah. Uh, but they went in there, bro, and they beat the daylights out of the dude just because he was singing rap songs, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? Especially those redneck gods. Oh, let me tell you something. Here in North Florida, big dog. Hey, bro, listen, bro. Here in Flor in North Florida, in the Panhandle, the the majority of prisons here in Florida are in the Panhandle. I'm being straight up. You could yeah. you could look it up, and you go to, go to a map, and you'll see that the majority of prisons are in around that northern Florida Panhandle area, bro. Bro, you want to meet some racist individuals, bro? They're there. They're yeah. there, bro, uh, for real. And, I, and I'm talking about through the freaking roof, man, through the freaking roof. You know what I mean? Uh, I would always. I remember when I, when I found myself up there in the Panhandle, I would tell my my people. I would tell them, uh, I, you know, my mom, my dad, I go, listen, I'm going to let you guys know this, man. I want to get out. I'm trying to be a good boy here. But if one of these officers, man, put their hands on me in a, in a manner that's wrong and they break something and they do something to me that's permanent, when I get out there, I'm going to hurt them good. I'm going to hurt one of them good at, at the minimum. At the minimum, shoot up their houses. At the minimum. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I would tell that to my parents all the time. Thank God, thank God, it, it, it didn't, it never, you know, I've always been a respectful type of guy, even when I was a criminal, you know what I mean? Thank God, it, you know, um, uh, it, it didn't happen, bro. There were some uh, very close calls uh, uh, because, you know, there was, there's officers that really try you, man. They really, really do, bro. They really, they like to try people. You know, there's people, there's just bullies, man. You know what I mean? There's yeah. a lot of, I always tried, I, I always tried to like not have, too much conversation with them just no. to keep, it, keep it a mystery yeah. you know yeah 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 it's the best way to do it that's the best way to do it that's how i did my time big dog you know uh uh um in the feds well i you know i i, I, I was I, I taught a computer class there for years so it was kind of a little bit harder for me to maintain that type of uh 
you know, of character that you of, you know, of being, uh, you know, a, a low, uh, you know, very, you know, n not talking to anybody because I was a teacher, you know, I actually get up there and teach, you know, right. computers, you know, but, uh, but yeah, bro, I, I maintain a, a very, um, tight knit, um, group around me because, you know, that's really, that really is the best way to do it, bro. And of course, you know, uh, in the feds where I was at, it was not very smart of you to talk to an officer without having a witness beside you. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yep. You know, so and if uh, you get called down to the lieutenant's office or something, you should no, always yeah. bring somebody. No, I would. I, I always would. I always would. I always would. You know, I'll put me in the hole. Put yeah. me in the hole. What simple is that? You know, what I mean, you either put me in the hole or can I show up there at the lieutenant's office with uh with a witness? You know, what I mean, you have to, uh, because the next thing you know, they're they're saying that you uh yeah they'll you're say right yeah you're right and somebody could just say it just because they don't like you something and and then you, you start getting that stigma. You know, it, it only takes uh. For a couple of people to start that memory, you know, uh, each institution is a uh, it's a community, pretty much. You know, what I mean, yeah. and all you need is a couple of people to start saying stuff about you. And the next thing you know, you're going to have to hurt somebody. You know, what I mean, so I, I always did try to avoid things, you know, uh, that that will put me in, in those type of, uh, of uh, you know, predicaments or scenarios. You know, what I mean, so. But yeah, hey, bro. wasn't it amazing? Like how. You, if you came from another jail, like how the word would come down, like if you did anything, yes. you know, it was like, you, like the people in jail knew more about what was going on oh, on the outside and the inside than, than anybody else, you know? Hold on, we lost Tony. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was like, you know, if you, if you think you're going to get away with being a punk in one jail and get shipped out and go to another, it's just a matter of time before somebody Somebody sends word that so and so is a punk. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get away with nothing. It sucks, man. When you get to jail, you got to fight, huh? You have no choice. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, you know, when you get to prison, you know, um, it's not like, you know, like everybody keeps to themselves and everybody, you know, uh, it, it's not like when you're in the county jails, you know, like, um, even like with the gangs, you know, like they start a lot of trouble in the county jails, but once you're in prison, they just go with their own race and, you know, everything is pretty cool. Yeah. What happens if you're mixed though, you know, if you have Spanish, well, uh, half I mean, Italian? That, that thing is only like in the West coast, they're strict about that. But like yeah. in the East coast, you know, everybody was always friendly with everybody. Yeah. Right, Frankie? Yeah, um, yeah, no, no. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, bro. Good morning, Tony. Uh, yeah. No, I, I remember, like, it was all conducive to where you were doing your time. Let's say, yeah, you were doing, like, yeah, true. I, I never did upstate time in New York, but right. they told me that, and it made sense. If you went up there, it was very redneckish family because that's what they did in those towns. That was their uh, form of um, you know, their you main know, employment. Yeah. I mean, employment, you know, and then same thing when I was in the Midwest, same kind of situations. But I noticed, and this is just how it is. It's like the invisible segregation that goes on in life. Oh, it's, yeah. It, without a doubt. When you were in New York City, most of the employees there are either Puerto Rican, black and then Puerto Rican. So they kind of favor the inmates that are there, and which is understandable, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Then when you go to like let's say places like the Midwest where everybody's white, that's I remember going to to somewhere in the Midwest and we were getting off, and the guy goes well we in orientation he goes and he was kidding around and he was like the first thing he said was I just want you to know you better keep your hands on my white uh, people he was being funny though you know what I mean yeah yeah and 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 he wasn't being you know and that's what goes on a lot of it's uh the especially the feds. A lot of favoritism towards people that look like you. When I went through Elmira reception, all the guards walk around with a three-foot nightstick. <laughs> right, right. Yep. Yeah, that's a tough. That's a tough place upstate. Uh, I'm glad I didn't have to go that route. And you get out of line, man. They crack you with that fucking stick so fast. Yeah, fucking run right there. Yep. <laughs> You know, I'm Italian, so fucking, I, I, I'm lucky that I look fucking like them, you know, when, when I'm there. But then again, yeah. I'm sorry. 
No, he's talking to somebody else. Oh, yeah. Oh, they don't bop you upside the head and say, come on, greaseball, get back in there and get to work. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got the greaseball treatment, especially when I was with my co-defendants. We got that. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, I remember when I was with Joe Messina on, um, we were just coming back from a uh, co-defendant meeting, so we had to go up back upstairs, and we had a, a strip, you know. And while we're stripping, some guy was telling, come on, let's go, let's go. He was pushing. He couldn't put his shoes on on time. And I got into the guy's face. I said, hey, he's fucking 60-something years old. You, you, you yeah. know, go well. fuck yourself. Oh, fuck <laughs> you, yo. And it, it almost escalated to something, um, you know, that could have been bad. Could have been bad. And then he got mouthy, too, but I got mouthy first. Yeah. And then the next thing, you know, another CO stepped in, uh, a Spanish dude, and said, Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. So, you know, that we, we I, I, I did experience that kind of racism inside, like, you know, white, especially from the yeah. white CEOs and knowing that I was Italian. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, you know what it is, too, uh, uh, Frankie? Like, like uh, the Italians, they don't even like fit in with the white guys. You know, no, it's like no, it, no. It's like Italians is like a whole separate breed, like you know. Yeah, matter of fact, we kind of strayed away from white like that? people that used to come towards us sometimes like because we didn't know who they were. But I, I was more familiar with Dominicans, especially yeah. up in New York, and, and especially when my, you know, my family, all my brothers used to hang out in Bushwick, in the yeah. Spanish communities. Yeah, so I, one of my brothers used to come see me and knew at least twenty of the people in there. You know what I mean? Put it, put it neutral. Uh -huh. and they go the right. You know, it's growing up in uh, the Bushwick area. Yeah. And like you said, I mean, every facility is 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 different. Yeah, it's all conducive, like I said, to what, what area of the United States yeah. you're in, and that's yeah. how they act, you know. One person can change the whole atmosphere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, it, where Tony's from, when you're, like, in southern Florida, you might get a little bit better treatment. Uh, yeah. If you if you Cuban or Puerto yeah, Rican or right. until you go into the Panhandle where you get all these rednecks. Yeah, you're absolutely right, bro. Yeah, you're absolutely uh, right. As a matter of fact, I, look, uh, I, I was here in Everglades Correctional here for a few years uh, down here, which is right here in South Florida. You know, what I mean, and yeah, it was it was you know it was a lot different there. You know, believe, believe it or not, there were a lot of Latinos are uh, officer working there and stuff like that. You know, but you do have you know sometimes you do have some they will bring some sergeants and. Uh, uh, and you know, and, and, and other and other uh, administrative in, uh, personnel from you know from up there because they you know they do move them around. You know what I mean? And it can change the dynamic of the actual uh, facility oh, yeah. and stuff like that. But yeah, but you're absolutely correct, bro. Predominantly, it was it was it was a cool spot, bro. It really was. You know, to to do time. Uh, look, I also did time in a place here called uh, uh, South Bay Correctional Facility, which was well, which was being run by Wacken Hut. Uh, you know, this place was, you know, totally awesome, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, some sweet places. I mean, they're yeah. like, this is jail. You know? Yeah. I've been to a place that had a freaking bocce court in there, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. And people yeah. were tanning and whatever, fuck. I mean, it, yeah. it was sweet. But then I would have been in places that looked like submarines. Yeah, I, I was in a place that I had a phone in my pocket for three years, man. You know, I mean, and, and, and it was, wow. you know. That's that's that that that's that that was definitely the chism for my nism, you know. What I mean, for real. I mean, I'm talking about I I would be in the yard with my headphones on, you know, you know, talk, saying hi to people, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, Is that the imagine... real cane shades? Huh? Is that the real cane shades? Don't you <laughs> got to be like a a gang or son to be. A... <laughs> that's not, that's not he the would real. say something like that, though. He really would yeah, say something. Would. I'm sure he's done it, done it before, but no, that's not the real one. Hey, I, I don't think Kane Shades will ever go to anybody's house and take pictures ever again, bro. I, I pretty much made sure of that, I think. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> Well, Kane Shades is Caucasian. Yeah, W for white. Yeah. All the yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand that dude, bro. I really don't, bro. I, I, I don't understand, bro. You know, I, I guess he grew up... Uh, I don't understand, bro. Uh, how he chose anybody... the wrong color. Look, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I I, yeah. I don't understand, bro. I'm I'm as Cuban as it gets, people. I really am, bro. I'm pretty more, I'm pretty sure you people have figured it out, bro. You listen, bro. Predominantly, bro. Uh, Cubans, bro. 
do, will not associate with a white supremacist, bro. Here in South Florida, white supremacists do, are very extremely low profile, bro. I'm, I'm letting you guys know that right now, big dog. I yeah, really don't I'm understand. Sure. Yeah. A, a, a white supremacist down here in Florida, bro, will get their ass kicked, bro. If, they, if, they're, if, they're, if, they're, if they're messing around in the wrong spot, bro, and, and trying to show off that they're that, they're that and stuff like that. I don't, I, I, don't, I, I cannot see uh, Nicholas Colacone coming down here to South Florida and doing the type of things that him and uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, little, that little guy, you know what I mean? It's not going to happen, Ooh, but they're going to get hurt. They're going to get hurt. Well, in New York City, though. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, yeah. I don't understand how somebody like Kane Shades, bro, who, you know, you claim to be a Cuban, dude. I, I, I haven't figured that one out yet, bro. I, I really haven't. To actually t say to my... Right, well, well Gus, well, you were there that day. Remember the day that he said that uh, that this guy was his friend, bro, as his homie? Oh, yeah. He's like, that's my homeboy. Oh, are you yeah. serious? Bro, that blew me away, bro. It blew me away. I didn't even yeah. know what to say when he said that, bro. I was like, what? Did I just he, hear a Cuban say that? He acknowledged that the guy's a white supremacist, though. He just said he don't care. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, crazy. it gets yeah, a little bit more deeper than that. Then he's going around Lib Liberty City giving out flyers. <laughs> Where everybody's I mean, black, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what the I mean? The old Asian, lady. But, you know? Yeah. I, I'm like, I personally I think he, he, he's not all there, bro. I, part no, of that, no, is, of course not. No. Yeah, he's he's not all there, dude. He's not all there. No. no, he's definitely like you know got something slow in his head. Yeah, he's yeah. the guy when you go to those sports arenas and he's like the older guy yelling like the scream. Everything, yeah, everything is about his team. His phone with, has a no shirt on, cover on it, his license plates. You know, it's just all, it's all fucked up. <laughs> Yo, Yo mugs. Thank you for the three dollar cash, here, brother. And I mean, who gives hey, all that time? Thank you for the $2 cap. Fucking... Yeah. Hey, who who's gives talking all that time into fucking just, just talking that? That's my guy. People, you know? Oh, okay. Why well, he said something funny? Yeah, <laughs> he said something funny, but I wasn't too funny. Oh, uh, he's pretty funny. <laughs> what did he say? He, he said you? something about we don't want people with uh, greasy hair and silk suits coming <laughs> to this clean. Who country. said that? Who said that, bro? <laughs> <Talking> <laughs> <laughs> that's from the Godfather. That's from part two. Godfather. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the senator. What, yeah. yeah. Oh shit. That's the oh, senator. Senator. Yeah, the senator, right? Mr. Right, right. Corleone. <laughs> Fido, Fido oh, no. Corleone. <laughs> yeah, Falcon Eddie. Not He's only that, Mel Ward Studios. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you funny. Tell you, there grease ball friends. Hey, Mel, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Pate with his olive oil guinea charm. Yeah. And she runs off. Bring him on, Gunsmoke. Bring who on? Who are you talking about? Fucking Eddie? What? What are you? Oh, Fucking maybe... Eddie sounds like a cop name in a fucking uh, Quentin Tarantino maybe bring, movie. Bring on Hold King Chase. <laughs> Falcon Eddie. <laughs> You didn't read it like it is. Yeah. yeah. You guys watch any good cool. movies lately? Shit. Yeah. I got to come up with some questions for you guys. I don't know. Sure, sure. I just, uh, I don't know, man. I wish this was a few years ago. I would have had so many questions. I just. Uh, You're throwing a blank. Yeah, but that's just like the story of my life now. You you can ask questions like, uh, "Do you play an instrument?" Or, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, what was your favorite type of gun back in the day? Oh yeah, favorite... <laughs> sure. One that oh, shot. There you go. There you go. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, twenty five because it was nice and small. You know, but uh, twenty two. It wasn't very accurate. <laughs> yeah. It's close no, it wasn't. Close, you had to go straight up to somebody. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, three eighty. Uh, I wasn't a gun person. Yeah, you were you were you were more of a pool stick person, right? Like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, I just I I never been hunting in my life as well. Um, which is weird. All like my dad and all his brothers were hunters. I was, and I did, I just didn't like it. My favorite was always a forty four, bro. Since I was a little kid, I hanged around with a Mac. I, I hanged around with a Mac ten. For, for quite some time. Uh, but my favorite was always the 44, dude. 
Yeah, we, right we had we had a couple of forty fours hidden in the club, but forty fives to carry a forty four, your uh, your yeah. pants are falling down. Yeah, yeah, I know. I put them. I put. I will put it behind my. my but uh, but uh, I also like the forty five. My brother was always a forty five type. Of, my dad was always a forty five type of guy too. Uh, but th- those are those are it right there. The the Mag ten, the forty five, and the forty four, bro. But uh, if if you if you tell me from you know in regards for you know to to stop somebody and dead cold, the forty four, big dog, you're gonna stop him. Yeah, you know what I mean, oh, simple yeah. as that. That and, was uh, only one arm's gun. Yeah, and and if you shoot a car with it, bro, they're gonna feel it. They're gonna know you, but they've been hit. <laughs> I actually, yeah. I actually, I actually shot one time at a at a Z twenty eight, and and the car actually moved with a forty four. <laughs> it moved. <laughs> it has, I think, I think it has like two tons of impact power. Really? Almost somewhere, well, somewhere you know, over uh, there. A thirty eight up close has got a lot of power too. Yes, it you know, does. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. My dad had a, th- a little thirty-eight too. He loved that. Uh, uh, he also had a what was it? An M1. My bro- my dad loved the M1. He was an older guy, you know what I mean. He lo- yeah. he loved he loved the M1. He wasn't into like ARs or anything like that. Uh, my bro my brother was into uh, you know, with those type of uh, uh weapons. But I, I was there. I I loved I loved the Mac Ten. I I, I really did. Once I- the day I lost my Mac Ten, I I cried. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the only reason why we weren't like really into what type of gun we had because we always got to wind up throwing them away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Mac is expensive. Yeah. Yeah, that that was crazy. As a matter of fact, when, when I got arrested with my Mac Ten, the actual cop actually told me, "I just want to know who shot the, this Mac Ten is mine. Just tell me who shot, bro." And I remember I told the guy, "Well, I did, dude." I did. I was shooting at the ground. He goes to me, so you weren't shooting into an apartment? No, but I was shooting at the ground, dude. And he goes, well, bro, this Mac-10 is mine. They actually dropped the charges. That's how it was down here in South Florida, bro. You know hey, what I mean? I, I, I remember a guy came around selling 380s, right? So me and my friend, we bought uh, a 380 apiece, right? And my friend owned the body shop. So we went downstairs in the basement of the body shop, and us brain surgeons started shooting at a cement wall and we heard a ping behind us. It hit one of the bumpers, the bullet ricocheted. <laughs> you know, we, that sounds we, about we, right. We were, Allie. we were so stupid. We didn't realize that you shoot a cement wall, the bullets are going to ricochet. <laughs> That's very Woodhaven of you. Yeah. I was in a, I was in a van one time. Check this out, guys. I was in a van one time and, uh, they, they shot at the van. They shot us with a 45. And I'm going to tell you where the bullet, where one of the bullets hit. It hit, and we thought we had gotten hit by a car, dude. All right, where, where where the bullet hit was it hit in the sliding door? You know the sliding door. You know where the part where you actually turn the handle to open the yeah. sliding door of a van, right? You know, right? It hit yeah. there, right? And it didn't go through the the metal plating. It went through the actual, you know, the out the exterior of the van, but it didn't go through the metal plating. You know where all the, you know, the 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 where where the, where where all the how would you say you know all the the, the components weird, to the handle yeah, and shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, it didn't go it didn't go there you could actually see the dent but bro so that means that all the power was uh disintegrated there at at, at that plating at that iron plate right and bro right. and it actually felt we thought we had gotten gotten into an accident but then we realized that it was one of the bullets that uh we thought it mean they had actually hit the van. You know what I mean, and, and to, yeah. to try to you know to, you know to try to fuck up the van to you know make a stop. You know what I mean, but uh, but uh, it, 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 by the way, it did it did happen uh, right after a home invasion. <laughs> but but, but here, here, here's the situation: when we got off the car, I said, "What the fuck did, did they hit us? Did they did they actually hit a car? Did a car actually hit us when we were leaving?" And I go outside, bro, and I saw it. And I go, bro, that's how much power a forty five has, people. It actually yeah. feels as if a car you're hits you, bro. It, you're lucky it hit there. It would have went. Right yeah, the yeah, door. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that goes to show you, bro. These things are uh, amazing. I, 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 we got hit one time. Also, uh, we were we were driving off uh, from an actual robbery, and uh, uh, the, one of the one of the bullets hit. I'm gonna tell you where it hit, bro. If you open the if you open the door. And you, uh, of the car, and you see that you know the molding that's that actually uh, uh, goes around the the window, 
You know what I mean? Yeah. There, bro. One of the bullets hit there, dude. And it felt like, you know, if you're in, we got hit like three times, you know, you, we felt a bullet travel inside the, the car, but this bullet, it, it stayed there. You know, when I opened the door, the, the slug was there, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and it felt like as if we, we were hit, like if our car hit us by the back. You know, I mean, it, it was probably a, a, a big ca- a caliber. It was probably like a, uh, who knows, or maybe a 44, 45. I, I don't remember the type of weapon that the dude had uh, 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 right before he pulled it out. But, 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 but what I'm saying is that uh, that's how powerful these these things could be, bro. That they, they could, you know. Uh, I just, I'm just fascinated by that. I don't even know why I said that story. I digressed, huh? No, I mean, uh, <laughs> but, if, but, it yeah. does, if, if it doesn't hit that part, it goes right through the door. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's a you lot of guys, velocity. I'll velocity. be right back. All right, guys. Where you going, bro? Where you going? Come on, dude. Don't do that, dude. No, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump right back on in like a minute from like another another line from my phone. I gotta go get cigarettes. God damn it! You oh, sound like you're right, like falling Me? I no no no. Uncle yeah. Edwin's calling you. Go ahead. I sound go like ahead, an bro. asshole. I always sound like an asshole. I no, mean, bro, I got, I got, I got to go anywhere. I got to start getting ready over here. I got to pick yeah. up a laptop. Hey, I love you guys, bro. I'll be up right. today. Okay. I'll be up today at eleven, bro. Pass by, yeah. guys. You're gonna love it. Gotcha. All, right. All, right. All right. Talk All right, to you later. Actually. Yeah. See, I shouldn't have said nothing. Now he's gone. Fuck. Frankie, my boy. What's going on? God damn. Had a bad that dream actually, that actually, that actually, that happened in Ozone Park. It wasn't with Haven. <laughs> oh God. That's it. Yeah, parts of Ozone Park also turn like Woodhaven, Ozone Park. It's like right next to each other, right? You cross the street, you're in Woodhaven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Death yeah. Haven. Yeah, Atlantic that, Avenue, that... Atlantic Avenue desi- divided Ozone Park and Woodhaven. Atlantic Avenue was, you know? Yeah. That was yeah, I like the thing, huh? I, I like I like those kids a lot. I, I really did. A lot of tough kids came from Woodhaven. Yeah, and they were fun to hang out with too. Yeah, right. And then a lot of the Woodhaven, see, Woodhaven was like in between Glendale yes. and Ozone Park, so it was like you know you can go one way to Glendale or the other way to Ozone Park. I found it that most of the people that did come from Woodhaven that had, you know, did hang out in Glendale usually hung out in Forest Park back yeah. in the day. You yeah, know, like by the, by the dome, you know. You all used to get high up there. Or that little park by uh, uh, Myrtle Avenue on 80th Street. Yeah, that one right there, Forest yeah, Park. Yeah, the dome. Yeah. The dome is is further up, I I, I believe. It is. It is. You got to yeah. a little bit though. You got yeah. Once you're in Forest Park, a little bit, little bit, a little bit. Well, you know where Remington used to be, A and W. That's like the square, you know. Yeah, Forest Park's pretty big in its own right. It's huge. Yeah, you got a golf course there. Yeah. When we were kids, we used to have the little league baseball fields we used to play in. And then um, you, you you had Victory Field right across the street from uh, Remington. Right. Right. Later, right, to, exactly. later to be choices. <laughs> you might. Yeah, right, I, exactly. I, I had what incidents in, in. I had incidents in both places when it was Remington's and Choices. Yeah, yeah, you did, you did. Yeah. That was kind of like your neck, your neck of the woods, though, in, in, in kind of a way. Well, no? yeah, Re- Remington's with, uh, was with Ronnie One Arm, and then Choices was with Jojo. Gotcha, gotcha. Because yeah, that that goes back. Remington's was yeah. before my time. What what time? Did, when did Remington's close down? Uh, early nineties. All right, no, nah, it wasn't that bad. I've never been in there. I've been to Choices, obviously. Yeah, well, uh, well, I think Choices opened up like, uh, like probably like around maybe like ninety one or or something ninety two. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not good with years, you know. I know it was around that time. About ninety one. Yeah, I'd say the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little shithole. Uh, Choices. Yeah, it was little, uh, but it was brand new. You know, like it was brand event, new. They it, put it. It was right, right, right. It was. I remember it, now. They had the you know eventually, mirrors. eventually got you know beat up, but uh, but um, Remington's was uh, 
it was very old inside. You know, yeah, like, like a, a country western type of feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it was the old A and W Rupia joint. Yeah, they had like the little dance floor in the middle. Yeah, you remember the, the A and W uh, Rupia uh, franchise? Yeah, that's what it was. If you looked at Remington, that's what it was before. I, I didn't think they messed around with the decor that much. No, I don't think so either. It was it was like that, and I, actually, you know, like to get the call like that now, you got to pay a lot of money. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It had that all of that wood. old wood. Yeah, that real yeah. solid wood. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know what a lot of people use is like those pallets. You put like uh, whatever you, you know the ones that that the pallets where 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 you put stuff on. And yeah. They stain the wood. They take the wood out and they use that as pieces. Because I've seen, like, people make nice little bars out of that. Yeah, they make God furniture damn. too. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. The wooden pallets, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You can make like little outdoor uh, um, bars, balconies too. Like you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Floors. Now, people get real creative with that. So I got no creative fucking abilities at all. But I've seen them do it. I mean, I know how to stay in wood, you know? Yeah. That's what happens when you get out of the fucking New York City. You got to learn how to fuck with that. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done a few things on my own. I put uh, wooden posts in the ground. I never used to do that before. You know? <laughs> yeah, wooden posts, right. Yeah. Well, I like it, though. It's, I, I've always been physical, so it it doesn't matter. I, I like a lot of it, but it depends. I hate the fucking cold, though. You 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 when you when you finish you feel like a a, a sense of accomplishment, you know. Yeah, of course, of course. Like like I I never um, mowed lawn before before I I got out of prison, you know. Yeah, me neither. And I love it. I, I mean, I, even up to today, I, it's just, it takes me. You know, it takes me in, if I'm doing it for myself or uh, you know I, I like it. Yeah, well, especially if you got one of those uh, lawnmowers that you drive. The one you hear when you stand on stuff. Um, yeah, whatever it is, you know, you can sit you on that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But one of the most hardest jobs, I talked about this, that I've had since getting out of the program. Um, not program, actually getting out of jail. Probably oystering, but I liked it, but it was cold as fuck. Though. Oystering? Yeah, I used to oyster. I, that that must have been brutal. It's brutal. It's cold. Hey, who um, said that so, Sal Puma? Sal yeah. Puma was killed by uh, Charles Canisi, I believe. Sal Puma? Somebody just mentioned a guy's name. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe it's another Charles Canisi. Wasn't that a lawyer? No, not Charles Canisi. Charlie <laughs> Caniglia. Caniglia. Oh, okay. okay. Um, but there was, there was other Pumas that weren't related to him. There was uh, Jojo Puma, Tommy Puma. And another brother, but I don't think um, Sal Puma was related to them. There was Pumas from my town. That was a popular name in my town, and they did live yeah. in Ozone Park. They, um, they used to hang out. Some of them used to hang out with that Galante kid. I don't uh, know if that's the one who got killed. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, he was from Ozone Park, the one I'm talking about. I got and, you. And, and Joe Gallant, the Galantes used to live right off of Cross Bay Boulevard. Cross Bay Boulevard and Pickin Avenue. That's right, like right, 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 right. Right, at, right at the entrance of Howard Beach, but still all zone park. Yeah. You can yeah, walk over which one? Joe, right? Joe Galante um, and his brothers, the one, the one that you uh, killed that gotcha. guy with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot my the middle. I knew that 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 was a nice guy, but um, the 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 one that Joe. Let's just talk about him. He he was fucking. He, he was snaky. He's a weasel. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember there was fucking like when I think you put the accusation on him back then, and, and which was actually accurate. Right. That he might have uh, rolled on you, and then he started hanging out in my neighborhood over yeah. some cars. Yeah, his father. His father, well, what happened was is we went out uh, 
uh, stealing cars one night, and um, I had my father's car, and he, we stole uh, a Corvette, and he was driving the Corvette, and a cop turned on the lights, and he pulls over this fucking idiot. It gets out of the Corvette and runs to my car. I'm driving an Oldsmobile. What the fuck am I going to do with that? He's in a Corvette. He gets out and runs to my car. That was a rap move. Yeah. He should have just fucking took off. Why do you have to implicate me? And then his father came and tried to, because I took a plea, uh, because he went on the lamb. I took a plea and tried to say, like, you know, I, I was a rat. But um, that didn't work out for them. It turned out that that Joe looked like the rat in JoJo's eyes. Yeah, and he and he never came back. He never. He never out came back. Home. No. Yeah. No, he started hanging out in Ridgewood, and that's when I fucked him. Out. Yeah. Well, his father hung out in Ridgewood. Well, yeah, his father. His father was around the uh, guy I was around, so um, yeah. we had a good rapport. We're from the same town. My dad actually worked for his. My, my his dad worked for my dad back home, you know, in the mountains. Yeah, when he was a kid. So, uh, you know, we 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 had that. We went back. We went back. We definitely did. You know, er, er, everyone uh, in Fort Dick said that that yeah, there was a big like uh, uh, there was God bringing in stuff, and uh, a lot of people got sent to the hole. And uh, the, the word on the compound was that. Joe Galante, you know, he was he he ratted, he ratted, um, which turned out to be true. You know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, what happened was I got taken in one time. I, uh, this is to be fair to him. Let's be right. I yeah. got taken in, and he was nowhere to be found. And then he sent me a lawyer, in which he said we'll pay half. I said okay. And then he never paid the lawyer back, and he just disappeared. So the lawyer comes up to me, and goes, "Hey, look, I haven't seen homeboy. I haven't." I said, "So I just thought the worst." You know what I mean? Right. I sent out. I sent out. He was at Fort Dix at the time, and I think I was with Andrew Reynolds up in MDC. That was uh, Tommy's dad. I was with I was with Andrew Reynolds in Fort Dix. Right. Exactly. So he goes and and uh, Sonny Chacon too. Right. Oh. So we were at church. And and they and he goes like this. Hey, whatever happened to that kid? I said I don't know. Fucking, I haven't heard of him. And he mistook it like I said he ratted, and he ran with it. And Andrew had a big mouth. I don't know if you knew oh, that. Oh, yeah, I was just about. I was waiting for you to finish. I was gonna say that. Yeah. He so was, he was like a big, big washroom. So he put a fucking kite out of uh, and and. The next time he seen me, he goes. I thought you told. I said, motherfucker, I don't even know you that good. I never even fucking told you that. I don't know the fuck who you are. Get the fuck. And then uh, TG told him, uh, TG actually gave me the, 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 you know, next time he comes up, you do what you got to do. To his so father? He told him, shut the fuck up. Nah, he, he played the fucking tough guy too much, you know what I mean? His father? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, no, not that one. Not not the tough guy, but the, you know, the fucking, like, uh, uh Yeah, he thought he, thought he Everybody's was. Everybody's business. Because he was uh because of his son. Well, um, he got thrown into my indictment. He was actually a co-defendant of mine because uh he got he, he got actually he got TG caught up in a conspiracy and TG hated the fuck out of him. And, oh, and it was a you're talking conspiracy. about TG. I thought you were talking about TK. No, TG. Yeah. Okay, then I T can imagine TG saying, "Do what you got to do." I found yeah, it TG strange him, that his son. No, TG told that. him, "Listen, I'm gonna let him off. I'm, I'm just telling you ahead of time." He goes, "Watch how you talk, because I'm just gonna let him loose on you." <laughs> and he goes, "Because I gave him the look, like who the fuck are you? You, you, you motherfucker! Get the fuck out!" I said, yeah. "I said something." He took it out of context, and he sent the kite out to fix about the kid, you know, which was. Right, but it was halfway there. You know what I mean? Like, who the fuck are you to even talk to me about something like that? And not only who the fuck are you even to? No, he goes to me. Have you seen? I said no, I haven't seen him. But it was kind of like even where are you going with this? I don't even know. Look, we're in a pretrial fucking joint. Why the fuck are you even talking to me for? Yeah. Just because you are just because you're in my indictment, I don't know who the fuck you are. I, I understand your son took it in the chin. I get it. I get that. But don't don't talk to me. 
Yeah, you know what? I mean, a lot of guys, uh, he got away with a lot of shit because of his son. Yeah, he, there was, he, he there was a lot of, he got on a lot of guys' nerves. I, I heard, I heard. But no, mm. I, I tamed them down. One time, the next time we were all in court together, so the prosecutors talk, and so there's like 15 of us there, and it's Joe Messina, the whole fucking clique and everybody, and we're just there. Was it before Joe? Yeah, it's before Joe Messina, actually. It was when uh, Cannarella and them were there, so I'm talking to somebody, and I'm just ignoring the prosecutor while he's going through his, you know, they're bad, they're doing this, that, and everything, so I got and he looks at me and he's like, do you understand we got a problem here? And I look at him and I said, I told you, turn the fuck around. Mind you, look the other way, I said. You know what I mean? I, he's looking yeah. at fucking three years. I'm looking at life and he's telling me we got problems. Yeah, true. And and mind you, I wasn't even in his unit. The couple of, imagine being locked up with this guy 24-70, you'd have to want to kill him because he was just, Always annoying. Always had something sly to come out of his mouth. That's all he did all every day in Fort Dix. He was always in up in everybody's business. Exactly. Exactly. And I get it. His wife was sick at the time. Um, no, that's you know, no he, reason to be in everybody's business. No, 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 no. He he just my my, my thing. No, exactly. My, but my thing was he was grumpy. Oh, okay. He was a grumpy guy. You know, and he was older too, so you know, you know how that works. Yeah, right. Yeah, he was older. Yeah, he looked very frail. Yeah, well, his wife was sick. His kid got fucking fifty years. You know, that'll do it for you. I mean, was it, didn't Vito get sentenced to 30, 36 years? That's another thing. You just reminded me too. Then he got on me for the Vito fucking taking what he took. Like I fucking had anything to do with that. Because, you know, your what? friend Vito fucked fuck my fucking kid's plea bargain up. I said, and uh, where the fuck do you come up with this? I go, and he turns around right away. Now, now if that one time I would have fucking been like, oh, you're right or something like that, this guy would have been, you, you know, you had to put him in his place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. All right? I just, I, I get the, well, and everybody well, would look at him like, you know. When I, when I was in Fort Dix, I didn't have to talk to him, so. You know, like it's, uh, you know, it's so big there. You know, like you could you could avoid people. Well, if I if I if I ran into him maybe three times, it was it was a lot because he ended up cleaning out, and he no longer had to be around in these status meetings with all of us. Um, but that was it. Or in church because I would go want to go see somebody in church to talk to, and and um, that was it. But he incorporated himself into fucking conversations with me. I never, you know, whatever. Um, like when he found out who my, my cousin Dino, he, he made it a point that they used to have some brawls, these kids. I go, why, why? I mean, yeah, okay. They're like 30 years younger than you. What's the fuck? Why, why you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Talk about what you used to get into. You know, he was talking about the Bay Parkway kids and the uh, Bad Avenue. Talk about what you did. Don't talk about what they did, you know? You know what? I, I'm a little confused because his son got 50, but Vito got 36. No, Vito what? got fuck. Yeah, no, 30. Got, yeah, th you're right. You're right. You're yeah, right. And his, his son was trying to get the 36 that Vito got. I think what he was trying to say was at one point Vito had a chance of getting some a uh, couple of uh, years. Yeah, right. So if he okay. so if he get if he pleased to that, it's precedent that he his son would have felt would have fell under the same guy you know, plea. Yeah. yeah, we uh, which would have been the twenty two years, but he he didn't want to for whatever reason. He ended up getting thirty eight years. That's what I think he was trying to say. But and but he now, was also trying to make it like, well, your friend Vito, and my kids are like the same because they're just too bad at you know he he. He ran with his he, on his kids' coattails. I got that. Yeah. Was it thirty eight or thirty six? One or the other. I, I I mean I forgot. It was like that, but it was a long. It, it was yeah, he got something. Kind of got screwed like on that. his plate. You know, it depends who you talk to. You know, federal back then, like the federal 
the feds on homicides, it was all dependent on wh who got killed. Who, you know, they, they used to go, it was crime on crime. They used to look at that kind of stuff. They don't anymore. But there was a lot of guys in the Lucchese's and the Columbo's that pled out to three or four bodies and got 22, 23 years. You know what I mean? Back then? Yeah. And when I was, when I was coming, you'd got one by you, which they wanted to put lights out, you know? Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I think, uh, what I, I think, um, I think he caught a couple of other bodies and so they enhanced him or something like that. Vito. Vito, I think well, he played out. And don't well, maybe, maybe he didn't plead out quick enough and they raised it. That's what happened. That's what some lawyer gave him fucking some cockamamie idea to fucking just hold out. And it, 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 and I held out too and it worked against me too. But I think hold... his, his lawyer was Ronnie Rubenstein or, Rubenstein, or jo yeah. Joseph Carrazzo. Yeah. It was Rubenstein, I'm pretty sure. Rubenstein, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you see what happens to a lot of us. We want to know who the fuck's telling on us. So what we do is we hold out when they're offering a lesser years just to find out who's telling and where it's coming from. It's kind of like, you know, you you you're taking me to trial, but yet you're not telling me what the fuck is, you know, how you're not telling me my motive, you're not telling me nothing. So the more they divulge certain people, especially people they don't want to divulge, the more they're going to hit you with more years. And once you force them to do that, then they're going to go after you. Right, because they're, they're offering you a sweet deal so they don't have to divulge. So anybody. they can protect their snitch. Right. Yeah, and then once you get forced their hand and they and they divulge who it is, now they said, okay, motherfucker, now you're going to pay. And that's what happened to me. Yeah, you called out bluff, now we're going to hit you with uh, more. Yeah, how's 27 sound now, motherfucker? You know, yeah. that kind of shit. Yeah. You know? Well, I, I'm, I'm sure 27 sounds would have sounded good for Joel King. I don't know what his first uh, plea was. You know, that's one of the first things they told me when they took when they arrested me. They go, you want to enjoy a just blown trial at the time. They go, you want to end up like your buddy? Yeah. You know, Joe, right? And I'm like, well, I, I I don't know what you talk about. I said I, I got nothing to say. You know, he yeah. you know Joe must have thought he had a really strong appeal because he turned down walking out of jail uh, if he testified against Junior. He must have thought he was getting some type of appeal uh, going through, and he was gonna get out soon anyway. You know how? I'll be honest with you though. I. I I don't know. I, I, I don't think. Yeah, so. I don't know. I don't know either. But, you know, he turned it down and he stayed doing the life sentence. You know, I, I just don't think he would have. He would have what? Wouldn't have told, wouldn't have talked. But then I've been surprised. I've seen a lot of other people talk. But, yeah, let's go with his legacy. Oh, well, he didn't talk. He died in prison. Ev you know? Evidently, he didn't talk, you know. No, uh, no, 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 no. But uh, what I'm saying is, like, you know. Maybe, may, maybe he just was just a straight up stand up guy, or you know, or maybe uh, he felt he had a strong appeal going, and you know, maybe he can get the same amount of time as Vito, or you know what I'm saying? Like, because he was offered to walk out the door. Yeah, no, he he definitely had the goods to walk out the door. He had people to tell on. Nah, let's get mm -hmm. that shit straight. I mean, no, he just didn't want it. That's all. You know, I used to look at guys, uh, you know, like like Joe, and you know, not not uh, and hold it out, taking the life bid, you know, as like the ultimate stand up guy. But you know, I, yeah, I, now I mean, now it's like ridiculous, like you know, like for what, you know, he wound up getting murdered, you know, and uh, what's it for? What what for? I mean, I could see. If it was like back in the day, they might kill your family or something. But you know, they're not going to touch your family. Like, what what are you doing it for? Like, for, you you just want to be known as a stand up guy? Nobody gives a fuck about you. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I I think we we before we even talk, we look at things differently now, now, you know, I, I don't know. And then, and another thing, you know, when it, when it came down to when we had to make our decisions, everybody and their mother was flipping. 
No yeah, one gives I, a I shit he, about yeah. that or trolls nowadays. Nobody else gives a shit about that anymore. It, it, was, um, it was like a regular thing. Bosses, everybody was flipping. Yeah, I, th- I think that basically Sammy the Bull plea, plea deal opened up a lot of people. And Joe yeah. Messina opened the floodgates too. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was in um <clears throat> I was in I was in a state facility when that happened. Somebody handed me fucking paper. And I I was like, nah, fuck no. I, I was kind of relieved in a lot of ways because even though I didn't speak to my loved ones and stuff, my family, but he could have made my family's life a lot harder. Yeah, and you know what? But it's and like, I sat uh, on him. You know, it wasn't like fucking. I I was just he a rat. I I was on his. You know. I mean, you held out as long as you could. I did, um, I did, but you know, don't matter at the end. I I still talk. You know. Yeah. Well, you know what? I mean, we could all. It's like uh. It's like um. You know. Uh, the Monday night football better, you know, like uh, what what's that expression they use? Like uh, what are your Monday night uh quarterback or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you know, yeah, talking about what you would have did on Sunday, you know. I lost a lot of I lost family. I lost inheritance over it, you know, because uh, scumbag family is going around saying that I fucking made their life miserable. Therefore, I'm not entitled to nothing. You know, they go that that's a that's their rationale. They, they did that legally. Oh, um, uh, I could afford wise guy it. TV. No, I was a Gambino. Wow. Yeah, you know, I could afford it. You know, one of them told the FBI that's agent fun. that I owned the. Uh, some property and stuff. And lying to an FBI agent could get you an automatic seven years. But you know what? I'm not that guy. Fuck him. But you know what, you Frankie? Know? I mean, and I wasn't the best. Hey, listen, I wasn't the what best we, brother or whatever any, anyways at times. So if that's, what were you going to do with your inheritance? That, in, yeah. What were you going to do with your inheritance in, your inheritance going life? Well, that that's the whole fucking thing. It's all You, you weren't even different. married. You didn't have children. I, I don't care. I don't care. Um, it is what it is. You yeah, it mean? is what it is. Though I won't even fucking dwell on it no more. Can't no, but it gives him an excuse to say he's a rat, so he he made our life miserable. Therefore, I'll take whatever I got to take. And and you know, um, I got well, listen. Hit. You know what you need to do, Frank. I mean, I'm not uh, gonna lawyer up. It's easy. I got two fucking lawyers now. People that fucking even uh go, let's do it and everything like that. Fuck them. One guy's having babies at 60 years old. Um, and, and he needs money because that's what he does. He's a dirtbag. And well, and so how he, much we so talking he's going about the home all the time. Huh? How much we talking about? A lot. I don't know. I, I think you're but, a fool if you don't lawyer. Well, up. point six. Jesus. A you're third. in? A third. Oh, third. Yeah. third? What do you mean? A third, a third goes to the lawyer, or you just get a third? No, a third, a third of that would be mine. Yeah. Okay. Holy cow! This guy scared me. Who is it? Gunsmoke. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, you don't see his face on there. Yeah, and, and you know, I could have, I could have subpoenaed a certain Fed because he went to the house when, when it was convenient for him to tell him that it wasn't all his, and he told the Fed that it was all of our house. <laughs> and, and you know, all three of us, you know, now he changes tune. I believe me, I got I, I, I had a pretty good thing. I still do, but I don't want it. Falcon Falconetti says uh uh it, it, it was it it was funny, but not too funny. I, I said that before. <laughs> what we say? No, I said it was he said something funny, but it wasn't too funny. <laughs> right, 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 right. But um, yeah, there's a lot of good people in the chat, you know. Not like that other, the uh, angels chat, you know. Little scumbags in there. Yeah. You know, and 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 it just drives me crazy when she starts bad mouthing, you know, people who cooperated when her brother was one of the biggest cooperators. You know, it doesn't matter what he said. 
he cooperated. Now you go by rank. Okay, he was acting boss, you know. Technically, he's a bigger rat than Sammy the Bull. Wow. I mean, well, you know, I'm not going to disagree. I just don't like getting into it with her because. Because what? She might kick your ass? I think she's being used and manipulated by these assholes around her. She knows what she's doing. She's protecting her brother. I don't think she's dumb. I don't think she's dumb. No. By no means, how we not. Frank, Why? she's protecting her brother. That's what she's doing. Well, then protect your brother. Protect but your don't, brother. Don't yeah, go after don't other call, people. Don't call me a scumbag. Well, that's what I'm saying. Don't go after other people. Protect your brother. Right, do what you exactly. got to do. That's your family. Exactly. And that's a good thing. At least you have a better family than I do. You know what? Um, I can give I can give a flying fuck what her brother did, and I wish him all the best. The only reason why I'm even talking about it is because of what she says to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, me and her, she used to, her and John used to go at it all the time. John Alight. Yeah. And at the time, it was like, well, it, it, it was a kind of us versus them kind of thing because of, right, you said, did he tell, did he not tell, whatever, the three or three, whatever. But then again, you know, I stepped back. I said, you know, it's not my business. Well, I read the 302. Uh, I didn't even read no, the No, I know. Thing. I think it was the old thing. <laughs> the old thing, yeah. But um, I, I mean, I read I read it in the show last night. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I heard, I heard, but I also read it before. Yeah, me too. But you know, sometimes people need to be reminded. People don't care. Uh, especially, I mean, like the same people that call us fuck or rats. They're the same people that think he's okay because of the name. They don't even know what the fuck the particulars are. You know, they just don't know. Yeah. It, well, you know what? Uh, like, like, let's get off the course for a little bit. Like that dirtbag Lee Cole. Does, does he know any fucking mob protocols? Does he know no. anything about how the mob works? Or no, he does not nothing at all. You know, he's just a fucking dirtbag that doesn't know anything, and he feels that if he could sell this point that he talks to Angel Gotti, that people are gonna believe that he knows about the mob. Fuck him. Yeah. I, I have a feeling you're talking about Lee. I'm sorry. I was missing an yeah. action for a minute. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, the, the, <laughs> if there's really, you know, let's talk about mob content. And, I, and you know, Gunsmoke is not really in that field. He can be if he wants to. He says it's boring. You don't like it or whatever. But I used to love it, bro. Just, we, uh, can, we can teach you how to be a long shot, uh, Gunsmoke. <laughs> I wish, man. I always wish I could be a bookmaker. In another life, I was a bookmaker, you know? I just want to make book. I just want to sit in the corner all day and make book. Is there a problem with that? I don't see nothing wrong with that. No. no go well, ahead. while, while I mean, you're sitting there, you can just be a loan truck, too. Yeah. Wasn't well, it the same thing? See, I don't understand the difference. Making oh, book a and loan shark. Uh, loan shark, you're lending out money at, at a, you know, a percentage rate. Yeah. Um, you know, the book making, you're, you could lose. you're, take, you're wow. taking sports bets. You need people to more people to lose than they win. Oh. You got to have a good bank, too. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, because you could go through some spells where you're going to be in the red. uh, But you just got to ride it out because eventually you're going to be back in the black. Yeah. What do you don't take? Cinnamon Muffin. Who else is out there? Christopher? That's that's why it's good to be on a half sheet because when you're on a half sheet, uh, the if you if you lose, the only thing uh, that's going to happen is you're not going to make any money until you get back in the black. Yeah. So you're not laying out any uh, money. So that's the good part about having a half sheet. <laughs> it's good to have two half sheets. So like that, you can fucking borrow money without paying points. Uh, <laughs> hey, put your winners and losers. You know what I mean? And then put the money on the street. Well, I mean, technically, the bookmaking was designed with the with the vig that you uh, you can always even it out, lay off the uh, the extra, and just make the vig. Yeah, in a, in a perfect world, yeah, in a perfect like the world, Vegas yeah. Money. That, that's the way it was set up. You know, if you yeah, have a, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. have a big enough business, you can make a ton of money just on the vig. You know, right? If, like if the casinos. I mean, right, if they get exactly. two million one side, two million, they go to the next casino and edge it. Right, exactly. 
and make two hundred thousand, right? Right. Doing right. nothing. <laughs> Doing nothing. You can't lose. Beautiful. You don't even have to yeah. watch the games. Yeah. See, not hurting nobody. You know. Like like when Lee had just two pancakes off, you know, he get, he gets a quarter of it. What Lee cool. Lee Cole doesn't know how to say bookmaking. He doesn't know how to say successful. Imagine him trying to say loan shark. Loan no, shark can't say shit. <laughs> or, or or a Shylock. That's even harder for him to say. Something with the S's, yeah. Yeah. Skylark. He'll, he'll say he'll say a Shylark. A Shylark. Yeah. Sky I think that's something. because he's missing teeth, though. That's why he talks like that. You yeah, could it's be like right. his tongue. It's not, it's not, I'm starting you know, to realize like that, yeah. The, the nine pound right. tongue. You know, I, I normally don't aim for the teeth when I punch somebody because it hurts. But uh, with him, I don't have to worry about that. No, you could gum him. Yeah, I could gum him. Gumby. <laughs> Gumby. I don't even know. Why doesn't he have at least dentures or something? That fucking That's can't a good one. Gumby Lee. Gumby Lee. What doesn't he? Have, he's on fucking welfare. What, they, they won't pay for it. I don't know. That's a good question. They should be paying for it. Actually, if Tony yeah. Pizza can get fucking dentures, then he can. Right. Maybe yeah. he's afraid to. Maybe he's afraid to get that one tooth pulled. Yeah, but when you look like that, I don't think he gives a shit about his mouth. Well, he shit. says he's on a fucking diet. What diet? Seafood diet. He sees food. He eats it. <laughs> Everything he sees, he eats. Yeah. yeah. Ain't that the truth? What the hell does this mean? I'll go halves with you. Halves on what? On the Shylock business. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Reddy wants to be your partner. Yeah, I need a partner. Yeah, I definitely need a partner. I'm going to need some muscle, too, to enforce it. The Shylock, Shylock was the man. If you get good, good customers in the shy business and and you put out a lot of money. It's a, an excellent business. Where do I find these customers at? Just hanging out? In the out? street. In the yeah. street. You put the word out. Yeah. What if I take somebody else's customers? Am I going to hear from somebody about it? Well, you, then you, I would advise you to be with somebody in case they come and complain about it. Yeah. I got to know somebody, right, to settle it? Yeah. God damn it. Another thing, too, is uh, you don't have... I mean, if you if you're gonna be a Shylock, technically you don't have to uh, lay out your own money. You can just borrow the money from whoever your guy is at a at a point and a half, and charge three points, and you make a point and a half. You like partners, yeah. but he lays yeah, you out the money. You should get your own money though. Now where do yeah, I get this money it, from? Yeah, you should, what? but you know you're still gonna have to kick up something anyway. God damn it. So I'm not making sure. Good morning, Miss Can't Be Wrong. And besides that, you know, uh, when it comes time that somebody puts in don't pay or puts in a beef, yeah. then you're gonna then you're gonna go to your guy and say, Hey, I got a problem, and he's gonna be like, Well, what the fuck? I ain't earning on nothing. So Yeah. You know? God that's damn the it. best way best way to do it is get the money from him and then he'll always be there in case you got a problem. Yeah. And it all comes down to money management too. If you like the nightlife, that like to go out, blow women money on women and stuff like that, you're not really yeah. gonna be. Uh, it, it comes down successful. to patience too. Yeah, you gotta have the patience to wait. Like yeah. I had a relative of mine who's a really, really big loan shark, and uh, how we know who that that is, and he didn't he didn't have much of a social life, and he was all about his family, so he yeah. was really good at it. So money management has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Like anything else. And and patience because like, you know, if you if you let if somebody wants to borrow five hundred, <laughs> you gotta go collect twenty five dollars a week. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah. For twenty five dollars, you know, like uh once you start getting into the big numbers, then it's it's uh it's more fun. But you know, lending out only five hundred a thousand dollars at a time, it takes a while before you start seeing a big return. Ideally, I think it's um, if you if you gain sixty percent of the interest, you're ahead in the game and the low shocking business. Because a lot of it goes, you know, after a while, you give a guy a break who disappears, 
this and that. Not the principal, 60% of the interest. If you're making that over a 10-year period, you're you're fucking totally killing it. Well, the thing is, is the more money you put out, uh, the faster you get even when you lend something out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The more you... Right. You know, right. What like, did Sammy uh, said? He had a million dollars out in the street. Jesus. That, that you're making good money if you got that out in the street. And most what of the time, you, are, point? you got... Well, yeah. yeah. On a point, that's $10,000, no? A million? Oh, a hundred. Is one point? One point of a million is a hundred thousand. Well, he was making a hundred fucking thousand on a point, let's say. Or a point that a half, week. A week. A week. God damn. And that's only a point. If you put it out for a point and a half, it's even better. 150, yeah. Yeah. So now think about it, right? So now you're getting VIG on a million. Uh, you're collecting 100000 a week, right? Now a guy comes to borrow uh, 50000 from you. And in one week, you already got that money back. Shit. You understand? So you just keep like... <laughs> in one week, you got the money back and... And you and you're making uh you know uh five hundred a week on the fifty thousand. Fucking Sammy was pissed because his brother-in-law <laughs> ran straight to Gotti and said, "Listen, I got his book and all that to make himself and you know like ingratiate himself." Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Because it because Sammy had flipped. Yeah. And uh, Sammy called Glass the house now. and said he wanted to talk to a, somebody. Answered the phone. I think this was at the time that, that he was flipping. And uh, I think the brother-in-law, he goes, get off the phone before I tell on you, too. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to talk to his sister. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he said all he had to do was collect all the money and then come to Arizona and live with him. But that's asking a lot of somebody, too, though. He didn't want to do that. Did he end up uh, going to jail anyway? Yeah, but he you did. know what? Before he collected all of that money, they, they might have whacked him. The the uh, the brother-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, you, that's a lot asking for somebody to flip with you because. Hey, you that flip, listen. You know? That's that's the first thing these guys do when you get locked up, and if they have any businesses going that you were given by the family, the first thing they do is go fucking grab they everything. Try to wrap back. it up. Yeah. Yeah. I see Canarella. We were in a bullpen together. He was talking to uh, Copa. They had some stocks together. He goes, hey, bud, you know, with, with all these things coming up and now that I have these big cases for me and my son, is it any chance we could get that money out? I guess they had stocks together. He goes, yeah, sure. One was bullshitting the other because in a week they both flipped. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't getting his money back and he wasn't fucking falling for it. And they, both, and they were the first two banana guys to flip. Well, if they both flipped, the, the feds might have made him give him his end. No, I don't. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you know, you never know. You know, it might be like, okay, you know, the you owe Canarella half of these stocks. You know, it might be like, okay, you got to give him his half because they're gonna try to help Canarella. You know, and uh, they're not gonna let uh, the other guy rob him. No, but um, especially I, stocks, you can prove that. You know. No, I got it. I got it. Yeah. I um I just was I was surprised that Copa flipped because he was only looking like at six years. He brought the body to them. Well, I heard I heard he flipped because they weren't giving him enough food. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fuck his up story that he big he's a big guy. He was at least four well, close to four hundred, man. He was a big yeah. guy. He was um I don't know. I was talking to Frank Lino, and he didn't flip either at the time. Another guy didn't flip, and he was telling me that he he was he was he was teary eyed with Coper flip because him Coper and the wife go back forever, according to him. He was talking about um, you know that that Frank Coper was complaining about jail life, and you know it's pretty fucked up for a big guy to get around and all that, and he didn't have another five six years in him, right. So with that, he brought in the Sonny Black murder. Is he alive still? I don't know. I don't know. He came off a little cocky, though. Uh, but but uh, Frankie wound up flipping anyway, right? 
Uh, Frankie Flip, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I guess he joined them anyhow. Yeah, we we got we got in a little conversation. It was okay. Yeah. Me and Copeland. Yeah, I only C- Cinnamon Muff, yeah, I love Texas. I've been living out here for about uh, <laughs> 10 years now. Yeah, you're in Lubbock. I love it. <laughs> she, they're asking me, uh, how do I like living in Texas? So I'm letting them know. How do we join that community where fucking all the people with no money go there and they live in the clubhouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we yeah, can go stop playing there. bingo over there. We can play bingo, <laughs> sing the hokey pokey, um, get that nice piece of meat that that animal was eating the other day. Get an STD from one of the old ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you ever watch... If Dude, you they wouldn't even bang them. Those old ladies wouldn't even bang them. He talks about hey, those little... They probably look at yeah, them like, but, what's that smell? If you, watch you know why Angel he doesn't Sh- go in the clubhouse? Because he smells like fucking if swamp you, water. If you watch Angel's show from last night, you'll know what I'm talking about. Because Ma- Mala said that uh, a nurse told her, a nurse that worked in an old age home told her that the old people were still getting STDs. Yeah, no, I've heard that before. I've heard that yeah. before. You know, they're yeah. old. They don't, they're not worried about wearing a condom. Fuck. Is that why he's got that mole? Yeah. Hey, he li- he literally gave him up. He gave himself up tonight. He does not leave the house. He doesn't go anywhere. I know. I've been watching him, dude. Yeah. Ba- basically, he said that. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that why he says he that about, about Google people? Earth? Yeah. Because he uh, Google Earth. You track Angel him. was asking him. Don't, well, what, it's, it's not. Know. He's big. He's a big target. <laughs> You know, and he starts talking about, oh, well, I'm the only guy that can still walk uh, that, you know, from his community. The yeah, other guy's in a w- in, the other guy's in a wheelchair. But uh, you know what? I don't know. He, I think he needs to show us some proof he can still walk. He can waddle. He can't walk for yeah. too long. He needs a cane. No. He, he's, uh, he'll be like Chicky. One he's step, he's got to take a yeah. break. Best shape and all that. He, so, he sure has a big fucking mouth. Yeah, he does. No, he, he believes, listen, he, li- he lives yeah. like fucking 20, 30 miles away from population. In the prairie land. Yeah. He feels he's safe, you know, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. He know? feels that they wouldn't do nothing. They wouldn't not, they went off me because uh, there's a death penalty here. He's fucking stupid. Well, you know, well, if he, hap- he if he happens to pass away, we can always just go dig him up and shoot him in his head. <laughs> That's only <laughs> right. That's only right. <laughs> you know what? He's still he's still saying that I said something about shooting him in the back of the head. What I didn't say that. I well, said well, no, it's no, I, know, I, know. I said yeah. I said it's not like we're going to shoot him in the head. But he says on his show that we threatened him. We said we're yeah, gonna shoot he him in the head. Twisted around, yeah. Hey, is he that Anthony? You're safe. As long yeah. as you're not face to face with me, you're safe. What's up, Anthony? Good morning. Good morning. Anthony, how are you? Yeah. An- Anthony loves you. <laughs> oh, man, that's his best friend. Lee loves him, too. Hey, Christopher renewed Hello. his membership. Thank you, brother. Yeah. You know what? He when hear something funny. I don't even think I'm a member. I'm a member. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, I noticed Frank wasn't either. It's like, oh fuck us, folks, huh? <laughs> Listen, I, I understand. Look, I don't do these shows a lot, and uh, I don't have good questions. I used to have good questions. I don't know what happened, man. I just smoked myself retarded or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's all right. Me and Frank. I feel we... like I, I mean, as far as like my past life, I you know, I think I've answered every book. So, yeah, me yeah. and Frankie, when we get together, there's there's no time to ask us questions. That's true too. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. want to. Well, that's either. how it is when you know somebody from the real world, and you don't see him for a long time, and then yeah. you see him again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I usually, well, I don't, I don't really mess around with anybody from my past at all. Um, I, I think we talked about that, right? Huh? Yeah, you do. Yeah. I thought you talked to you talked to Eli and all them guys. Well, I'm talking yeah, about but... my, my inner circle. Oh, your inner circle. Okay. Like yeah. the Janini crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Not again. I just, you know, I don't. It's everybody's doing their own thing. You're a little bit. Yeah, mad yeah, yeah. A couple yeah. of them, so. Yeah. I know how you it feel. If they like don't, every if time you, you talk, I, I'm sorry. If you, if they don't reach out to you, you're not going to reach out to them. Yeah, we have mutual uh, friends that be like, "Hey, so so said hi." I'll be like, "Yeah, all right, Thomas said hi," you know. Yeah. But it's not it's not personal. Just I'm done with that, you know. I mean, they are too. So it is what it is. Yeah. But but um. Yeah, like that, my inner circle. But yeah, Howie's probably the kind of um, the closest I was to anybody that I, that that I still talk to. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we actually hung out together, you know, like yeah. days at a time in the same place. And then there's a kid, Marky, too. I just I talked from a little while ago, maybe like four months ago, five months ago. And um, I haven't seen him forever. I knew him since he was like eight, nine years old. He flipped through. And I talk to him now and then. Yeah, you know what? Even when I was out in the street, you know, a lot a lot of a lot of my friends who were, uh, you know, regular guys, I I would go months without talking to them. They're all busy raising their kids and you know, and going to work every day. <laughs> you know, you you just lose a little con. You lose contact uh, yeah. every so often. You get busy you know? with life and stuff. Yeah, right. You know what bothers me sometimes is you talk to these people that you knew back then. You know, people you grew up with, and then they bring up stuff, and sometimes you're like, eh, I don't know if it happened that way or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. They they try, they bring up something that may be a little bit embarrassing, uh, a little bit touchy at times, and I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah well. Yeah. Hmm. And then, and then I'd rather just not listen. I, I mean, it's like bringing me back to that fucking time. Yeah. You know, it's well, like, it's you know, like, this it's... guy said this, this guy said that. There was one fucking guy we were talking, and he decided to make a comment that was a little fucking, um, I, I didn't think it was warranted, and we almost went at it back and forth. But then I thought to myself, I knew he wouldn't talk like that in front of me, so. Yeah, you, you know, know so what I it is, it too? Go. A lot of those guys, right? Like, they, they'll bring up something like that uh they think is funny but back in the day when when it happened we were looking to fucking kill him yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of yeah, that's one that's a scenario the other one would be like yeah. um you know we were <laughs> yeah there's a lot of way yeah. they, they, like, they'll, they'll be talking about crimes i was involved with that they weren't there and they're creating this narrative just to make themselves sound good on fucking other podcasts you know yeah, so I just go with it because it, it, it's irrelevant, you know. But at, it, 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 the minute I get off the phone or, or stop talking, it's, I'm like, good. I, I could go another fucking ten years without talking to that guy. Yeah, <laughs> I know how you feel. You know, there's a lot of guys that I really have no urge to talk to. Yeah, man, and that's that's about it. You, so you know, guys don't miss it. the life, is what you're saying. You don't miss, uh, you don't regret your decision. I I miss some parts of the life, but there's a lot of parts that I I really don't miss. Like what we're doing right now, I miss. You know, we we used to shit around, we uh, shoot around and talk like this all fucking day. Yeah, mm-hmm. like going to like where Anthony hangs out and having a coffee and bullshit, yeah, and then going yeah. out to eat afterwards. You know, yeah, that was yeah. a daily occurrence. Yeah, I mean, I don't miss New York, though. No, I don't miss it either. It's so fucking crowded, expensive. Now, I mean, I heard it's even worse now. Yeah, definitely. There's nowhere to fucking park either. You know, a lot of people fucking go around after they flip, and they're like, ah, my fucking friends weren't really my friends, and they're scumbags, and this and that. Yeah. I, I could I could honestly go on record and say I miss most of the fucking people I, I don't see anymore. You know what I mean? Right. It, it was like, Everybody had their own flavor, had their own character. It was uh, just what it was. Well, just because I flipped well, you, you know what it was? It got so expensive. I used to do one score a week, and I'd be okay. <clears throat> then I had to do three. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't a good score guy. Um, <laughs> I wasn't. I, fuck. I don't know. Um, I got a lot of funny stories, you know, from scores, like funny shit that happened. Hey, like every time I fucking did score, something went wrong. Everything. 
Oh, always listen, Murphy's Law. What can't go wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even when hey, they even seen... when they talk about tips, you know, uh, somebody gave you a tip, about five oh, yeah. percent of them were fucking accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had, we got a tip. We went in guns a blazing, and we came out with forty thousand. Was that one out of every twenty times? Yeah, sometimes it's uh, you know, it's not what it what it was supposed to be there. How many people on the score for forty thousand? It was one, two, three, four, one, two, five. Damn it! All right. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, something went wrong, and uh, a person that wasn't supposed to be home was home, and was on uh, called nine one one before we got to them. So oh, we wow. didn't have that much time. So we emptied out the safe in the bedroom, but. The, the safe in the basement is the one that had all the cash. Yeah. And we, you know, we were working on the scanner and the call came over. We had to leave. Damn. Good thing you yeah. had the scanner, though. Oh, yeah. We wouldn't, we were, we wouldn't go do a job without a scanner. Yeah. So what, they knew you were coming before you got there? No. What happened was is it, it, the place was in an area where you couldn't sit outside for too long before somebody would call the cops. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So every day, they did the same thing every day. So the day that we were going to go, uh, you know, <clears throat> load it up, load it up with pistols and everything, we just said, all right, we, we're not going to sit and watch them leave. We know they leave the same time every day. We're just going to go and wait and then just go there when, they, when they're supposed to be gone. But, um, you know, they 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 had a garage, so, you you know, the cars were in the garage, so you couldn't tell if they were gone or still home. So we took a chance, and it didn't work out. It just so happened that uh, the person was home, and uh, yeah. it, didn't, it didn't go so well. Cinnamon Muff says Lee loves tips, dick tips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dick pics as well. Hey, you ever see that? You ever see that movie, The Brink's Job? Yeah, back that was about boy. Um, yeah, years ago. Okay. Yeah. It's about, remember, uh, the, um, re- remember the scene where they threw the safe off the roof and it almost hit the guy. No. Yeah, I, I that no, I don't that, remember. Ha- that really happened with us on the score. I had no, a friend of mine. Yeah. yeah uh, um, he's supposed to, was supposed to uh, hang jump off the side of a building once we're leaving, and we and uh, it, it was easy to bring the safe up on the roof of the uh, place. And so we he he was hanging off the side of the building and he was scared to let go. So <laughs> my friend started peeling his fingers back. So finally he falls and he hits the floor. His glasses come off. He can't see without his glasses. So he's on he's on the floor looking for his glasses. And and the person who was going to push the safe over the edge didn't realize he was still there. And he pushed the safe over the edge. The safe almost hit him. Wow. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was like one of those things you had to be there, you know? Yeah. What about you, Frank? Any botched uh, scores? Nah, they just fucking didn't work most of the time. I told you. <laughs> one time I went to rob a whole bunch of fucking TVs, computers. So we didn't have a truck, so we had to go rent the truck. And we rented a um, a U-Haul from this guy who watches these trucks. It, not, not legally. The, and we told him that an emergency my wife's kicking me out of the house and i need to get the truck i'll give you 500 bucks I give them the 500 bucks we take the truck the u-haul we get there and there's a whole fucking bunch of sheetrock there yeah covered the whole fucking uh u-haul and we had like a 30 minutes just to get everything out of there right so they couldn't empty out the truck to make more <laughs> no, we room couldn't empty fit. out the truck so fuck, we got stuck at the fucking oh. we, we brought a couple of computers um, this big fucking ass TV we snuck in there. You know, you know, back yeah. in the day, the big ones that weighed a ton. That you sit on the floor, the wooden ones. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, we, I we had put one that of those. in there. A couple of computers they were new at the yeah. time. You live Packards. So I remember I was we lived on Fresh Pond Road. So we say that fucking... three. Say that again three times in a row. <laughs> you live Packard. You live Packard. You live Packard. Quick, quick. You live Packard. You live Packard. You live Packard. All right, you got it. <laughs> yeah, so we, we brought this TV back in my house. It had to stay in the hallway. 
Yeah. And I can remember my brother came over to the house at one time. He looked at the fucking TV, looked at me, go, you just dying to fucking hit some cement wall, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember the story I told you about when we uh we uh we were robbing a safe from a, a pawn shop and the safe was supposed to be full with uh gold uh gold uh, uh bars. bricks, gold yeah, bars, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you that story, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I'm gonna save that one. I'm gonna tell it again, but during yeah. prime time because it's a really good story. Yeah. I wasn't good I, I wasn't good at high sky either. Fuck I remember some chick fucking like we went she she was carrying um you know the end of the week she makes the money back well we went up to her and um she 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 had balls she fucking she sprayed the kid that was supposed to take the fucking thing with mace yeah you know from the, and, and he just he just fucking we just picked him up and left you know she <laughs> ran right back in another store nearby so are you guys gonna, like that. Are you guys gonna be on much longer? Uh, uh, yeah, I, gotta go fucking, I gotta go to the gym a little bit. Yeah, yeah I got I gotta I gotta do a couple of things. Um if you guys are still on, I'll come back. All right, yeah. So All right. on at eleven. All right, buddy. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay, cool, cool. cool. Yeah, man. All right, All right well, thank you, fellas. Later. All right. Thanks, All right, Al. I appreciate Bye-bye. it, guys. Thank you. Yeah. All What's right. up, bud? Oh, I thought you were leaving me too, Frank. No, go ahead. I'll talk oh, to I you a little was... bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, I got to get ready to go to the gym. Yeah. So what the fuck, man? Nothing. What are you talking about? What, what's the good news? You got the Basta? Can you play the Basta once? Want some Basta? God damn it. Sure. All right. Why not? It's been a while. Here it comes. How many people on chat? Uh, 63. <clears throat> not that bad. Yeah. Uh, where the hell's the Basta? Oh, here it is. Tony, how about this? Admit that you like me. No. Admit that you like me. I don't know if I like you. Basta! Basta! <laughs> I know you fucking like me. I know you like me. Don't bullshit. Because we get along. Privately, we get along. Yo, did you learn this today on your psychology show? What psychology show? Are you impressing your fucking woke what friends out there? Show? The fucking, the, 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 the new normal, the cancel culture. Is that who you're impressing with this fucking talk? Right. Listen. You're talking to a real fucking man here. You want to yeah. be in a mother well, guy, why right? you act like a man and stop acting like, like, then start and acting like a man. Start acting like a man. I'm talking to you and saying, let's watch this. I am acting this. like a man, you fucking homo. Now I'm a homo? Yeah, you're a fucking homo. You paid that woman to fucking marry you. Yeah, hold on, no, hold on. Me. Enough, enough. Buster, Buster. <laughs> fucking wife. You, you cut the shit. I'm out. Well, I'm fucking, fucking jerk off. You, you vapid piece of shit. You know, you have the massage, protecting your family, the 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 death count for all that bullshit. Okay, cause oh, I, yeah. just because I have a friend as a security oh, consultant. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I got a friend as a security oh, consultant, yeah. and I seek out his advice, and he does an executive protection. I reach out to him for advice. That makes me a jerk off. That makes me a jerk off. Buster! Buster! What a fucking jerk off. God damn. Who's Primo 5K? Uh, he gives out good loans. You want a loan? No, that's, that's loan? not the real Primo, is it? Are you sure it's not? How do you know? Why don't you get uh, a loan and find out? <laughs> <laughs> wow, the fucking... Huh? I got Anthony hey, on the phone. What's up, guys? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, bud. Did you have your egg McMuffin yet? No, 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 not yet. Uh-huh. Not today. She loved you, man. Well, you know the egg McMuffins. Yeah. I you know I don't get them like I used to get them. You know those days. Well, she had a leaf. What's that? Uh-huh. <laughs> she got. What she, she got? had? <laughs> the egg I McMuffin think... lady. Yeah, them days are over. She's gone. You know. Oh, she's <laughs> dead. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> but those were the best egg McMuffins. I mean, those were the days. <laughs> they blew any egg McMuffin away. I don't care. It was their best. The bagels too. The bagels were good. Oh, kosher, huh? We're gonna give you a uh, communist uh, leader name. You're you're our leader, the supreme leader. <laughs> a dear <Yeah>. leader. <laughs> yeah. 
Panty to have a lot of Kim Sung Young. <laughs> Kim Sung Young. Kim Sung uh, Avalado. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's bad. He's the worst of the worst. What's he say? He's the worst of the worst. Oh, they are. I'm. Uh, he says I'm. The, this Avalado is the worst of the worst. He's a Sammy Gravano and this guy and that guy. He's he's the worst of all of them. And and he then the, them the, all. The, yeah. The stepdaughter says, uh, "I make Johnny. I make Johnny A like look like a great man." I'm so bad. I'm the worst of the worst. I make Johnny A like look great. Well, you never even fucking had anything to do. I remember a couple of months before you were telling me how you felt bad for that fucking woman. And I get it. And now she's going after you. I don't get it. You thought she was a victim. Do you still feel that way? And oh. God damn it. God he damn got it. May broke something. Just when it was getting good. Shit. Yeah. Man. I can't win. Jersey Girl, four ninety nine. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you so much, Jersey Girl. You've been very nice to me today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Very generous. Thank you so much. And yes, please hit the like button, everybody. Yeah. And happy holidays. The real gangsters, y'all. Yeah. What you know about having a speech impediment? Yeah. Anyway. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, we hear you now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what happens so, with these head. Yeah, I was saying that like uh, after a couple of months ago, we were feeling bad for her because we f- felt like she was a victim to these motherfuckers. Like, like these people would have never even talked to her in the fucking back in the day. Right. <clears throat> and now, you know, she fucking even throws shots too, you know? Well, yeah, they manipulate. You know, that little piece of law, MRE, she's going to, that's going to get, um, you know, found out with that little weasel there. Um, you know, manipulating her. They're they're battling who can, uh, you know, get the most off of her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Casper, oh, I, oh. I remember Casper Rose has been with her for uh, since 2015, and he would do anything for the fan. And that's his stance. He doesn't like wrestling. That's understandable. Uh, his his beef, we all know, is with the MRE guy, whatever. Um, that's that's his thing, and I understand that as well. But how how do you turn on a guy that just basically would have freaking ran in front of a truck for you guys? Yeah, I don't. Got a little weak. A few other people too. I'm sorry. Scene. She did it to a few other people. Yeah, but I would have never suspected that. Not in that fashion. Unless unless he would have talked bad about her brother, he never did that. Matter of fact, he still he still. Um. You know, when you talk to him, has his, her brother's back. Yeah, it's not like you know. It just and even even I've heard him already. Yeah. He defended her kids. You know, saying they're good kids and whatnot. And he's not. He's not. He's not being malicious and belligerent at all. It's, it's just that uh, he just doesn't like that one kid because he feels that he's not a good person. And uh, you know, that's that's that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But this, uh, yeah, they'll, 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 she'll, um, it's going to get exposed sooner or later. You know, they're not going to last. Believe me, I can see it. I'm good at this stuff. It's what I do. They ain't going to last. <laughs> what do you mean? That you think they're going to get into it one time? Yeah, they're not going to last. That connection there. Eventually, she turns on everybody, so. Yeah, but yeah. they're not good. It's not a good gang. It's you know they don't gel well, and they're they're not good. Uh, they're not good people as far as yeah. you know. I'm not saying you know we're great people for the stuff we did, but we were gangsters. No. We lived. We heard other people that lived the life. It wasn't like we were um, hurting innocent people. These lames, they try to make up a story that they were in the life. And uh, they weren't. And then they try to say that this guy cooperated. And, and they're worse than that. They're, they're active informants. They got, I'm on the phone. They got active informants. They're active Shut up, in- Chicky. <laughs> Hang up that phone, you. Uh, you're on Gunsmoke Show with my little nephew. Yeah. <laughs> this YouTube got me nuts. I don't even know what days we're on sometimes. Like, I had a doctor's appointment. I had a, uh, a dentist appointment Monday. 
a doctor's appointment, you know, Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is. I went to the doctor today at 840. They said, oh, your appointment was yesterday, Tuesday. Going today, Tuesday? This YouTube got me nuts. <laughs> yeah. You know <laughs> what? Listen, like if there is such thing as, I, I, I don't look at it that way. They put this side, that side, whatever. Who cares? Whatever. You know, but if they the, the, the longer she keeps people like MRE or Elite Cole on her side, the more people are going to come over to, to, I guess, this side, if you will, and hate her. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, they see Lee Cole's true colors. They see what he's about. They see he's a liar, has nothing to bring to this genre. He's just a lonely bastard who finds people listening to him on this, uh, on this genre. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and that's what that is. And then as far as the MRE guy, the, the, you know, the spruing the hate or a former Nazi or current Nazi, whatever. How can you like that? So that's, she keeps those people there. Like Maul is a good fit for her, you know, obviously, you know, and the other guy, who's that guy that was a cop? Don't forget, Frank, this MRE, he talks shit about us. This dude's a fucking rat, low life. Well, he's another one that don't leave his fucking uh, perimeter, you know. I, it's, it's just like, that's what they do. You know, you know out of everybody, we, we would fucking have to watch out for these these fucking idiots are not them. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm just saying he's a low life. You know what I mean? You know, it's, uh, fucking with them is like swimming in water with no sharks. You know what I mean? Yeah. They they they, they don't bring they they're not threatening at all. Matter of fact, they uh, they they're, they're clowns. They're a nuisance. Oh, and <laughs> threaten them. What they're I'm saying, clowns. they talk and they're worse. You know, they're worse because. They're worse than us. They're, they they were never part of nothing, and they're raw. Uh, look at M look at MRE's uh, case there. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's all I'm saying. Just disappears. Yeah. yeah. And I said this before, but because I I call it for what it is, I you know, I call balls and strikes for sure. Um, he's he's um he's an intelligent kid, intelligent you know whatever. It's just he's a little bit warped in his brain and the way he thinks, whatever. But he's probably yeah. definitely the more smarter one out of that, that group. He's a punk. Did you guys go to the gym yet today or what? I'm about to. <laughs> I got my Twinkies and everything. I'm going a la Lee. Right. Oh, yeah. You guys there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I went to the gym. Nice. Already? That's when I was listening to you. Yeah, I listen. This oh, how you do it, Frankie. Yeah. What do you think? We're like sloppy, like uh, like, like, like Lion fat Lee, like yeah. fat bastard. I mean, it's why these guys are eight hundred pounds. You got to get up, <laughs> right? Look at Gunsmoke. He's up bright and early. He's got a show rocking already. Yeah, right? baby. I was well, on the get fifty egg now. rolls already. Yeah, I want to go I buy cigarettes already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was in the treadmill <laughs> and I was scanning to the. Uh, the YouTube for the songs, and I see Gunsmoke, and I said, what? I said, live. Yeah. So that's when I jumped on, and I was listening to you guys. It's getting to be like every fucking stuff is from FOMO in this fucking mob genre now. You're looking, and you see something. You know, it's like the fear of missing out, you know? <laughs> you guys are watching no, But it's fun, things. though. It's like you said. It's like it's like we forget about even being on a uh, show. I don't even think I'm on a show. Just bullshit and it's fun. You know what yeah. I mean? I was yeah, bullshitting yeah, like yeah. that all day long, anyways, and I wasn't on no shows. I mean, Frankie, how many times we call each other up? I call you, we bullshit for half hour. Then I'll call up, say Howie. I'll talk with him for maybe an hour. Then right. I'll call up somebody else. You go through the day, you're chit chatting all day long. It's the same thing as being on a show. Only you yeah. got people listening, right? Yeah, of course, of course. No, it's, yeah. it, it, it's it's I don't know, therapeutic, if you will. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I look at it as I, like uh, every show has like its own social club. You know, it's just like yeah. That's know. that's a good point. Let's go. What's what your favorite? Different? One of your favorite? Who's your favorite mob genre guy? That's a good one. Uh oh. <laughs> Not no no. I'm not talking about the the mob. I'm talking about real real mob mafia oh, content. Oh, the professional guys. I don't, know, I don't know if they're professional on YouTube, but yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Like what? OC shorts and all them? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. What do like you say, Anthony? Shorts. What? Uh, who's your favorite? Who's like, uh, who's your favorite? Um, as far as what, like the Mob Two stuff? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I just, I like, I like, I like everybody, you know, like this, like that's, I like, you know, you guys in a whole. Like, I like everyone's got their own style, and what's good about it is everybody's their own, your own authentic, genuine personality. Like, you yeah. got a good way about you, gun smoke. You know what I mean? I you got a lot of talent. Right. Yeah. FBS got a lot of uh, talent. You know, he's, uh, and the thing about all everybody is everybody is intelligent. So I relate to intelligent people. And what I can't, like, I couldn't, and this is no knock on anybody. I'm not even being funny. I couldn't have a five minute conversation with, you know, the stepdaughter or, <laughs> or, or that's, or, or like Lion Lee. There's nothing there. There's no uh, intelligence there. It's like you're yeah. talking to somebody that belongs in the, uh, you know, that's got a little mentally challenged or something. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you got Tony Soflo. I love his style. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, so if you're talking about the content creators and all of that, I don't really have a favorite. I just like everybody. Common sense is intelligent, dude. Oh, yeah. Lefty, yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Lefty's a funny fucking bastard. You know, <laughs> Lefty comes up with some funny shit. I mean, he abuses these guys. And and it's so f- just look at the thumbnail he put up. Right. That tree. No, no, do it. That was so I didn't even realize it when he put it up but when I actually saw it and uh and actually looked at it that's the funniest thumbnail I ever seen. <laughs> yeah. He puts up some crazy stuff, yeah. Yeah, and it triggers the shit out of him. And listen, they were on the show the other night saying, you know, the stepdaughter was saying, you know, I'm surprised that lefty. I'm surprised, you know, you know they're trying to and I know the psychology there, you know, cuz this is what I do. So I know the psychology that she's trying yeah, to use. Trying like, to win them all. Yeah, they're trying to win them Yeah. Yeah, she's trying to be like, I'm surprised that lefty. Gold. You can't pull that you know, shit. You know. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, and it does, you know what I mean? Like, they try to do it to my man uh, Loomis on uh, Mafia Truth. You know, like, he, they try to win him over. He was be- he was trying to get him to be like a co-host on his show. And uh, the guy told him to uh, to beat it. <laughs> and, um, yeah. And that's when that's who he contacted, Lion Lee contacted to make peace with me, you know, and um, he reached out to him to uh, make peace. And that's who contacted me. That's when I told him to fuck his, you know, fuck his mother. And yeah. And then he got back to him. And uh, but yeah. And it's so, yeah, in his really sick mind, a, Anthony, a he thinks. In his sick mind, he thinks, Anthony, that. Obviously, he feels that you tell everybody what to do. That's not that's not what I'm getting at. Uh, he feels that if he had you as his next Danny Trio, you're his golden egg. Yeah, and he, oh, you know, yeah. and, and that's just fucking. He probably jerks off to it. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> yeah, and, and, literally. Uh, that's that's yeah. in his perfect world. That's where he wants to be. You know what? I got a fucking ex-captain. He he's not Danny the burglar who never did anything. Right. You know, that's why I need to get and he'd piss all over Angel in a minute. Well, we should fucking we should have set him up actually told him that you want to talk to him. Well he wanted to be a Machiavellian. He, he did want so like that. that just to prove to her that he's willing to fucking fuck her over in a minute. You should have said, Yeah, you know what? Let's do something. Let's have a show together like you and Danny. He'd be totally up for that. You know, because he's stupid, you know. But Although, what the fuck does he bring? Does he not even know anything about fucking anything Cosa Nostra? Nothing. No. Well, I think well, he, Yeah. No, no, go on. no, no, you go. Uh, well, I think I remember him saying that if he ever had another rat on his show, he would uh, shut down his channel. I think he said a lot of things he went back that. on. That's why he's a flip flop. Yeah. Dude, he also fucking yeah. why his conversations? He why his telephone fucking call? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Like, if you gun smoke, I'm sure you have an interesting uh, life. If if we went on and just talked about our life, you would have you have a show. You could talk. You you could come up with content based on who you are, who you were. We all can yeah. do that. 
what is he what is his claim to fame that he's going to talk about that he was a drug addict his whole life that he kidnapped a woman uh he's a bum he Scam said he artist. came from a broken home yeah. uh his brother was in a big huge mess and he capitalized it on the uh, ww wrestling shit there and uh he has no no um content so he needs this yeah, he's, Anthony, he feels uh, he's you know, a journalist, you know? He puts himself no. like uh, an inspiring or uh, uh, someone who's going to be one day one of these 60 Minutes people. Uh, yeah. Andy. He, they, he's a kidnapper. He's done. Right. He's, he's worse he's than right. us. Exactly. They would have us. They would have us. Murder <laughs> right. They would have murdering mobsters, ex-mobsters on before 100%. Him. And, the that's my, and that's my point. There's a difference between the interviewer and the interviewee. There's, you got to look at it like the, this. Yeah, I'm not saying that we're we're nice people. We were bad people. No, I'm but not saying that at well, all. But we, here, we don't hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not saying we are bad people, but we never hurt like innocent people. We don't hurt innocent people. Is what we don't do. We differentiate. In fact, we're we're there for the innocent people. We're there for to protect the innocent. Like if uh, Frankie, somebody has a beef in your neighborhood, you're there to help that person who's not even in the life. Somebody comes to you and says. So and so came in my store, and he was disrespectful, or he wanted to extort me. You stick up for that guy. You go and you yeah. know handle that. We help people that aren't in that life. We don't hurt this guy. Uh, assaulted, kidnapped a, a woman. We got a better shot of being on a show and getting somewhere he, than he does. He couldn't even be allowed to live in my neighborhood after that kidnapping uh, accusation. He would have been. He would have been hurt. Somebody would have fucked him up. He would. He can't. He couldn't live in my neighborhood. After that, no, and uh, he couldn't live in Angel's neighborhood. After that, let's just be real; he couldn't live in Anthony's neighborhood. Um, mm -hmm. you know, those were those were stig stigmas that never left. That, that was just as bad and as if being he went a rat, to prison. Honestly. How would he be treated in prison, Frankie? Uh, we already know it's uh, it, it's those crimes that fall on the women and children. You know, yeah, just, that's mm -hmm. what it is. And now he wants to be pop. He has an it factor as a kidnapper <laughs> who's gonna. Give interviews that are freaking prime time. It don't work that way. Right. You're done, man. Go go sweep some fucking hall hey. somewhere and disappear. <laughs> this is the highlight of his life, though. I mean, he's never been so popular. Right, because, in his life. because imagine, yeah, having like just three people talk to him is like big. You know, yeah. that's what yeah. he's yeah. He just. I told you already. People just disassociate. They, they go. Do you? You don't have nothing to do with that. Not at all. I right, good because stay away from him. They'll go because he just doesn't. Nobody's talking. He's a sick person. Yeah. And I'm talking about people in the media. I'm talking about people, in, not in the media, but the people that I deal with um, when I do some consulting for these shows. Right. And how many yeah, times is he going to do a hip piece? All right. He did about 10 hip pieces on me. I mean, we're all, he ain't got nothing left. The hip pieces are done. I haven't even started. We haven't even really, listen, guys, we haven't even really attacked him yet. If he thinks that was an attack, he hasn't, that's not even an attack. That was nothing. But this yeah, guy's we'll done have, 10 we'll hip a, pieces. Uh, yeah, yeah he, what is he going to keep saying? You, all right, you can say one word. Okay, you guys cooperated, blah, blah, blah. That's it. The other part of the shit comes with the life. Who we murdered, who we shot, who we did comes with that life. The guy, say a guy I killed, killed several other people. The government was looking to give that guy the death penalty. Then I kill him, they're looking to give me the death penalty. I mean, that's how it works in that life. You know what I'm saying? So... You, there's nothing for them to go on except for the fact that, okay, we were facing a, a life sentence, a death penalty case, or whatever we we chose to get out of it. We cooperate. That's the only thing. After that, they can't say anything. And either even with that, they can't go in there because that's what they are. You know, like with this MRE and uh, the, the the fat pig in my area. That's who they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the worst thing. It's like, like you get a guy like Chicky, for example. If we were back in the day where, like, the cooperating witness, the rats would not would not come out. They were still wearing the beards and the glasses on the Horado show. Then you get someone like Chicky who says he was in life but no longer in the life. He probably could make a name for himself, but he's gonna get discredited by a lot of people now because there's so many people that are out. I think there's a lot of cooperators that are out these days, so. You know, they're always going to discredit him. No, and here's another thing. you got to realize this. When you come on to this, uh, um, this genre, 
this YouTube. <laughs> you have to be truthful. You can't get caught in a lie. You get no. The no, internet no. does not forget when you. The internet doesn't forget. Number one, what you say, and number two, who you are. So, the first thing is when you start uh, lying, that's not going to go away. Number one. The second thing that's not going to go away is who you are. Who you are is from where you come from. Those people are still there. That people you grew up with. Those people still exist. So when it comes out uh, that way, they're going to start opening up their mouths and start coming out. You know, they might go do it under a fake avatar. They might do it under their real name, but they're coming. Yeah. Well, anybody who ever been in that life that's not talking you know, or not cooperate, they're not out there. They're not out there. Believe me, they're not going to be. Why should they be? They, no. They're doing what they're doing. Listen, if you were make, if you were back in a life and you were making money. You might watch this shit for a little bit of uh, entertainment, maybe. I don't. I want it. I'd be. Listen, when you're out in a in that life, it's so much fun. You're making money. You're out. You're out all day hustling. You're going to coffee shops. You're going. You're with uh, dinners at night. You're with women. You know, we all had you know girlfriends, wives, everything. I mean, it's a fun it's life. women. And you would. And the last thing you're gonna do is. No, we're, I'm still doing the same life. I don't know. I'm just a woman. I'm living the same way I did them. It's just I'm not involved with that shit. Right. So, uh, <clears throat> so um, and the last thing that they want is exposure on themselves. The last thing, if you're making 10, 20,000 a week, you're going to put yourself out there and uh, and have people, you know, mention your name or something like this on this YouTube. That's the last thing you want. So only a jerk off that would think that, he would, he's in the life or this not would come on here, and, you know, and uh, expose himself. So a real person, a real guy in that life would never do that. No, no. Does that, does that make sense, right? I mean. Oh, uh, yeah, it does, of course. What do you think, Gunsmoke? <clears throat> I don't know, really. <laughs> I, uh, I have uh, never seen anybody who's in the life that comes on YouTube that didn't rap. In my situation, I mean, there's people said, I knew this guy, I knew that guy. Eh, not really, you know what I mean? There's people well, in the chat one. that, you know, well, go, I'm sorry, go on. No, no, go ahead. There's, no, I'm talking about myself. Saying. I'm talking about what the experience I've had with people, you know, that I knew. Yeah. You know, the ones, I, I don't know nobody who hasn't thought that was around people that that are on the internet, you know. A couple of fucking fibbies. That's about it. Yeah. Well, there's people. Men. There's people like family members and stuff. You know, like you. I yeah, think one of you said. I'm talking about guys involved. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Go yep. on. Uh, I interrupted. I'm sorry. So, uh, like the other day, he said he was trying to discredit my um. My whatever he goes, this guy was not a fuck, and that's fine. I like that. Just keep giving that narrative. I like. I actually feel good about it. Yeah. You know. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I actually feel good about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like fucking whatever. Where's Anthony? Oh, there you go. I'm right here. No, I I muted it for a second. Someone was talking. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. No, no. I mean, whatever. You see, when he had that one guy on, he would lie about his freaking criminal history to make himself accepted by the audience he was putting out. He was just better off doing his own thing. He was he has a pretty good show, you know, not a show, not a show would suck. The Facebook page. I've been there, you know, I've actually got into it with him on his Facebook page. And who's that? Uh, the trio guy. But he had good. Oh, content. no, he's a low light. No, I know. I it's all that, fake, though. though. Yeah. Well, for, for, you know, don't even give him an ounce of credit. That's gone back. He's a fucking low. Whole story was fake. Life. Everything. So yeah, no, I'm not giving. I'm not giving him credit as a as a. I was no, always even wondering. His fans, even his fans, those five thousand people or whatever he's got on Facebook, they're all believing his shit. That's how he got them. It's crazy. Yeah. But you think it's he good though, strong. even even though it's a lie though. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. The, the world is filled with I guess it was seven, entertaining. 
seven Support. billion people. Yeah. You can say whatever you want. Some of them are gonna like you. Why? Why yeah. does people do that though? Why do people go into and, and pretend there's something they ain't? I don't get it. There's a lot of them out there though. Yeah. You know, because they don't have uh, any type of, um, they want, they're looking for the notoriety, you know? They feel cool. And, uh, yeah, they, they're looking for a little, in, you know, infamy, notoriety, hmm. and uh, they don't have it. And they come on this uh, YouTube and they get a little attention. Right. And when they get the little attention, it goes to their head, you know, like, wow. Yeah. Look at these people are like, you know, giving them a little attention that they never got. And then it, it then it just starts going crazy. Then it just starts taking off like a life on its own, you know? Like the magnet. And then the story. Yeah. Like, right, right, right. Yes. You know, yeah, and then the, the lives just keep coming and they get in, then they get more exaggerated and they and they get more, you know creative with their lives and their stories and then they just keep rolling with it and uh before you know it they're creating a the person they that never existed you know yeah, that was the creating... best one though that, that danny trio one when he got outed that that was pretty good <laughs> yeah. that was great yeah god who outed stuff. his ass fuck that was fbs i think was it? Yeah, FBS got all the info on him. Imagine when you read oh, about that, that too, like your first eclap, you're like, oh my God, what the fuck is it? Yeah. <clears throat> no, but you, you couldn't ask for a better ending to a to the worst, one of the worst people to come on mob to. You couldn't ask for a better ending for two guys with that. You know? He had the ultimate deflection lines. Oh yeah, and another thing, um uh that means he's thinking of his next bullshit he would say. Yeah, and then the other one was uh, in the effect of you know, get the fuck <laughs> right. out of here. Pretty yeah, highly of you. Thousands of bullshit artists. Yeah, right. How about when he would say, "I I can't talk about this because they're still alive," or he would bring up the people that are dead. Yeah, yeah, say, the yeah, six yeah, sense, the six this. sense defense. My favorite Remember is he was who he was. Dead people, huh? Yeah. I like when he says he was who he was, you know, that's what yeah, he that's was. What he who did. he was, but I don't know what he was, yeah. but I'm thinking about to think about what he was. Right. Yeah. And then another thing, how about when they bring guys on and they talk so nice to them, they treat them with respect. They, there's, they talk so nice. And they, he was talking to Bill Kutalo and telling them, uh, you know, what an, uh, people that they knew, they treated that guy great. And then they turn on him and then all the other shit comes out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why he'll never get a fucking interview, and I'm gonna make sure of that. If if he if he if I find out somebody's gonna get interviewed by that prick, I'll I'll pay them money not to go on because I know he ain't gonna pay anyway. Black ball. Yeah, no one's gonna go on his show. Ever. No, he's yeah. black ball. But for the no, rest of he's the just gonna game. listen. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen to him. He's gonna get abused. Um, I don't know, but it's gonna get worse and worse until the point where. He reaches out and tries to make peace with everybody, or, or he just gets off YouTube. He burned too many bridges, bro. He had too many yeah. chances. Uh, of course, people already. Even Angel knows what you know his old tricks, what he's up to. Of course, she, but know, they're know. stuck with each other. Yeah. Well, for now. Yeah, for that now. won't last though. They'll no, turn on each I other didn't. eventually. Either Lee will yeah, we were, naturally, or yeah. You know. yeah. That's only putting her show down. Now. Keeping him. On her show is only gonna make people hate her more. She don't give a shit. Like what she did with MRE. She I don't think she. I, I well, I don't know. I think she has more of a attachment to MRE than she would. I don't know why. Yeah, there's something she, uh, up with her. Right now. As yeah. long as fuck FBS, you know that's fine. You know, it's just like why people voted for Joe Biden. It wasn't for Joe. It was because uh, fuck Trump. You know, it's basically right, what exactly. it is. It's, it's fuck FBS. Yeah. You know? Yeah. As long as he keeps singing he, that tune. Look, he all started with me. I wouldn't even he wouldn't even been on my radar until he said that I put my dad away. My dad never did crime. So how is that I what he said? That? You ratted on your dad? Is that what he said? Yeah, he had Frank Pasqua. That's how much his fucking information is. He had Frank Pasqua uh, mixed up with me. I said, Okay, you want to talk about families? We'll talk about your brother now. The one who fucking ring boy Jr. Then I took a of step course. back. I said, you know what? I'm not gonna stoop to his level. But 
he keeps going, I'm going to I'm going there. I don't give a fuck. You have to. I, mean, I don't care about him. Of course, you have to do that. And then if he wants he to take it. a crack at my film, go ahead. I don't talk to them anyway. Then you could fucking find out who they are on your own. Yeah, he ain't going to like that. No, he's not going to like that. No. They but might agree he, uh, with him on certain issues, but they won't talk to him. Right. He was talking about my area. He was doing a hit piece on me. So he uh, he was talking about my area and certain guys. And there was this one guy, made guy in my area. And um, he said that he cooperated. And, you know, I'm actually listening to the show and I was laughing. I go, you stupid fuck. I go, the guy's doing, the guy never cooperated at all. And he's got him oh, wow. down. There, he said uh, that, huh? Yeah, yeah. And Well, maybe and you should let that guy guy. know he's putting a false narrative about him. Yeah, well, the guy knows. He's in prison anyways, but. Well, he knows. they're the best and ones. Then, uh, they could get, they, no, they he have corrected it. He corrected it afterwards, after he got abused and told by everybody, <clears> you know. And, um, yeah. Then he had this other guy in my area, this uh, Anthony Grasso, the uh, the um, the blob put him up to it to go mm-hmm. on his show, yeah. and uh, and he he platformed him and the whole show, and he still got it up there, and uh, and he said that he was uh, his Grasso said that his father and Billy Grasso, the notorious um, boss of Connecticut for the Patriarcha family were twin brothers and they didn't know each other ever. They never met in their lives ever. They, you know, the truth is they never, they're no relation. They never met in their lives. And so he platformed him, you know, so that, you know, that just goes to show you, he loses credibility, his show and everything, because uh, when you do things like that, nobody takes you serious afterwards. They know you're uh, you're a bullshitter. You, you know, you lie, you put people on, you're just doing it for ratings. Yeah, now yeah, but somebody put a good point. Uh, who was that? Tony Duck says, and now he's blowing uh, Mike Scott, Mike yeah. Scott. Yeah, he's trying to get that one guy to fucking just sit down with him and and uh, reamp right. his fucking stupid right. show. Right, and, right, right. And, and, and no, I, I, I'll I'll call Mike later. I'll make sure that he'll never go on your show. So, uh, matter of fact, I'll call him at, while I'm at the gym. And that's also because uh, he thinks that won't piss off Angel either. I don't know for some reason she's not mad at him or she likes him. For of, some course, reason. of course, of course, of yeah. course. Well, no, they're just not. They don't like him. They're just not actively assaulting him because, you know, right now she's got too many other people that are attacking her and that she's got to get at. So, you know, you can't fight too many <clears throat> battles at once. That's so true. he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't bother her. He she they leave him alone. But yeah, that's the only reason. Hey, he gets off. She kicks him off the show. I get off base. Uh, I mean, um, I get off uh, YouTube. <laughs> Why would you Unless get off? Well, no, just only for interviews. But that's about it. Not, not I'm talking no, about live. You can't stuff. go away. No, I just want him to go away. Saying? He's not going away. Yeah, he's gonna go away eventually. We're gonna get him. <laughs> he's not going willingly. <laughs> yeah, he he'll, he'll hang up if what the face kicks him off. Yeah. Once she gets rid of him, that's it for him. He's done. He's on his own. Yeah, He'll yeah, find some yeah, other yeah. weasel to co-host, but yeah, exactly. It won't be the Somebody same. Will. Yeah. How about that yeah. poor white, the whitest guy in the world as his co-host? What's his name? The Proctor guy. Proctor <laughs> yeah, game. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you rip you him out of a Britannica from. encyclopedia. We're talking about the mob too. I don't know. Well, you know, lay it to the mouth. Without Capone it's behind a, It's the Casa Nostra. Yeah. I mean, Fettuccine Alfredo, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out of the dollar store. Ugh. So no gym yet for you guys today, huh? Nah, yeah, I'm no gym be today. I got my own gym. I got weights here. I got yeah. a workout bike. Yeah, I got a little workout bike and some weights. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to... We got to keep in shape. We don't want to end up uh, yeah. looking like uh, them over there. Don't worry about my exercise regimen. You need to worry about Chicky's ex- exercise regimen. I see them fucking like... Um... I seen him. I seen him fucking shadow boxing the other day. Oh, he's doing a little tai chi. 
Chicky, I'm yeah, with those one-handed push-ups. <laughs> yeah, okay. The lone style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, once here. those bells come in, you're you're in trouble, Anthony. Those oh, Philadelphia boy. bells, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> going up those stairs. Oh yeah, going up the yeah. stairs with a fucking cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Poor so he's with the Wayne in this motherfucker after all. He's the whole time, with the huh? gazelles. That last name's Italian, though, isn't it? Chicky. Uh, Chicatelli. I think his dad was probably Italian. No, uh, Anthony. The fat blob was half Italian. Okay. And um, the mother has not an ounce of uh, Italian in her. Who, the muffin and, lady? Uh, the egg muffin lady? <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and he's uh, he's mentally ill. That's not, that's not even a joke. He's definitely <laughs> mentally ill. People, you know, <laughs> fucking, that's fucking a truth. No, not even a joke, though. You know, and you know, you could see him coming on these, uh, you know, everything that's coming out. You could tell he's got mental problems. I never even knew it, but now I see even more now. And I said, yeah, definitely, this kid has uh, a mental disability. Whoa. What determined that was it when he was like eating dog food or something? <laughs> well, no, just by just by you know, you know, you don't pay attention to people, and. Uh, you know, so, but as the uh, coming back home and uh, living my life and seeing the things that happen and, uh, you know, leading up to this, or even up till now, oh, yeah, the kids definitely needs uh, to be uh, locked up in some mental ward. <clears throat> so, wait a minute. So, since he was Italian on his father's side, he could have been made, right? He could no, have been made, well, right? listen, even if he could have, let's just say like that. Let's just give him the benefit. Yeah. Let's just let's say, say he was 100%. Could've. You know, let's just say he was a hundred percent. There was never, there was never even a thought. Not, not even one percent. There wasn't yeah. even a less than. It wasn't. Listen, it's it's unheard. It's like you had a better shot, and nobody even knew you from our area to get made than he did. That's yeah. how it was. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just beyond. You know, um, you know. That's, that's, that's that, yeah, that's just. Uh, Internal Affairs believes that Scars is still working for the Gaudis. That's why he's running propaganda for them. Well, he's trying to get with them. That I will say. He's true, but they'll never let him in, ever. That's you think so? Yeah. What, you think they'll let him in, or you think that he's trying? I, I, ooh, I think he. I think he feels bad about flipping on the guy, and but I think he goes wrong about it. But I don't think he's trying to get with them. I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, I do. I think that he's he's trying to talk nice and okay. somehow open up the doors, meaning like have some sort of relation with them. You know, just like when A Light came home. You know, A Light was uh, hoping <coughs> that, you know Junior cooperated. You know, A Light cooperated. You know, hoping that, you know, somehow, hey, we both cooperated. You know, we're not in that life no more. Why don't we be friends now outside the life? You know, that's what everybody thinks. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you know, it's like me and you, Frankie. We're not in that life no more. We're friends. And, uh, you know, and that's what, you know, they think. And, it's, and, it, and especially if a guy has money, that's what you really want. I mean, you really, you know, so people don't care if the guy's a broke bum, you know, but when a guy has access and the name, that name and money, of course you want to hook up with him. And uh, so that would be the reason why, wanna, <clears throat> you know, the, you know, he would want to uh, befriend him and link up with him because it's going to help him in, in his life, you know, just by the name and, you know, being around somebody, you know, networking is everything about. You have to network in life. Who you who you surround yourself with is how how you're gonna be. So that's gonna help him. But in my opinion, they ain't gonna help him. But now to networking with a guy who you you don't you think that's a little bit foolish when you're trying to network with a guy who you try to put away for, for right? Life well, or... but right, but in the men, men, in, in your mentality, he I, cooperated too. So know. that's how they're you, you're looking at it. They both you know cooperated. I mean? They both. They both cooperated. They both he proffered. Hello. He, yeah, you can't hear me. Yeah, I yeah, hear I can you. hear. Someone's trying to call me. 
Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I hate it. God damn it. All right. I'm off. I'm out. Yeah. All right, Frank. All right, right. Cool. cool. Were you staying on till 11? Uh, Yeah. And then Tony Soflo is coming on. Yeah. Well, I'll bullshit with you for a little bit. Yo, I appreciate it, bro. Yo, Frank, thank you so much, brother. Uh, What the fuck? Uh, He he got a call. That's why he, he, you know, he had to go. He had a, he got a phone call. Yeah. So what you got going on today, Gunsmoke? You're up early, though, no? Yeah, I woke up early today. Yeah, I went to bed early last night, so. Yeah, because you do those late shows that are uh, all-nighters, right? Uh, sometimes, yeah, yeah, but I, I, uh, I knew Lefty was going on, so I was like, oh, I'll just go to sleep and uh, I'll do a morning show or something. So. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, Lefty does those, uh, those later, late all nighters yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to find a spot, you know. I don't yeah. Know. You know, so many shows. Gotta, so many shows, and yeah. you know, you gotta just. You know, jump in, jump out, you know, do a couple drive bys and <laughs> yeah. You know. Any update but on yeah, Chicky? Like... What's going on with Chick? Is he still fucking with well, you? Well, I got an quiet? update. Oh you yeah, know? yeah. I don't I don't bother. Listen, he's 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 getting what he wants. He's getting a little attention and clout. You know what I'm saying? Saying so yeah. all this shit is just helping him out. With me, I could give a fuck less. You know what I mean? But uh with him, he's getting a little clout. Uh, when I, I was down at the, uh, the Mount Carmel club yeah, and it's funny because, uh, you know, lefty gets these, these, they're like little, you know, it's like the stuff you did when you were like 16 years old and no street guy ever would do this, but he goes, come on and, uh, you know, meet us at the gym and we'll fight, you know, shit like that. Who talks like that? You know, yeah. what kind of person talks like that? If, you know, especially if you're anything to do with the streets. You know, if you're a street guy, you're waiting for, you're hoping you catch him coming out of a store. You know, you come up from the side of him, hit him in the head with a fucking club, knock him out, hit him a few times in his legs, break his legs. You know what I'm saying? That's how you attack a guy on the street. Oh, no, come into the gym and fight me. You know, (laughs) so they attack him and then they tread. Now he's down the club with me. We were down there all day. Then I I was in downtown Springfield eating dinner. So Lefty, Lefty was with me from like, I don't know, like eleven in the morning till till ten at night, eleven at night here, and we're filming. and And the funny part is, Gunsmoke, listen to this. So there's a guy in my area. People can Google him. His name's Albert Calvinis. They got him down as like a, a, the most dangerous guy around here, and this and that. And I'm friends with him. I grew up with him. And so we're doing the show. I did my show on you know the Money Mayhem and the Mafia. And then after that, we went live down the club. So while we're going live, I, I, it sucks too because the audio and the video didn't come in good, you know. So I'm pissed about that. You know, we didn't have the Wi-Fi cord, but if you look at the setting where we were, I mean, it was like beautiful, a nice mantle there. Um, the whole setup was nice. We had the table, you know, everything was great, but the Wi-Fi sucked. We didn't have the cord, and it fucked up the audio and the video a little. So I'm pissed at that, but. So afterwards, we do a live from the club, and um, Albert calls Frank, um, the the president, the owner of the club, the president of the club, the, you know, in my area that was doing the interview with me. Uh-huh. Albert calls him, and he puts it on speaker, and uh, Albert goes, "Hey, Anthony, why don't you tell?" And he goes off on uh, the fat pig. He Lee? goes off on him. He goes, "No." Oh, uh, tricky. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's telling him. Why don't you, that fucking fat scumbag, they should cut his tongue out of his fucking mouth, that fucking fat rat scumbag, low life piece of shit. He should wow. fucking get his tongue. Fu- oh my God, he was going off on him. Now, Frankie Ferrolino thinks that he's talking to him. Like, you know, he's going, what are you, who is he talking to? But, you know, Frankie, you know, doesn't know that Frank from the club got a phone call and it's Albert abusing the fuck out of the fat blob in my area. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was funny, but uh, yeah, he uh, he was. It, it's right on the tape too. So that's the um, you know, the perception and the way people think about this fat blob in my area, and um, and then while I'm there, another guy come in the club, but I was filming. I couldn't talk with him, 
and uh, he sends me a text. And uh, in the text, it says how he was actually, so you know that video you saw of uh, the blob getting beaten up by the midget? Yeah, of course. Okay, so yeah. so that, um, while that was happening, where that was happening was where the blob was living with his nephew. Okay. So that was the surveillance camera outside the door that was catching all of that. Yeah. So now the guy that was at the club yesterday, I couldn't talk with him because I was filming. He, he text messages me and says that he was on the phone with the nephew that lived with, with the blob. And the, while the thing was, while we saw that video happening, he was on the phone talking to the nephew that lives nephew. with the blob. Yeah. And the, and the, and he, and he was saying, and he was hearing the blob screaming for his nephew. <laughs> the nephew was watching the whole thing on camera. Oh, and he wasn't helping him. He was inside, and he could have helped him. He, wow, he, he set, set it, up. it up. He set it He's up. The one that set it up. Yeah, yeah. That's why you don't see That's the guy, funny. you know, punching the blob in his head and everything. You know what I'm saying? He was yeah. just stealing his money and his chain. Wow. You follow me? Yeah. Yeah, so that was funny. So that's something new. It only gets worse and worse. But it doesn't matter because you're dealing with somebody that belongs in a nut house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're you're dealing with somebody that, you know, you could keep talking and talking and talking. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? He belongs in a nut house. And, you, you know, but it's fun. You know what I mean? It gives people something to listen to and um, a little uh, entertainment. You know, at his expense, and um, and I guess it's good for the mob content or content creators. I guess you know yeah. you got, yeah, I guess right. The mob tube never stops, man. It's always right. something new. But see, we can we can flip the switch, Gunsmoke, and if you ever want to talk real shit, we yeah. can do that. Then we can also talk about this shit, and we can do that. And then if you want to talk about business and making money, we can talk about that. And you can keep going on and on about the, you want to talk sports, we can talk that. You want to talk, whatever you want to talk about, we can do it. Absolutely, yeah. I don't think they can do yeah. that, though, you know? I mean, over there, they're talking about, what was it? Uh, I think they're playing Jeopardy or some shit. And, right, right. Or they're talking about FBS. If they're not talking about FBS, they're really not talking about nothing. Right. Lisa well, they've been talking about me a lot too lately. Yeah. Well, well I told them yes. Yeah. I told them yes that I'm the worst of the worst. They said, and that I'm the uh, the worst. Both of them said it. So that means you really. I don't know. Off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. But that's all right. No, nah, Lee's just begging to be, on, you know, have you on the show. He's yeah. looking for a lifeline, you know. He's just trying to create any drama he can to friggin' uh, hold on to some relevancy. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. We'll see how it works out for him. But I don't know. I, I don't think, think it's going to work out. Yeah, he's getting black. Yeah. I love I it. Agree. It's fitting, you know. Me too. He thought he was Me a big too. shot for a while. He really did. He thought he had the it factor. He thought he was killing it, yeah. buying yeah. views and subs, yeah. having all these guests, yeah, palling around with Danny Trio, thinking he's a big shot, <laughs> calling people cock gobblers, and coming up with homoerotic <laughs> fantasies in prison and shit, <laughs> shit that never happened. Sick guy. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine a guy like that going on a show, and then it comes out that this guy is. You know, just a um, you know, liar, and the thing that not only did he lie, but what he ended up coming out to be with the truth about him was the worst. That's worse than being the kidnapper. He was breaking into homes and it was just weird their underwear. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't even like a crime of like monetary gain. It was like a crime of like weird passion. Right. I don't know, like yes, fetish I mean, shit. That yeah. You know, you couldn't make that up, Gunsmoke. You couldn't. Yeah. If if you wanted to get back, like, say you hated Lion Lee and Danny Smith. Yeah. And you hated them. He said, oh, these cocksuckers. 
you couldn't get a better victory than what happened in, no, with the story agree. coming out about him. Yeah, you know I what I mean? Agree. That's like mind blowing. You, if somebody told you that, you would have said, "No, you're fucking no, bullshit." Yeah. Same you know thing with mean? Bari, too. Same thing with him. When we found out he was a Nazi and then a rat. Yeah. It was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Holy well, shit. Yeah. You know, I right. believe this. This is what I believe. I think MRE is an active informant. And what I mean is, I think they told him to come on and come on this YouTube shit. And um, and do because you could see the way he talks and, and, um, and tries to coerce her into doing certain things. And... I just think that there's uh, he's an active and well, we know for sure he's definitely a rat. We know that. Yeah. We know that paperwork for sure. But I and think he don't that, admit it. Don't so. forget. Yeah, I think where did it go? It went yeah. away. You know what I mean? You know, I think he's an active informant. Yeah, I believe so too. Absolutely. Either way, he's a rat, though. Either way. And she's got to know that's, that. She's got to know that. So that's why I'm trying to figure out like what's her angle. Like what is she right. trying to? What is she waiting for? She's waiting for him to strike or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think you know, like like you say, these mobsters. That's what they do. You know, um, these mobsters use law enforcement, which as you, you know, it's not a. As you get older, powerful organizations they work with law enforcement to help their keep their organization powerful. You know, yeah. and it's it's a smart move. I mean, just think back in the day. When uh, they had the judges, I mean, if you get pulled over a speeding ticket, right? Who are you going to go to? You're going to go to some cop you know and say, "Hey, can you fix this ticket for me?" Right? You're going to somebody that's law enforcement or something like that to fix your speeding ticket. Or if you get into a a case with the court, you're hoping that you can get somebody to get to the the prosecutor or whatever that you know. So you work with them. So, but then it goes to the extreme, you know, like with uh, Greg Scarpa, Whitey Bulger. You know, guys that we don't know that never got exposed. You know, they said back yeah. in the day, Anil De La Croce was uh worked with them. No. Lucky Luciano worked with them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard that, right? Oh, well, about Lucky, I didn't know about Neil De La Croce. Yeah, yep, yep. There, if you re- do some research on that, you'll see that that they uh that there was uh, some information out there on that, and. Uh, um, so that's could be what she's, you know, thinking she's doing, you know, she's got this guy. She's like, yeah, we'll get him, And, you know, uh, we can, you know, you can get him jammed up maybe, you know, yeah, and some sort of thing. Shit. I don't know, man. I don't know how this all ends. Maybe it doesn't end. No. <laughs> it keeps going and going. And <laughs> get, it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. We'll see what happens with Lee. I wonder how it ends Until for they, Lee. Huh? Maybe it ends with a it ends with a big uh, mob tube bust where uh, you know <laughs> forty guys are getting dragged out of their house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the I can walk just... of shame to the courthouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see them doing the perp walk. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, look, uh, Soulful yeah. is about to start right now. So you got I gotta it. shut her down. You Thank you so much Good for coming on, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, anytime, my friend. Good. I always like talking to you. Thank you, brother. All right, my friend. You have a good day. All right. You too, man. All right, you got it. Yep. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. All right. Well, there you have it, people. Another show in the bucket. Thank you guys for tuning in. Happy holidays. Hit the like button on the way out if you haven't already. And uh if you feel so inclined, please donate to my Cash App, PayPal, or Venmo, uh, Super Chat, whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for being here again. And uh, I'll see you over in uh, SoulFlow's chat. Until next time, salute, guys. Make this a regular time. All right. Uh, what, 6 to 11? Regular time? I'll see about that. A little morning rush hour show. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I like the idea. I like it. I'm not against it. Oh, Jersey Girl, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Capello, thank you. All you guys. All he is. Jesse, all he is. There's other people, too. 
I want to thank you all, all right? You understand? Did you hear me? I said thank you. I appreciate it. 7 to 11. That's a lucky number, baby. Whatever you want. We need a morning chat. All right. All right. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Well, I'll be back tonight. I'll be back tonight. We're doing a Tonight Show tonight, all right? How about that? Yeah. Yeah, you think I need this shit? Yeah, please, guys, donate to the show. I love you guys. All right, I'm out. So flow, baby, is live right now. Peace. Oh, wait. Tony Ducks. Morning show would be a good slot. I'm normally at the gym in the morning times. So listening to this was great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I got to get back into the mode of doing these shows. These people are talking to me like I'm a stunad, you know? Like, this guy doesn't have any follow-up questions. What's wrong with this gun smoke? He's an idiot. You sound like you just woke up. You're a moron. And it's like, fuck, they're right. God damn it. What am I doing here? Anyway, enough of the bullshit. I got to go. Have a great day, everybody. Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, what? You better hurry up and type, boy. Hurry up, boy. Thank you, Jersey girl. You too, Jersey. Thank you for everything, sweetheart. You're the best. Peace out, the jacket. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the real gangsters. Yeah, two for ooh, a two for. Oh, wait, what did Chris Moltisanti say? No, he said, ooh, a double. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah, it's time to go now. It's time to go. Why am I waiting for this guy's uh, comment here? Is he going to comment or did I just read that wrong? Huh? Did I read that wrong? God damn it. You guys think I need this shit? Oh, check my phone. Oh, I'm going to check it right now. Where is my phone? Fuck, where is the phone? Fuck. Oh. Here we go. God damn it. Nice. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Tony Ducks. You're the man, brother. Merry Christmas to you too, my friend. Merry Christmas to all of you. And happy holidays. Yeah, the real gangsters. All right, I really got to go now. Now I'm cutting into the SoFlo's time. This ain't right. I got to go. Anyway, peace out, y'all. Thank you so much, Tony Ducks and all of you. All of you. All right, have a good day. Yeah. Yeah.